an amazing yeah, event yeah. that region was. We got It's That Boy Kryptonite and Durak from Finland. And so you got to remember, if you use the character in one game, you cannot use the character in any other game. So you have to be very tactical with who you play. Uh, so these characters that people are going to be picking, at least for the first game, are going to be characters that they're sort of familiar with, but don't play a lot, you know? Just characters are semi-okay with, good with, you know? Uh, do you know any of anything about these players here? I have no idea, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> there were a lot of people at Regen, man. Bro, I was, I was playing so many friendlies at Regen. Yeah. It's like, I, I have a whole, like, international database now of just smashers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, right. I mean, if you weren't there, just know you, you did indeed miss out. It's okay. Maybe not. We're chilling, we're chilling. Cloud with the limit. See what he does. Gives the gets. Ooh, Ooh, barely. Barely. What's the last trap? The cloud, like, no. like, options like, or sorties like Cloud and Lucina are, like, pretty good picks because almost everyone can play them. Yeah. Like, if yeah. you play the game a lot. I think, I think we'll be seeing a lot of them. <laughs> we're going to see loads of those. Yeah. And then deeper into the bracket, we'll get more funky. It's gonna be some very interesting gameplay when it comes to grand finals. Yeah. Oh, that's it'll be like it'll be a combination of people that use their uh, good picks early, yeah, and are just like digging deep in the bag, and then the people that like main weird characters, mm. and then we're just saving it. There's also gonna be people like like make huge upsets because <laughs> they're using their mains against pro <laughs> players that are not like like using yeah, yeah. Pichu or something. Pichu stats is about to be crazy. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to have a positive record on Lancelot real quick. Okay. Nice. Well, today's Hellestar, we got like over 45 entrants. Loads of yeah. Europe good European talent, like Michael Jackson, you know, came back from the grave and is playing Smash down here. <laughs> we, got, uh, we got Tarek, uh, I think he got fourth, fourth right at regen. Yeah. Lancelot, oh, trick safe. Of course. And we very nice. Oh, nearly down there, finding a down there there. <laughs> everyone, okay, he said. Everyone's questioning like what kind of gameplay this is. <laughs> but to be honest, I, I'm assuming these aren't their mains. But if, if they aren't, they're playing pretty good. Yeah. Pretty, pretty good. You can see that they, they got the fundies on check. And this is just pretty much a game of who has better fundies, basically. <laughs> yup. He's got it, man. Ooh. Oof. Got the That's limit. Not. Will he use it to recover? Yes, he will. Not opting for the air dodge to save it. Oh, no punish. Oh. Oh, I got it. You would think Lucina is really easy to edge guard Cloud, you know? Because uh, how yeah. sort of slow is air dodge? Oh, I mean, Cloud dying at the blast zone here. To be honest, Cloud is kind of surprisingly hard to edge guard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that up is just, it just goes through everything. Oh. <laughs> another uppy. Can we get yes. another one? Waiter, waiter. Three. One more uppy, please. Waiter, waiter. Yes. yes. One more. Four. He wanted it. He wanted it there. I know he wanted uppy there again. Up smash. Uh, He's looking for it. Good alternative. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, with the taunt? I don't know if he went to the purpose. <laughs> hey, you won't stuck down, homie. Why <laughs> are you taunting, man? Time to get bodied. Let's see it. This could, okay. This, this is going to be it right here. Oh, and that dash attack, catching him out, wow. From under, down under. Everyone's just <laughs> using their outer shield options. Out of nice, Barry. Good grab, good grab. Cloud sort of struggling to find a way to land here. No double jump. This might be, ooh, oh, no. nearly missing that spike. Yeah. It's a bit on the side of the hitbox. <laughs> Cloud, we, yes. we trucking, we trucking with the uh, up here. I mean, it's working yeah. though, to be fair, it's working. Oh, that could have been it. No, that wouldn't that wouldn't have killed, but could have been put put him in a very bad situation there. Come on, one more up here. You got the, the pressure. You got the. Oh he gets out. Oh nice bait. Very early air dodge, I would go. say. I feel like you should have waited a little bit until he uh yeah, at least he was a bit closer. Pressure. But that's gonna be game one for It's a Boy Kerr Knight, I believe. And 
Now they're crossing off the characters on their list, and they're going to be <laughs> thinking about who to use next. I think the first game is going to be, like, super important to just yeah. download, like, how good or, like, gauge how good they are in the game. Yeah. And then based on that, they'll probably just pick a character, like, on their skill level. Yeah, yeah, true. But, like, I don't know. People's habits can really vary uh, character to character. Oh, yeah. So... So now I think Durak realizing, like, oh shit, he's might be better than me, or I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> or no, probably like the matchup was a bit weird, but he wants to use a better character or a character that he's more like with. used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Kurt and I might step back a little bit and be like, you know, I won game one quite a bit, little bit com more comfortably. I'll just use a character I'm not used with, and just you know. Okay, Fox, we're deep in thought. Fox is not a bad choice. I mean, really good. Pac-Man. Pac Ooh. Bit out there. You never know, man. You never know. This could be it. Well, what is this matchup like? Huh? What is this matchup like? I'm thinking Fox win this. He got, like, reflectors and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's super fast. So it's going to be an interesting choice here. See what he does. But it is Pac-Man. Pac-Man Pac underrated sleeper pick, to be fair. He got a lot of stuff on him. Like a billion techs on his uh, neutral B. Does he know what he's doing? Do, let him cook. Let him cook now. Ooh. Roll nearly missing the F smash. Ooh, back air. I think all of all of life just stops the the hydrant here. Also, you can reflect the hydrant as it's coming down as well, mm, which would yeah, be yeah, like yeah. really good for, for Fox. I mean, you know, this whole thing is just going to be the hydrant game, you know? <laughs> yeah. Who can deal with it? Are you so good for back then? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, it lasts so long as well. So that's that's a that's a, that's a big favor in the matchup. It looks like he, back. It looks like he knows what he's doing, Durak. I'm, I don't know who Durak. Oh, oh no! Ooh, that was a bit scary. <laughs> Look at the face cam. The guy was a bit worried. <laughs> oh, sh that, was, that was close. See, yep. Kurt and I going for the things that Fox usually like wants, like the yeah. the falling there, landing fit, landing there. <laughs> the, the wall of the great wall of back airs. Ooh, nearly. That was such a nearly hitting. Back air was just a little bit above him. Yeah. I don't even know what hit him. Was the S smash or the, the fire hydrant that just no shoot poked him? A lot of the time you'll see Pac Man um, kind of getting desperate for these sword smashes. Oh, yeah. It is a crazy good move. It's so safe. I don't get it. Like, why did, he, why did you give him this? And that grab too, so like it's so active. Yeah. But to be fair, Dura looks like he knows what he's doing with the Pac-Man. Yeah. Like but, um, he kind of seems not very willing to cap behind the high. Oh yeah. But seems to be working out. Fox finally dying at one one seventy percent. Oh. And a <laughs> walk up up smash. He's he don't laughing, care. He's laughing. <laughs> I'm, I'm a tired out. Why not? <laughs> Oh, Fire Hunter not be broken there. That would have been big. <laughs> you see Dura just go jumping up and throwing yeah. down the Fire Hunter. There's nothing much he can do again about that, really. Oh, my God. It's spaghetti. Woo! Oh, yeah. I want to make this very clear. Oh. Echoes are separate. Oh. Echoes are separate. The, uh, the Hydrant makes so many weird scramble scenarios. It's always really fun to watch. Oh, yeah, for sure. With the water. Ooh. I, I want to see one cool water play. That would be so cool. Okay, he has the... What is that? Bell, yeah. right? He has that... Oh, big, oh, it's flying. I saw, I saw the vision. I saw the vision there. Clanking with the Fire Hydrant there. Actually, this is a bigger question. Why does Pac-Man have a Fire Hydrant? How is that relevant to his games? You know, it's probably some... Little reference that was made in some little Pac-Man game <laughs> like 50 Ooh. million years ago. It, that, that no one, no, only people in Japan yeah. has played. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he wanted to pick it up there. I think that's what he was going for. Okay. Kurona is chasing pretty well right now. They're both pretty much equal. Like this is an equal fight. We're nearly yeah. like at, we're at the half minute mark. Yeah. And we're still at two stocks here. Oh, I, I, I would have thought oh. it back in there. Up smash. Nearly missing. Just hitting the, the wrong side of the platform. 
and Durag just wants, <laughs> wants to get more damage. He wants to be able to kill, but Kurenai is doing such a good job of avoiding all these things. Like, how, how is Pac-Man supposed to get in this? Yeah, I know, right? And what, it's one good backer on ledge to just take the stock here. And that's what he's yeah. going for. Nearly Probably killing. Kill. Oh. Very nice. <laughs> I think Durek realized that he upbeat a bit too bit too far away from the ledge there. Should have been a bit more patient with that upbeat. Nice, stopping that. Ooh. Ooh. Good catch. Good so catch. Cheeky. That's exactly what you need to equalize that. And now two minutes and a half left. We got one fresh stock. Up. Coming up, this is going to be big. <laughs> Yo, camp him out. <laughs> camp him out. <laughs> okay. I see the combos. He, it looks like he knows some stuff. He knows stuff. Did I chase? I don't know. Ooh. Okay. All right. Pac got the fruit unlocked. He's going for the bell, I assume. Yeah. Doesn't, Ooh, not, it, so. don't, doesn't pick it up, yeah. Durek still in the lead. This could be his game here. Kurnai at prime kill percent. One F smash and that, that would take it, but Durek needs to rack up some damage. Like, in terms of the matchup, this is honestly pretty even. This, uh, Pac Man can really struggle to kill. True. But also, Fox can, but this damage is really nothing for Fox. Oh, yeah. He can make that back in a second. Ooh, I think he, he thought that the water would push straight into him. Yeah. But you know, you gotta be creative when you're playing Pac-Man. You're yeah, super creative. <laughs> the, the fruit, <laughs> the fire hydrant saying no to the fruit. I don't give him, I don't give my consent to this. So many, so I want. Oh. oh my God. He's probably expecting a spot dodge or something. Durak doesn't buy it. Charge on the fruit. He wants to go for the bell kill because that would that would take this the the game right here. And he's just, yeah, he's just sort of running away, throwing down the fire and he's trying to use food, which is sort of working. And oh, they, the Paul first the time he gets the key, the first time, yeah. you know, he's been saving that. I don't know why he didn't use key until now, but you know, it sort of paid off because that was a big mix up. Now Durak scratching off Pac Man off the board and Kurt Knight scratching Fox off. Now, usually <laughs> when you think of what characters to play, you ain't got a lot on the list. Yeah. When you think of characters like you're semi good with, you ain't got much. So, have, like having sets go to game three is really bad for both players because oh, you want to have so many characters yeah, available, yeah, you know. Yeah. You think we'll see a swordy? Hmm? You think we'll see a swordy? <laughs> Cybets? I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Five on Lucina. <laughs> I'm gonna say, hmm, Palatina maybe. I can see Ooh, either man. player going Palatina here. What do you game think? Game three, so I think they'll be bringing out their uh, heavy hitters, you know. I, I think I got, I got, I got Krom. Krom, ooh, that's not a bad choice. Then if you, even if you lose on Krom, or you still got Roy, mm. Echo Fighter. By the way, separate fighters or se Echo Fighters are counts as separate fighters. So you can, if you main Peach, you get two chances. Same Dark thing with Samus. Pit, Dark Pit, Pit. Pit. Samus, Dark Samus. There's too many Echoes in this game. Me, Brawler, and um, all right, we were wrong. Oh, we'll be seeing a lot Wait, of Wait, what did he do? There's not a single Ooh, person Joker in this Joker and Wolf. Now, those are two big characters, though. Joker and Wolf, because ev everyone can play Joker. Everyone can play Wolf. Yeah. And already, <laughs> Durek's Joker looks like he has some sauce into him. Oh, my God. He's going, like, he's going a bit too hard on this. He, it looks like he plays Joker almost. No tech chase. Ooh. Oh. Oh. The wolf also a good pick, as if you're good fundamentally in the game, you can utilize a lot of wolf's stuff, and it's already showing off here. Yeah. He's got good damage, good fast moves, good combos. Nice Pretty wave. solid character. Just past the last drop. Okay, back in intro. Oh, Ooh, I'll smash. Smash ultimate, baby. <laughs> I'll smash is going to be a huge play in this game, I think. You know, you want to get those free kill confirms. And, um, you know, 
as well as Joker, you need the Arsene as well. Yeah. Ooh, the sour Ooh. spots of backer killing. That's wild. Oh, he was he was high for Sam. Oh, it just Ooh. misses the forward smash. That's the worst feeling. Oh, and he Jordan knows how to use that gun as well. Like I see like all the conversions he uses to get gun as well as the stuff he does after gun as well. Yeah. And Joker's gonna be coming up online soon. Oh, so oh. there you go. <laughs> I saw that, that down there hit, that would have been freaky. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's all over mm -hmm. it, man. Oh, yeah. Okay, he gets off momentarily. Let's see. God, Kurona keeps air to hit. Uh, oh, yeah. Air to air again. Durak can't really seem to deal with it. Stock, oh, no? quick back here. They're going to take the stock. And now, you know, Kurona has a huge lead here. If you can just take the stock here. That will give him some breathing room. Big daddy. <laughs> there you go. Spread them legs. Sorry, pause. <laughs> Ooh. <You're just> <laughs> Yo. Joker cheats. Oh, or says that no. Do not touch me. This is my no no zone. Up air to oh, not another oh, up air. No. Sort of good DI from that to miss that. And also with a lot of rage as well. Ooh, double nice jumping back just to evade all those backers and landing with a swiftly well placed back air. And now Kurna looking oh, like it's engaged. The direct chose Joker to like sort of solidify the set. He wants to stay in winners, so yeah. he picked like a, a character that he's good with. So he needs to be able to take this game. He doesn't want to you know, waste Joker on a and lose a game, you know. So. That's why you gotta be strategic with Smashdown. You gotta be super strategic. And Joker and Arsene coming up. Oh, oh see with the reflector combos. Now. Damn, okay. New, I mean. Confidence. Like, if you semi play Wolf, I don't know I don't know if you'd be going for reflector combos. <laughs> now let's see if you can use this Arsene, get a kill here. Sort of equalize the playing field. Now Arsene running out now, lingering there to stop the tether grabs. His first smart idea. Oh no! No punish. No punish. See, oh, elbow there. Gonna go for an air nut. No, gonna be ledge trapping. Makes it back to center stage. See, he needs to stop now. See the edge guard here. Oh, no forward smash. Huh? What? After this. Ooh. All the rock oh. is going to be looking for now is a fair trying to one. Find, yeah, he's trying to find the ways to just kill him. Yeah. He's kind of getting tired, man. He wants to, he wants to kill Stock now. Oh, wait, what? What is Sensor. going on there? Oh, it's back here versus back here. Arsene? Now anything kills. Oh. I think yeah. the hurt box shift with that uh, F smash because he's had his arms behind him. But that's going to be Kuro Knight taking the set and losing Wolf. Durak losing a really good Joker too. That's going to be big for him. And hopefully he has enough characters in his bag to come out of pools, uh, come out of pools uh, safely. All oh, damn, what, 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 what an interesting close. set. Smash down is fun though. Smash down is fun. You yeah, got to be really smart. I actually didn't realize that you have to switch um, after every game. I thought it was every set. No, no, every game. That's yeah. why That's why yeah, I really got to think about it. Yeah. But I mean, we got loads of people. we'll be seeing in Grands. Hmm? It's the, 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 what? The smash we're going to be seeing in Grands. It's not oh. going to be classic. <laughs> yeah, it's either just going to be really super weird picks that you know, we're never going to yeah. see again. And we're going to have big upsets as well. So it's going to be, be lots of fun. So everyone stay well, tuned. We'll be watching stay the tuned smash. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. pretty much. And then coming up, we got Ewan and another player. I have no idea who's going to be coming up. We got pretty stacked meltdown. Loads of cool people. Oh, Asap Buffy. Okay, yo, Asap Buffy is really good. I think Ewan plays. I don't know if Ewan plays a lot of characters, but yeah. we will find out soon enough. I believe both these Hi, players Glitchies. did relatively well in regen. I'm what? not exactly sure. 
your, your, your voice is really quiet on my headset for some reason. Yeah, do you, do you have both ears? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, have, I only have right ear. Oh, what? That's, yeah. cool. That's weird, yeah. <laughs> Shit. All right. Is that better? Yeah, all right. You, you can call. Let's go. Yeah, all right, all right. It was me. I always love me, God. It was me. Anyway. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I'm just an expert in all things Robbie, AK47, me related. I, I think I dropped my phone somewhere. You dropped this one? Did I drop my phone? Whatever, man. Anyway. I'll do it all as well. I, I literally just. Oh, I have it. Never mind. Anyway. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay. This is interesting. Um, my round one played their main against me, and that main was <laughs> Isabel. That main was Isabel. So I'm in losers now. I'm ripping out my fucking Meta Knight game one. Anyhow. Oh, he's giving that voice. <laughs> is this really necessary? Uh, that looks like Robbie. I was at counter attack the other day and he, he did look like that to be honest. Like I, I can't confirm. <laughs> Wait, it's you in making three fa three me sword fighters three three me's? Oh he's gonna make a ton of Robbie Mees, isn't he? Oh, okay, no. yeah, okay. This is Yeah. This is a switch, you know, so he just has Robbie oh, right. downloaded on it. Whatever that means. <laughs> I just been called. Yep, I'm off. You're off? All right. Looks like I'm here alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're getting triple Robby. <laughs> Might be able to see all three of them. I was not called. I think Aggressive Duck was just screaming my name literally for no reason. This tournament is featuring Q. What do you mean? What does that? What does that? What does it say? Michael Jackson. Oh yeah, no. Uh, we do yeah, have Michael Jackson. The details in the building. around it are complicated, but yeah, we, we do we do manage it most yeah. weeks. Yeah. So Terry's pretty good. <laughs> how do you got mean Sonic? I love I love how Ewan's like really putting thought into all of these memes. There's a yeah, lot there's a lot, there's a lot of psychology involved in this process. You know, yeah, you, you, think, you think the the high voices inflict the most mental damage? No, for, for real. Um, no, actually the low voices. I want to see when I play against a low voice me gunner. I was like. I, I, really? I, it's I think giving, the high voice. It's giving like annoying twelve-year-old. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a me. Oh, it's me. It's a yeah. maid. Yeah. No classic. Uh. Wow, you really had this one planned out. I feel. Mm. There we go. Yeah, that's Robbie. <laughs> I love how Robbie just isn't present for any of this shenanigans. So, and he's sorry, he's showing Wade now. That's cool. Even when he's not here, you can feel his presence. He's gonna go through all of these. Uh, and he's, he's made the proper yeah. move sets. He's named them properly, and well, and he's so guy. excited to tell everyone. <laughs> 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 to be fair, if, if, I, I would also too be quite excited. I need I need someone to like tag Robbie on Twitter, like get him, get him watching this. Don't don't explain anything. Don't explain anything. Just 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 tag him. Tell him to tune into the stream. Trust You're me. You're the one with the traction, bro. You do it. I'm the traction. Yes, you do. I'm deactivating my Twitter tonight. <laughs> You always say that. that. Just because you said that. Uh, anyway, Ewan is playing Volfi, who is a Link main from yep. Germany. Who uh, I saw playing friendlies before Bracket, and he was not going any other characters other than Link. So I have absolutely no idea what he's going to put out. I played one friendly game against him. I got beat up. Nice. Yeah, that does check out when you play yeah, your player. Yeah, no, he's good. Um, anyway. Uh, for all I know, he could be burning his main uh, game one because that's what we're doing here. I just. Why does he have a me of Robbie on his own? That's just like really harrowing. Imagine like, imagine like, okay, it's like going onto a setup and seeing a and me of yourself. yourself, like a me of. Yeah. And, and mind you, a pretty your representation of what Robbie looks like. Yeah, no, it's, it's, that, that, it's pretty it's pretty creepy. If you showed uh -huh. me that me and yeah. give it a caption, I'd yeah. be like, that is Robbie. Yeah. You know who made it? That's no, pretty insane. You know who made the me? What? You know who made the original me? No. Sin. Sin? Sin the Pikachu. Oh. Oh, are we not allowed to talk about that? 
the me gunner, the Robbie me gunners. I was one of them. There was this phase where everyone was playing this Robbie AK-47 me yeah, gunner on Elite yeah, Smash. Yeah, yeah. And I was one of them. And they were like, they were like four of us. And everyone thought it was one person, but there were actually like four of us at like varying GSP levels. <laughs> it's, so like we a, were, it's like we a covered everything. Bro. We covered everything. And um, yeah, we were, we were playing with Robbie Mees. I think you're still kind of half in that phase. What? You're still kind of half in the Robbie I actually, phase. I mean, I hear his Matanite is pretty like, good. You played the Robbie skin last night. Did I? Yes, you did. I'm sorry, I was a bit, I was a bit, ooh, I was a bit gone. I mean, that means it's like really deeply penetrated into your mind. I was gone. I don't. I don't even remember doing it. Yeah. I don't remember like most of last night. I remember. Region was great, guys. Sign up next year. Yeah, Anyhow, I think it's quite clear who Ewan is going. Let's see who Buffy has now. You know, being Link, I'm assuming he's got the the young Link and the Toon Link classic. Uh, I've already bought my young Link. And that's the only game I bloody won. <laughs> Apparently, my Joker is not that good. Mm, really? Fully cooked. I can gun dash. Gun dash? It's the one. Gun dash? Gun dashing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah one. Oh, moving base. Right. <laughs> moving base joker. Yeah, I'm a moving base joker. Yeah. 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 Have you ever had a gun dash? No, he's I, really cool, guys. I dash walked once. I dash walked once and then, like, an optimal sense in the bracket once. Really? Yeah. With joker? No, no, no. It was with Matt tonight. Oh, oh he's, okay. he's going BJ. He's giving the BJ. BJ? I expect the BJ pick. Okay. I get pretty good BJs. And as yeah. expected, Robbie AK-47. Oh, I start with the me gunner though, which I I feel like I feel I I am not a hundred percent sure on this. I'm fairly sure Ewan has like played me brawler in my presence before. Uh -huh. While the me gunner and the Saudi are probably more troll picks than anything else, just to stick to the bit. Obviously, you it's know. on stream. Anyway, Palu, easy character. You know, now nah, I'm assuming Buffy's probably pulled this this yeah. character out once or twice. But let's see how it goes now. This matchup is probably on the on the poor side for me gunner, but is it on the poor side for Robbie? That's my question. That's a good question. Because, <laughs> like, yeah, you, Palu might be Migana, but does Palu beat Robbie? And uh, that is also, that would actually be yes to both because Robbie is like, losing record on zone. <laughs> but I have faith. I'm okay, he hasn't left the corner yet. Let's see. He has left the corner. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can kind of see Ewan's game plan. So basically, what he's doing is um, he's, he's camping. Yeah. Um, I'm just really gonna love the YouTube comment section on this uh, reel. I, I think I think it's just gonna be great. Uh, that move is safe, by the way, up front. It's it's a dumb move. Uh, to be it, honest. It's it's one of the most broken moves. In the yeah, game. it's crazy. Like I was watching a uh, day on against Scammy Boy. Scammy Boy destroyed him game one. Then he switched to grenade game two, and destroyed Scammy Boy back. That move is crazy. It I does why, everything. I don't know why. Like every me gonna just run it invariably. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it's like it's like Samus has charged shot, so they think charge shot is good. Uh, ta the charge shot for me gonna actually is much slower and it does less damage, but more importantly it's just it's just paired with a with a character with just poor movement overall, so yeah. it doesn't really amount to much. Right. Surprisingly Ewan pulling ahead in this match. Buffy obviously a player of a higher caliber I'd say than Ewan, but we are seeing his Palu, which I know very little about and he he gets on his back smash. <laughs> he's on his back foot and Ewan's really putting on the pressure. I feel like he's practiced me gonna a lot more than yeah. um I'd like to think for someone that I uh, Ooh, like. Very nice trap. All right, what's the last trap? <laughs> There's no last trap. Grenade. There's no last trap. Oh wow! A really? little taunt, a little taunt for the fans. Oh, actually, you know, you don't have a Samus. You don't have a Samus. Uh, oh no, right. I don't know what. Right, right. The same uh, he has some understanding of it. Using Palu this early in a Smashdown bracket is a ball play. That's true because Palu is really easy. Yeah. So you don't want to expend it, especially. You know, Palu sat, got upset by Little Max yesterday and had to. I, I think in the later rounds yeah. we'll be seeing exclusively sorties. It would just suck if I had to play a Palu round, loses round three yesterday. That's oh, right, on Saturday. Anyhow, uh, Ewan really pulling ahead here. Actually, yeah. really good call out game I'm seeing here from Ewan, which is very beneficial for me, Gunner. And uh, playing pretty patient with, uh, with Volfi, really kind of. And again, it feels... Yeah, it feels like Volfi is sometimes running into these four yeah, smashes and grenades and stuff. And yeah, he doesn't know the calendar page of that bomb. Now, Ooh. Yeah. The thing is, with, um, his downbeat bomb is very different to Samus's bomb, like in a lot of different ways. Uh, if you... Okay, good. Uh, if you knock it in any way with any kind of hitbox, it doesn't detonate. It actually knocks back into me gunner. And if you hit me gunner with it, then it will actually... Um, the hitbox will trigger and it will hurt me gunner too. Oh, really? Means, yeah, you, you can just use a hitbox off ledge, and in a lot of situations, it'll actually hurt me, Gunner, and you get a reset out of it. Oh. Oh, you don't need oh, to do that. Oh, wow. 
See, Zone doesn't suddenly, do that. Zone doesn't do that. Yeah. I, I, I really want to talk to Zone about his use of um, literally half of Palu's moveset because he just doesn't use it. As someone who played a Palu who did use half of Palu's moveset, Zone doesn't up air. If you want Oasis to coach you, please contact me. I won't coach Twitter. you, I'll just make you worse. But I will tell you to use Palu up air if you have it. <laughs> strength, good stuff. Feels like Volfies is pretty familiar oh, with this character. Oh, no. Feels like Volfies is actually very familiar with this character. And the tides have turned. Very much in Volfies' yeah. favor. That early kill really did a lot. Ewan's got to kind of... Oh, now he's running away with it. Okay, this might be a wrap. I'm off. All right. Voice is off. I hope you wins. I hope you wins just because Robbie bit is funny. <laughs> Go. Robbie doesn't win. I'm sorry, guys. It's a bad ending. But he still does have game two. Is that the fabled you and the best hit me gonna? Yeah. And, and he's cycling through all the Robbie variants. Oh, yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. He's, uh, we're going to see the, the Mii Brawler. We're going to see the... Uh, the Sword Fighter. The Sword Fighter, yeah. of course. The UK does have a few of those. Uh, for some reason. The only, the only region to do that. Yeah. Uh, we've got Dijon G in Bournemouth, who's made upsets because he's playing a weird character and he's good. Uh, and we've got BMW, who is the best Mii Sword Fighter in Europe. And he never goes <laughs> to anything. So... <laughs> there you go. Um, oh, don't we love the UK guys? World's weirdest man. Okay. Uh, I'll be interested to see who you and picks. He is a Falco main, of course. Mm. Uh, Voffy has his own litany of. Oh, we are cycling through the Robbies. Yeah, Hang exactly. on a minute. Did he make me's for all of yeah, them? Yeah, yes, he did. Wait. And he spent a long time doing it. Okay, okay. Yeah. I so see. This it. is like a very, very intentional play. All right, the preparation. But you are revealing your hand when you do that. That is true. But I don't think I don't think he even cares at this point. You no. know, he, he was doing it in front of him, and then when Volfi walked over, he like very proudly exhibited all his Robbie AK-47 Mies. Oh, he's yeah, he's got a full collection. Now. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh my God, Ooh. looking for some cheese here. Does he know the cheese? That is the question. He does know the cheese? It doesn't kill though. No, it does not kill. I'm interested to see how good this Marth is. Everybody thinks they have a Marth, and then they play Marth, and they don't have a Marth. Mm. So we'll, we'll see if Voffy is the exception to that rule. He does know his slingshots, though. He's got some of that spacing tech down. Failed up smash. Way gets the Ooh. sour spot again. Oh, he needs that sweet spot that to kill. Killed. It took his jump. Oh, the cheese. Yeah. That's what we're going to see in this matchup. It's such a nasty semi spike. It just shouldn't exist. Yeah, yeah. We're going to see a lot of honest, hardworking Marth gameplay, <laughs> it followed trips. by me, Brawler. It's so honest. Oh, no. Oh, it, just really, it just really tickles me how honest this character is. Ewan really is the best. Okay, waiting around here. None Ooh. of these up airs are sweet spotting. You're gonna need to sweet spot to find this kill. Oh, the Ooh. back punch! It almost kills! Oh, my God. oh, he's rocking the cheeser set. He doesn't even have shot put enabled. He just wants to kill you. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's calm down. Rapid jab. Gonna chill he's for gonna a bit. Look for the ledge trap. Okay. Oh, very nice. Yeah. I don't told someone to do it yet. Sour the double there. jump. Volfi might be panicking a little bit. Oh, just going to keep... Keeping it in the corner. Yeah, just going to keep resetting. Yeah. This is good ledge trapping from Ewan. Waiting for Volfi to try and find Finally a way out. out. Yeah. Does manage it, but he still can't get a hit. Oh, and it's all Ooh. sour. And those sour spots are going to be negative on hit right now. He's going to be punished if he if he hits one of them. Oh, no, tries too, to kill him. Yeah, too yeah. late for that now. And a four. Oh, he doesn't even need it. Wow. All right, late hit up smash is going to do it. You and a full stock up by surprise. Hang on. Looking for something. Gets the first sour spot in a while, but Voffy still unable to find anything really. Here comes awesome. the Marth Saifi. You've got to look for Gibbs here. No double jump. Another oh, fair. Here. Oh, oh the... doesn't get it. Very well-timed Thrupper. And it's a big opportunity for Ewan. 
Still living here. Got the recovery mix-ups at least. Yeah, worst flip kick comes in clutch. He keeps doing that flip kick over the ledge and Valky can't seem to do anything about it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of difficult to time. We've seen Valky yeah. get it a few times with that sweet forward air, but mm -hmm. again, like timing those sweet spots, if you're not really well practiced yeah. in it, it can be kind of yeah. a pain. And you can mix up the distance on that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, beautifully spaced from Voffy. It's not quite enough. That counter is going to cost yeah. him. And there it's going to cost him a lot. Oh, yeah. God. Love that. Ewan's recovery mix-ups were pretty good. Yeah. I'll say that. Voffy couldn't really get any edge guards going. Uh, and Ewan was doing some nice reaction ledge trapping as well. So really, really nice stuff from Very him. Nice. As he resets the bracket, are we going to see the full me trilogy? We've seen the setup. We have Will to. it be paid off? Or we is have it, it, to. He could be saving it. You never know. Maybe the sword fire is it's the for another finale. day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, no we're going to see it. No. Oh, it's Rex Robbie as well. Okay, okay. Meta Knight. All right, it's time to be a cheeser. I see, I see. Voffy saw the me brawler and was like, I understand. Yeah. I understand the remit. <laughs> I get this now. I'm feeling this. Okay, yeah, Buffy is here. Oh. We've got a lot of lot of travelers coming in. Lancelot, Tarek. Uh, this is a post-regen local, so. So surprisingly stacked. Yeah, surprisingly stacked as well. We're gonna see. Hopefully we get some some top players coming in as well who may not have signed up for bracket. Sometimes we've had Gluto as a surprise guest on comms before. I'm 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 crossing my fingers. <laughs> Oh, just about makes yeah. it back. Let's see, what have you learned from Dijon G? Nothing. Nothing. No, <laughs> he, he did not know the he did not know the DC Dichies. Oh. Not gonna get it right now. Buffy looking for an edge guard. Ewan smartly recovering high. Back throw, nothing crazy. And he's just gonna be looking for the last trap here. Yeah, he's just pressing buttons. Right. He's, the, the fifth chakra will oh, work. Calls him out. Oh, no. Oh, oh. OK. Nice mix from Buffy. Yeah. That's a classic. There we okay, go. He gets they, it this time. He does know the cheese. He does. You have to if you play this character. Yeah. This is an interesting strategy, because I think at one point, we were seeing Buffy pick, like, Marth and stuff. Yeah. And we were like, oh, you're going to pick the Fundy's characters, you know, rely on your neutral. Now we're seeing the opposite. Now we're just seeing cheeses. I, I think he might like, have woken up to reality. Yeah. Yeah. And realize, you know. You know who's easy? Characters who just need to hit a few uppers. Yeah. Those characters. Oh, OK. Almost, almost. Charged up smash. Oh, my god. Miss the projectiles out here. I don't know what you're reflecting. <laughs> I don't think Meta Knight has those. Down throw, looking for a tech chase. Ooh. Okay. That's a nice use of the reflector. Stalling in the air, I like it. No up B. Oh, I think he could have got up B off of those, yeah. Okay, still going to look for a follow up. Oh, the pivot was awkward. You are not going to get anything off Chakram. Okay. Wait. Ducking, dodging, looking for a back air, and F-Smash not going to take it. You can just smash it, though, because it has no lag. There we go. The Nair comes out. Beautiful and stuff. And this is the win the condition. Yeah, he's starting to scout out some of these neutral bees. They're yeah. getting a bit too obvious. Looking for some ladder combos as well, but not going to quite hit them yet. Wait. Reset Wait. on the platform? OK. No, Ewan knows he's holding out. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Bit funky. Yeah. Very intentional footstool there. His shield is low. Yeah, that's why he's just walking away. Yeah. He doesn't want to deal with it. Trying his best to find anything here. Gets a down throw, looking for an air dodge, but it's not going to come. That was Guess a that instead. yeah. That was a not great down beat. That was not ideal. <laughs> yeah, you want to you want to send out the hitbox there. <laughs> okay. No tech chase. 
No tech chase. Still looking for something. Ewan with a big deficit, but he is playing a cheeser character. Yeah. Anything can happen. Question is, does he know the cheese? He's looking for it. He was looking for drag down fair onto the platform there. Buffy was smart enough to DI in. Oh, not quite. Shielding that neutral B as well. Okay. Oh god. Yeah, you are not aware. That that Meta Knight F smash, it's not punishable. It kills? The Nair will kill. Alright, Buffy takes it. Too and Buffy, it's all good. Yeah, not relying on mains either, you know. Still got them locked in for the rest of bracket. Um, which is nice to see because earlier we were seeing, I think it was was it Durak who like yeah. popped all three mains yeah. in the first set. Yeah. That's risky. <laughs> Because if you What's lose, it that's it. Yeah. You're, it's over. Yeah. You know. But I guess if you're looking to make an upset, it makes sense, right? Take that risk because you're you're down exactly, anyway. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Be Man. interested to see who's next. I, I did want to see Robbie AK47 win. Uh, that would be ideal. I'm not sure if Robbie's here today. I wish. This is I him. Wish. This is him. No, I mean the Mies. The Mies? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, we are seeing Robbie. Yeah. We are seeing Robbie. Yeah. yeah, no. Sorry, Robbie is abroad right now, I think. Or oh, is he? He's either abroad or he's like at a con or something. He couldn't come to Regen. Oh, yeah. I know that. Um, so he's greatly missed. Yeah, he, he was missed. He was missed. Uh, but he's somebody who like he does travel a lot and goes to a lot of events anyway. So. Robbie wasn't strong enough. Robbie wasn't strong enough. Yeah. Yeah, I, I blame Robbie AK47 the person. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. He was in your heart, but not enough. If he had better results, he would inspire you more. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I figure it out. We're getting sneak this is. Yeah, that's what Ewan said that, yeah, not me, not me. Uh, don't, don't, don't blame me for that one, that, <laughs> no. All right. All right. How are we doing, VG Bootcamp? Okay. Yeah, imagine not going to reach that. I'm sorry, Abla. It was, was a lot of fun. As you yeah. can tell, I lost my voice. I was cheering a lot. Uh, I would say a solid 80% of the people in this building have lost their voice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yep. Yeah, and an EU major as well. There ain't nobody with a good voice, especially with the karaoke after. By oh, the way, I have was, to say, yeah. big ups to the production. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if it was the French people or if it was some of the Irish people who were running the karaoke anyway. The fact that we had the X Factor like screens and like lighting and stuff, nuts. It was sick. The karaoke was 10 times better for yeah. that. A massive credit to whoever was up until 1 a.m. making sure that like the beat dropped with the lights. Beautiful <laughs> stuff. Phenomenal behavior. No, you did not have to do that. That was going the extra mile. We, we love you for that. Yeah, made some great moments. Amazing stuff, yeah. That's one of the things about Regen is that like so much of the fun stuff is off stream in the after parties and the you know the stuff like that. Yeah. So the in-person experience is so good and unlike a lot of other events, it feels like there's a lot outside of bracket. Right? And it's so good at that that it feels like it's become the standard in that sense. Yeah, it's really not just a tournament, it's a it's it's a proper event, you know. Yeah. It's a it's a spectacle. Okay. We have one of our higher seeds here, Elwin. Uh, they are good because they have a ton of pockets, <laughs> mm. a ton of pockets. We've seen, uh, they've got Wii Fit Trainer, of course. Yeah. Um, they're up against Omin, who I'm, I'm not sure how good they are. But Elwin, of course, has Wii Fit and Pac-Man as co-mains and Falco. So already you're looking at three co-mains, which you can bring out later in the bracket and immediately start messing people up. That's a whole set's worth. And who knows what else he has. Of course. And those are characters that require vastly different skills. Yeah. You've got like the set play of Pac-Man. A little bit of that crosses over to Wii Fit, but most of Wii Fit is just cheese. Then you've got like the sort of more fundamental E aspects of the sort of spacey game plan that you've got with Falco, the exactly. moon boots, the jumping. Yeah. Omen, on the other hand, I've got no clue. Uh, I'm not even sure if they were at Regen. <laughs> they probably were. Um, no, they were. I, I was playing some friendlies with them earlier. Oh, nice. Do you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you know who they play? Um, main is Young Link. Obviously, they have all the links, right? You, um, yeah. Who did they play against me? Uh, pulled out the Roy. Pulled out the. 
who they pull out. God, I've basically been half asleep. It's been a long weekend. Yeah. Um, who else do we see? I guess we'll be finding out. We will be finding out. And uh, <laughs> yeah, we got Elwin versus Omen right now. It'll be an interesting one. I think for sure. old Gamer Elwin over here is the favorite going in again just because of the sheer volume of pockets that they have at their disposal and the sort of fundamentals that that can give you. But Omen, playing all three links is useful. Yeah, it is. It's really, it's really, really clutch. We're seeing two classic kind of picks here. We've got simple game plan, and that's Incineroar. Yeah. We've got Cloud, Fundy's game plan. Right, so we've got our two sort of different approaches to the way this works. The cheeses and the fundies. Oh, don't oh, lose your jump! Oh. Okay, Elwin immediately going for the down air. They were looking for it immediately. And as I told you, they oh are God, looking for the red. cheese. Oh. Okay. Nice weights from Omen. They're looking to use a little bit more of, more of their fundamentals in this first game here. As you mentioned, they do play Link, so spacing with mm. Swordies is like transferable skill, right? Of course, yeah. Oh, and actually thinking about it, they did used to be a Cloud main. Oh, really? Yeah, so this is a big pick. Okay, yeah, they're sending it yeah. early, okay. Well, look, if you're the underdog, that's something that you've got to do, of right? Of course. Oof. Yeah, There's no point saving if, you know, you're not going to win in the first place. Yeah, exactly. Okay, miss spacing there. Elwin with the classic roll behind F Smash. That is we fit fundamentals right there. Okay, nice catch with the back air. Yeah, we are moving on. Yeah, of course. He's got to try and space around this side B. Beautiful stuff from Omen. Really managing that range 62. super well. Hang on. Oh. Hang on! Is this Spargo? What am I watching? Okay. Oh, catches him out. Sorry, that. All right. Alwyn looking for some more down tilts. Not working out right now. This feels like all Omen, which is kind of a surprise. Yeah. Called oh, parry as well. Not going to get the punish. Limit is online. Then Man again, gone. it is Cloud, and Cloud is notoriously a hamster character. Mm. One instant there, you're over. You're finished. So. Never feel comfortable in a lead, but that fair is going to take it off the top. I love that everybody's going PS2. Nobody's doing stage bans. We don't need it. Not for this format. Yeah, of course. Too busy picking characters. Big what lead. a catch. OK, that is a tried and true frame trap. Now we're truly even. Yeah, Ooh. even immediately. Hang on, nice A land. Wait, the juggles. Limit's almost built. You're at 75 no already. Oh, the reversal. <gasps> Looking for the no! down air, but it didn't matter. Oh. oh, no. I told you they were looking for the cheese, and cheese they found. Elwin takes game one. Oh, my God. Man. Beautiful stuff from the Elwin Incineroar. Mm. I can see the Netherlands popping off in chat. You will see them around in the venue. The flag is here as well, by the way. Okay. Let's see what Elwin's got cooking. Already? Hang on a minute. Ooh. Hang on a minute. Elwin is scared. Yeah, they'll be betting. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh! Both of them bringing out the main. Both of them. This should be an exciting one. Falco's not a secondary anymore. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I I know Falco was like up there at one point. Um, so maybe it's an X an X main. Nonetheless. Nonetheless, pulling out an X main yeah. right now is wild. Especially after you won the last one with Incineroar. Hey, the Yink comes out. Of course, we're very well known for starring Kendrick Olimar at our locals. So if you're Omin, you're trying to challenge 
challenge Ooh. that energy. Very nice play, Rigal. Oh, nice parry. Oh, oh the jab lock. Hang on a minute. Oh, I mean, look at the lynch trap. That shine was nice. Okay. Elwin got a little bit more experience on this character than, than the Incineroar. I believe that reflector is frame one. Oh, oh hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I'm loving this from Omen right now. And the up tilt double jump up air. Did the bomb kill him? Yeah, we're starting to see them know a little bit more of their confirms now, both of them. I have seven shooting crossbeats, eight, please. Nice up here. Yeah. Doesn't get the pivot grab. We're seeing a lot of damage. A lot, a lot of damage. Oh my god, now Elwin. We're returning it. Immediate return. And now we're starting to see these games yeah. get a little bit faster because they really know their BBs. Hang on a minute. Up air, back air, yep. Looking for the down air immediately. Oh, no. Whoa, be oh. careful. Be careful. Tried to jump from ledge. Elwin is going to catch that with a beautiful reaction. Omin still got the cheese on deck, though. That shine going to stop it from, uh, from being confirmed. By the way, Kendrick Olimar is watching. You got people to impress out here. <laughs> Oh man, looking for a ledge trap. Down throw's not gonna do oh, it. No, that was a big opportunity. Oh, he gets it okay, anyways. Okay, the fair comes out. Right, time for Elwin to build out those combos. Not gonna happen quite yet. Now it's Omin's time to play the game. Already removing the lead. Hang on, no SD. Oh, oh my magnet God. Hands. Saved by the magnet hands. Thank you, Nintendo. Grab. Blessing us with a few more games. And Almond is looking good here. Yeah, just keeping Elwin yeah. out. Great pick up with the net and another reflector. Elwin seems to know whenever those projectiles are coming out. This could be big. Oh, oh no! no! What are you doing? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Barely living. Oh, yeah. Elwin they again. had that. No, Elwin. Next time, again with the reflectors. <gasps> oh my <gasps> god! Fuck off, smash slugs. Oh, oh, the reversal. That's some Wii Fit fundamentals there we right there. Okay, Elwin taking it 2 0. The X Main does it. Of course. And uh, Great Omen. I like the Young Link. I like mm. the Young Link. It's a shame we can't see it again. Yeah. All right, I think I'll be hopping off for a bit. All right, I'll see you. Yeah. It's just me. You are left with Chucky, We Fit Trainer. We've got Pitwolf and Rat King. And I'm sorry if I'm Rat King, I'm picking Pikachu. Because I know Pitwolf is picking some kind of FGC. And if I'm Rat King, I'm like, I can beat all of these. And I can make the upset. I'm getting my clip. I'm getting my Rosebloom tweet. I was just explaining. If you're Rat King, you go main here, right? Right, I, I dropped a game, and then I chose Meta Knight, and I three-stocked them. Then I chose Tunic, and I three-stocked them. I've run out of characters. I've officially, I've run out of characters. Oh, you but run out of mains? I got you both. burned your mains this yeah, early. Yeah, I three-stocked both, both games, and it felt okay. so good. It felt so, so good, Shaki. Um, Sometimes it's worth it to not go 0 -2. Yeah, that's Sometimes it. That's, it's, that's you, it. Are, you are avoiding being going 0-2 like the plague, and I respect that. If you're Rat King, you go main here, right? And I can't believe Elwin burnt their main, you know? That's crazy, because Elwin is a Falco main. As we, Falco main Elwin's as not know. a Falco main. Yes, yes, they are. No, they are. They're always in Falco court. I'm in, Falco, in Falco court. They have I'm a Falco. Falco main. They have a Falco. Yes. And I'm but Falco. they are a Pac-Man We Fit co-main. Nope. OK, fine. Uh, if, they, if they chose Falco against me, they would have won at DBZ, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> they did win. They, I beat them at DBZ. What? I have an Elwin win. No, you don't. I, I get like PR wins and I just go like 2-2 two, two after. It's, it's just a thing that I do a lot. <laughs> Where's Omen from? Well, uh, Omen's in London, but they periodically attend. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure they, they're in and out. But they started attending a little bit more recently. They were at Regen as well. Nice. And yet they have a daily, I'm pretty sure. And they have a young, they main young link. But they have a mean tune link. We'll see it in the Oh, losers. really? They got okay. a mean tune link. All right. So, again, yeah, if I'm Rat King, I'm, I'm just going, I'm going Pika and Pichu. Because if, if Pitwolf, Pitwolf's mains are going to be like all of the FGCs, right? Yeah, I, I'm, gonna, I'm expecting a Terry or a Ken. Whichever yeah. one is this weaker one, I don't know. Well, he played before Kazuya. Maybe you can look it up. We could side bet on who he plays. Oh, because I've just maybe. been gambling and drinking and smoking like the past like three days. Go on a smash rap and you can. Why is it giving me chat GPT AI or whatever, man? Whatever. Go, just go on smash Terry, rap. Terry. What are you doing? So they have Kazuya and Ken, oh. and then they have an ulti ultimate, other ultimate characters, Terry. So I'm assuming Terry game one. Unless. Uh, they got like no. another Palu. Not ter not this early. Terry is going to so be safe for later. Palus, Mario's, Roy's today, I swear. Aegis is. I think Aegis will be the most popular character. I'm glad Aegis. Aegis was the most popular at region. Wow. There were five in top 32. We fell off. What? We fell off. We fell off? Nah. It was just because everybody has an Aegis secondary. Although Schmigstape did say that he wanted to off himself after getting 6 0 by Aegis, which I respect. Mixtape hasn't been having much luck at region, has he? No, Taudi has been. Uh, <laughs> Taudi is not. Taudi is not at a favourable region bracket <laughs> in a while. Uh, uh, he got beaten by some shock player, but I just didn't see any results graphics that included him on it. So I guess we'll never know who beat him at region 2023 to get ninth. The you mean the player that I put in my what? Who beat him to get for Regen 2023 to get ninth? Yeah, to get ninth, you're about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you mean in the chat watch, the, the one that I put down? Oh, shut up. No, no. No, no chat watch. No chat watch. Mario. Follow me Luigi. on Twitter. No, uh, okay, all right. Luigi Mario. Okay, Pit Wolf Luigi makes sense because Luigi is also a cheeser. Uh, RK right is King Mario. Luigi. RK is the one playing Luigi. RK is playing Pit Luigi. Wolf is playing Mario. Can Mario we, is also a cheeser. Can we just stop talking about how everyone in the game is a cheeser? Because everyone, that, every character just takes you to 60 in one interaction. Can we just stop being surprised? I play Toon Link, Toon Link, and I take you to 60 in an interaction. Stop complaining. Oh my god, you smashes annoy me. Well, I mean, Luigi's a different tier. You play Wii Fit, you take me to like 80 in one interaction, and sometimes it's 40 in one interaction. No, no, I, I understand. I'm just saying, like, Luigi is a touch of death cheeser. Every character starts to death if you're good enough in the game. Anyhow, we say Pitbull gets RK, obviously Mario. Do not pretend Luigi. like getting grabbed by Luigi and getting nared by Wii Fit are the same thing. Yeah, basically the same thing. Uh, shut up. You can't I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not engaging with this. I'm just so excited for the comment section on this Twitch video. chat, clip this guy. Okay, RK. RK, if I'm being honest, RK is playing this character. Like, it's very familiar. I'm actually curious yeah. if he actually had a Luigi, because like these airs, these are... Uh, the way that he's playing around uh, Pip's belt range is actually really good. And, uh, yeah. I mean, maybe, right? Oh, like, okay. Because Luigi's game plan is, like, relatively simple, he's a very good character pick character. It's true. And we're seeing the Zed dash deck again. I really like that. And it grab. Wait. Okay. okay. Good idea there. Nice call out with the F smash. Wow. RK seems to know his stuff in this character. Not gonna lie. Hang on a minute. RK is cooking. RK, this Rat is... King. Rat King. Go. Actually, he's not. His tag isn't RK, it's Rat King. <gasps> Okay, I thought we well, see a grab. Uh, I mean, his tag in game is okay. I'm actually really impressed by this Luigi gameplay. I, I just didn't, like, he's a Pikachu player. Like, this doesn't make any sense to me. Yo. Oh, oh what? God. I'm what? actually very impressed by what? this Luigi gameplay. This is Luigi gameplay, like, what? Did I just okay have Luigi? Does, does he have Smash? that in his locker? Does anyone in Smash Island know if this guy had a Luigi at any point? This is fun, this bracket. Like, who the f what? Do you think he just VOD reviewed a bunch of Vertex VODs and was like, <laughs> I suppose I get he, it now. he's quite familiar with Vertex, best uh, Luigi in. Actually, I was about to say, in the UK is. That's, no, that's not true. That's, <laughs> there's a while to go. Oh, go wow, Jig, Jig the, Jam 47. The second the best one in, in the UK yeah, and yeah, Ireland. Jig Jam 47, the Luigi from Bath. He's J the best. <laughs> What do you know about Jig Jam? Shout out to my boy. I don't think he's watching this. Oh, yeah. Oh! Okay, good, let's go. Bye. Oh, bye. Go play in bracket. Yeah, Jim Jam. You're right, you're right. Oh, my God. What a start. Rat King is 1-0 up on Pitwolf. The Rat King... I'm just saying, the Rat King Luigi... 
Kind of uh, wild. Yeah, Rat King. That was looking like Lugi King, man. Jesus. <laughs> Lugi King. Are you that in was bracket? Skip's King. Skip's I'm, King. I'm not in bracket. No, I'm bracket. How about you? <sighs> yeah, I am. I'm. Uh, it's time. I'm ready. I'm ready. But I'm wave B, so you still wave B right now. Pitbull for Mario. Yeah, I, I, I'd be using question marks too because it got it got folded. I can't lie. He's gonna, <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Perhaps this is the first challenge Pitbull is going to face. Is he going to you know bring out the cars here? Is he going to bring out the, the Ken in order to keep his hopes alive in this I, set? The problem is if he does that, Rat King could just pick Pikachu, right? Because I'm assuming. It's a good matchup. Yeah, it's like a nuts like Pikachu, Pichu. Those are the kind of options that Rat King has in his locker that are going to mess with every FGC. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, for those of you who don't know the format, it's Smashdown, which means you use a character for one game. You cannot use them for the rest of the tournament. We've all got little sheets that you cross off with each character. Uh, Echoes are separate uh, because we're using Nintendo rules, but these are also legal because we're not using Nintendo rules. Thank you, Burning. Okay. Wait. This could go either way. Oh, the Pip Wolf. Hang on a minute. Honoring the tag for a second. Pit wolf. Wait. The tag. Presumably, Pip Wolf has a pretty good wolf. Uh -huh. Yeah, burning it early, yeah. but makes sense after that Can't first lie. game. I played RK, RK's Pokemon trainer on Elite Special with my Pichu. My Pichu was cooking him. So I don't have faith in this Pokemon trainer. But maybe RK can prove me wrong. I mean, Squirtle is kind of a fake rat. Yeah. If you, if you like, really think about it. He's a Pokemon, so, you know, close enough. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, this looks mostly Pet Wolf right now. Uh, I mean, RK could get some edge cards. Very basic to start things off. Oh my god, what oh. is that? Ambitious roll read. <laughs> As Pit Wolf is trying to take this first stock with his namesake, but. Uh, He's going to have to work harder than these YOLO smash tags. Maybe a YOLO back air. That moves so strong. Now the, the Zard coming out. Yeah, that Zard's going to be awkward oh, to deal I was, with. I was ready for the Flare Blitz deck chase, but not, <laughs> not so. No, not that brave yet. Yeah, showing some restraint. Or perhaps not that desperate. You know, who knows? <laughs> you, can, you can see it either way, I think. I, I don't know. I'm looking at those up smashes. I think the desperation is there. I think. It, it works though, it works! It's frame 5, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Easy move. Nuts move. But, uh, you know, not, not fast enough. As, okay, it is fast enough. I was going to say Pitbull for the stock lead, but RK proving me wrong very, uh, very quickly there. As, uh, you know, still behind in this game, but it's looking, it's looking more durable now. Nice wait. Okay. Overcommitting a little bit. Hang on a minute. <laughs> yeah, you can tell they're both a little unfamiliar. Yeah, they're, they're both looking for these combo starters, but they're, they're quite unsure of how to actually land them. You know, we're seeing some whiffs, or these, these, these game plans perhaps not very refined. Yeah, not right now. Okay, the up smash, still not gonna kill. Bit Wolf looking for some kind of ledge trap. Those side Bs under the platform are getting very frustrating for Pip Wolf right now, I think. This is where the big guy comes out. Charizard with Rage. What can he do? He's looking for back throw for Yeah. Like, yeah. you can sense it. Yeah, I mean, he gets the back throw. I was very shocked he lived that. I can't lie. That's great, DI. Oh, oh okay. Just That's throw the it out. he needs. Give me another one. Oh, Tomahawk! Wait! Give back me a oh, oh, he's God, dead! Okay, he's dead! Silly goose! Oh no! <laughs> Where are you going? Yeah, I, 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 was, I was feeling it, but then he just... I don't know, what is he doing? I don't know. <laughs> what a silly guy, man. And now Pitbull has the lead yet again. Oh, he's doing a good job of just getting around those Ivy hitboxes. RK. Down throw into shield. What a combo from Pitbull. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, not ideal from Pitwolf. Oh what? my god. Oh. Approaching foot. Yo! That's new tech. That's new tech. That's, That's new, new tech. tech. 
He didn't even up me after. He didn't need to. Approaching footstool. We love him. Oh my God. RK is fishing for that back air. I've never seen someone go for it more. The fares are coming out. Oh, he gets the dash tight this time. No jump. Wait. Oh! oh! We are level. Let's go, Sweden. Sweden coming out loud as well. All right, all right. Yeah, I mean, it really does not get more more fierce than the, the smash down local, does it? Like, <laughs> no. this is this no. is this is as muted as it gets. But now, of course, Pitbull have to has to pick his character first. Yeah. He won. So uh, RK can counter pick him. I reckon if Pit Wolf goes one of his FGCs, I think RK could just pick Pikachu and win, honestly. Yeah. He says he's not a bitch. He wants to go all the way to Grand Finals. He has lots of lot next, so good luck with that. But <laughs> he's saving his best characters. We'll see. I think he said I'll go Roy, but I'm not sure. And Ooh. now RK has a decision to make. He could go Pikachu. Yeah. Oh! He won he Oh won no! He's trying to secure that top 12. Bro, he's betrayed! Oh, Pitwolf! And Pitwolf is incensed. He can't believe it. Oh no. He's gonna have to hope his fundies prevail. I don't know how much of them he has, but if he has any, they're gonna need to come out now. Wait. Why are they doing up? Yes. Are they doing stage bands? But like, whoever won the last game, I don't, yeah, I don't get it. But these they're guys, just going back to PS2 anyway. Are these guys doing game one bands? I don't, no, they're not. Okay, FD, FD. Oh, Pikachu yeah. on FD is rough, though. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. it's Pikachu on FD, though. Oh, no. Hang on a minute. All right, the only thing is, if, if RK loses this, he might as well DQ. Well, he's got the Pichu still. I guess, I guess. <laughs> he's, he's banging it all on this set, you're right. He's banging it all. Yeah, Pitbull, a bit more insurance in losers. He's kept all his characters. He needs the Roy Fundies to come out right now. Ah, oh, this is over. This is over. He's let him do five Rising Arrows in a row. He hasn't punished a single one because he's terrified. It's all over. you have to do is up the out of shield. It's I know over, you play over. characters with no with no out of shield options. It. It's over, it's over. Oh no. He does not know how to play this matchup. He's cooked. He's, He's cooked. Okay, Wait. that's your dash It's even. It's even, but he's gonna need to come up with a strategy. Oh! oh how did that sour spot? Roy is terrible, man. <laughs> yeah. How did that sour spot? Like, he doesn't know what to do about this. Okay, dash back side B, that works. That works. He's got here ledge trap. Oh, Can he jab wolf. back here? That's the question. Oh, oh no! You have to recover first. That's diabolical. Oh. As RK takes the lead with his trusty Pikachu. Oh no, he's got the loops. Uh, okay, no, he's strange, not bothering with the loops. <laughs> strange not. decision there. He thinks he's playing Pichu. He's trying to back air loop. But, you know, he will be happy with this lead. Pitwolf slightly dismayed as this extra credit is racking up in this unfamiliar matchup. Hang on. Wait, Pitwolf starting to play around T-Jot a little bit better now. Realizing that unlike his mains, this character can jump. Oh, God. Oh. Oh my god. Oh! Hey, he's adapting! He's adapting! I mean, he's against the, his mate, so he has the crowd on his side. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. Oh no! Okay, 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 hang on a minute. Oh! Still living? Wait! That was an easy shot up up I can't lie. I shouldn't backseat too much, but it's smashed down, so I feel. Finally! He remembered he could up the out shield. He remembered. He was like, I'm playing a swordie. Wait. Hang on. Why are you looking for landing up air against Pikachu? Who do you, what, what character do you think you're playing? Oh, if he gets a read on the, this quick attack, he could, he could steal a stock, you know. Oh, wait. Pit Wolf is locking. He's fishing for a roll in. 
Oh, I'm able to get the back air. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, SCI's up, but not enough to escape. He narrowly dodges the back air drag down. And this is pretty, this is looking amazing for Pitbull. Imagine he stays in winners, winners quarters with all his mains still, all the fighting game characters. Exactly, that'd be perfect. That's exactly what he wants. Oh! Okay, wait. And honestly, RK is so embarrassed right now. He, <laughs> yeah. he wants to win this. He's, he's playing worse. Because he's like, oh my god, I'm about to lose with my main to a Shoto player's Roy. Like, he's so embarrassed. Oh my god. Okay, you're gonna need to redeem yourself soon. Looking for the T Jolt. Great recovery mix up. Up throws, gonna do it. Okay, low ceiling, FD. Whoa. And he can camp out with T Jolt right now. Oh, wait. That was the setup. That wasn't just us. Yeah. They also took them a second. I think the switch might have been dislodged for a second there. Yeah, that was crazy. All right. Looking for the TJ. Oh! 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 oh my god! It's even. Oh my, Mr. Fundamentals! Pip Wolf himself! Oh, that double jump. Oh no! It might not be Zagrix, but I saw a Zagrix double jump there. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, letting him live oh. for it though. But not for much longer. He's only. He's at 70. Hang on. Oh, could RK make one of the biggest upsets of this bracket so far? Is betting the main oh. on this worth it? Wait! Okay, looking for some. Looking to wait to reset the situation. Spot That's dodges safe. the dash grab, and this momentum is looking insurmountable. He's, he's, on, he's in his head. He spot dodges the grab. He dash attacks the dash back. RK is locked in right now, Chaki. Oh, Look at this. Absolutely ready to go right now. Also, I've noticed. Did this kill? No, no, when, no, no, no. When people get random characters, they don't know what to do, they just camp. Look at the timer. <laughs> like, this has been a long game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no, uh, it's so! Oh! Oh, oh he's rolling! Relax, relax. Oh, the DI. The uh, DI. Oh. oh, he fell out! Oh. What? Oh! No, that's it. That's it, surely. Oh, this character cannot kill. It was kill. stale. It was stale. Oh, the rolls, the rolls. Give me a third roll. That's it, that's it, surely, yeah. Nice timing mix up, the dash attack. Did not get parried. <laughs> Pit Wolf, again, insulting Rat King for using his main. Yeah. But he is going to take that win and run with it. And he will not survive much longer in winners, uh, but he will appreciate the time he has left. Yeah, he's made his way to winners' quarters, but I don't know how much further he's going to get. Uh, RK there, seeding that win. and. Uh, yeah, I wonder who we're going to get next on stream. It might be back to winners round one, so um, perhaps uh, people are off we'll their mains off now. Soon. I'm not sure. We'll see. Yeah. Be interested to see who we've got. It is fun seeing people's secondaries and like them figuring out the character in real time. Yeah. Oh, we've got the Netherlands fan club in here. Hang on a minute. A Dutch coming up. Grey Kuroko. I'm guessing that is Grey Crocodile. Grey Crocodile. Grey Crocodile. Stepping up to the, uh, the, the the chair versus London resident Splinter. Uh, you know, Bayo Main, whether we'll be seeing Bayo is obviously another question. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Whether we'll be seeing Bayo is another question. Uh, but UK Bayos are known for making upsets at every event they go to, so you never know, you never know. Um, we probably won't be seeing Bayo round one. I'd be interested to see what the other characters with those kind of translatable skills are. Yeah. Uh, Bayo players, they tend to play, I don't know, other kind of weird characters with gimmicks. Yeah, I don't know. I like, mean, yeah. I I feel like no one respects like anyone else character choice in Smash, but I would say like Bayo mains are kind of carried, and I'd also say that every heavy main is also kind of carried. So I'm not really sure what to expect from a set like this, but we'll see. Yeah, that's true. Like a, a lot of heavy players do rely on easy. heavies. They're too easy. They're too brain dead. Like they're bad. They're bad. They're also really easy. 
which is why I'm going to be going them today. I can't lie. I, my Bowser will cook. My DDD will cook. But your DDD will cook. You you can save your DK up until you get into Pro the DK Basket. DK is being safe for top eight. Yeah. 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 Top eight. But, um, we'll see. We'll see uh, what these two fellows can muster in this round one. Among these two, you might see some sorties there. Oh, that's how you do double blind. Out. Sorry. I think they did double blinds by like they both crossed off one and then they like hid it and then they showed each other what they crossed off. Oh, nice. So that's how they're going to do. That's how you do double blind. Because obviously game one, you have to do double blind. Otherwise, yeah, yeah. you just counter pick each other. Uh, yeah. Let's see, we're probably not going to see any stage bans. Uh, uh, I'm imagining people are just going to go <laughs> PS2 every game. In a that's what we've seen so far, yeah. yeah. Go SBF instead. Uh, eh, no difference. Uh, yeah, we're going to see some tags. I'm in the IRA. Quickly. Interesting tag. <laughs> Lil Nas, <laughs> yes. Uh, Nickelodeon Brawl Stars. Nickelodeon Brawl Stars. Can you tell the setup's been at Regen? Got Nasba propaganda out here. Wait, I'm what just is, saying. Is it Nickelodeon All Stars Brawl? I said Nickelodeon Brawl Stars. Uh, Sorry, Nickelodeon All Stars Brawl. I never played, I Did you, you play what? that game? I never played. I played Nasba 1 for a bit. The reason I stopped playing, I looked for friendlies. The only person I found was like number one in Europe. I played her. She took my stock and I lost two stocks. Do you know why? They tried to patch out one of the cooler mechanics in disadvantage. And what happened is they tried to make you preserve your momentum more. So sometimes if you, you got killed with high enough knockback, you just die twice. Because you'd respawn and you'd keep the knot back and you just go. This was two years into the game's lifespan. I was like, I'm, I'm out. I'm gone. That this game a, does not work. That is, a, that is an intriguing mechanic. <laughs> that is an intriguing mechanic. Uh, yeah, there was like some stupid bug. It took him ages to patch it. Nazma 2 apparently much better, good, not a beta. Uh, but I never played it. Uh, it's got like Guilty Gear Burst slash like uh, EX moves yeah. tied to the same meter. So that sounds fun. I do like those kind of mechanics, those big green bars that do everything. But uh, enough about Nazba, let's get on to Ultimate. Yeah. I was talking about this. I was talking about this at Regen. There should be a panel that just like votes on it. And if you get you get three tens, you're gone. Reward people for clips. Okay, he's trolling. He's trolling. He's trolling. <laughs> you know, you know what? Oh, that's true. You would benefit that's, that's a lot. A good thing, though. That's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. I, it's funny he picks a uh, great K rule just to like troll because I know that uh, maybe probably, <laughs> but um, I know that I know I know that. Uh, Oasis told me his round one was T1000 and Isabel main, and he went Isabel game one of winners round one. Yeah, a few people Honestly, have done that. Crazy. A few people have done that. First game of the tournament. I saw Durak first set on stream. He went both his mains. I think he went all three of his mains. Fuck it out. And he lost. No so restraint. Loses his uh. Damn. He's already thing. out. I saw him just uh, polar. So. Yeah, that's. Uh, let, that, let that be a tale, I suppose. Let that be a lesson. Yeah. Some of you are not well versed. In the famous burning smashdown format. Yeah. As a uh, splinter right now, kind of putting in work with this Lucina. I gotta say, never seen before, but um, you know, maybe we'll be seeing more of it because it is it's doing quite well right now. I'm gonna say that. Yeah, I mean they're both gone to like these are two characters that you want off random. You know what I mean? Yeah. Very uh, intuitive characters. Yeah. yeah they re represent their archetypes quite well. Ooh. Oh, okay. Nice, nice reaction on that tech chase. Hang on a minute, Gure. Doing a little bit better, but Splinter looking to get back into it. Just needs a back air here. Oh, not going to connect. That was the late hit. Going out for the edge guard. Not going to work either. Yeah, and we we see the Dutch flag in the background for Gure as he's being cheered on staunchly by his countrymen. Yeah, the Dutch crowd was amazing last night as well. They, uh, I was sat behind them the whole time. They were extremely loud. They flipped the flag around when it was Gluto versus Leo to make the French flag. They care about Europe. Yeah. 
It was great. It's always great to see that at like EU events. It's something you don't get at US events as much. Yeah, I think that was one of the nicest parts of Regen. Like, uh, England wasn't too invested in the crew battles, but a lot of countries were, and they, they seemed to really enjoy it. So it was nice that, I think it was good that the crew battles happened. Yeah, no, it was really nice that the crew battles happened. Uh, the English team was just Preston, I think. Yeah, I believe it was. Uh, because <laughs> none of the others signed up. Uh, but it was nice to see everybody caring so much about international crews. That was like really fun. And just like the nations across top 32, you could see sort of gangs of spectators roaming the venue to try and uh, cheer on for their for their players. So it was lovely to see. Splinter right now, it's not looking good. Gure trying to take this stop with an F tilt, not gonna quite work. Still very even, that back air's not gonna do it though. Looking for another one, getting reversaled. So we'll take it. Yeah. Again, two very sort of simple, intuitive characters. They're both pushing them, but Splinter's been overcommitting a lot with those edge guards. It's not been super favorable for him so far. That up tilt, again, just showing a bit more restraint now. And that up air just taking the stop. Yeah, both these guys, you know, just trying to. Like we're not we're not really seeing any crazy tricks, but they're they're just trying to keep it simple with these straightforward characters. Gray with the lead now, you know he's getting these lasers. This flow chart from him is working out as uh, Spencer's struggling somewhat. Oh, I like that idea. Trying to catch Gray with the thing that Gray caught him with. Wait, no jump. Okay, nice patience from Splinter. Oh. Oh, no, whoa! Okay, and Splinter up game one. Yeah. This could be a nice upset to kick the bracket off. I love that F smash immediately. Beautiful reaction. A confident F smash. That is exactly what you need. In, a, in Smash Down, winning game one is like so important because it means if you lose this game, you have the safety net and then you can counter pick them game three because they have to pick a character first. So it is so important that you win game one in this format. And uh, Splinter, uh, yeah, he's in prime position to take this now. Have you won this format before, by the way? I'm trying to remember. Uh, I did really bad last time because I was too ambitious. I saved all my characters and I got ninth. So ah. I'm trying to redeem myself. And I've, okay. I've learned from my mistakes. And I will, I will not show so much restraint in using my best characters. That's a smart I idea. Will, I will just use them. I will just use them. All right. That's smart. I know Burning loves this format on his birthday because... He's good at it. Like, he, he basically told me, I have engineered a bracket format that lets me get top eight. Yeah, I see. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I was just asking, because it'd be interesting to see people with more experience. Now this happened for a couple years in a row. How they've succeeded in this bracket format. Yeah. When's the right time? I mean, it's funny you say that, because the 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 champion of the previous bracket lost his winners round one. The king of Fundy's Dark Stalker. Wait, uh, that's why he seed one today, isn't it? Because he won the last one. Yeah, no, you're right, you're one, right. So he was too ambitious. He flew too close to the sun, Icarus. And uh, it's ironic because he went dark pit, so yeah. Yeah, now he's in losers and it's gonna be really tough for him. Yeah. Wait, that's, that's not, I thought you meant last time. Is that now? What do you mean? No, he, he lost winners round one now. He oh my last. god. Yeah. Okay, well this bracket has turned on its head already. We've got Puff and Bowser. I feel like I've seen the splinter Bowser. Maybe I'm crazy. I feel like everybody has a Bowser. This character's yeah. not. Give me some up his eye shield. Give me some short hop forward airs. Very straightforward stuff. Yeah, this is a classic friendlies character. Already taking inspiration from NS there, by the way, <laughs> with, that, with that down air. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Wait. Okay, not a setup, Noah. That's fine. Actually, tough guy kind of comes in clutch if you're Bowser. Because a lot of the, like, the sour fair stuff on platforms might right, not work. I have work. to go play. So All I'll right, around, I'll see you around. Hang on. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, Tekka has abandoned me. I am left on my own to commentate this set. Splinter racking up the damage. 
What a good understanding of Bowser's pretty simple game plan. Gure, not really looking for the edge guard right now. Just looking for regular old puff kills. That back air does not have the range that it used to. That near a hit stun coming in clutch for Gure. Gotta find this kill soon, because Bowser will pop this balloon. Oh my god. This could be a big upset for Splinter immediately in winner's round one. Down air is not going to happen. Hang on, down B. Wait. Two stocks in the lead. Oasis, look at the splinter dub before you. Yeah, I'm back. I played melee with some guy. What? Apparently it's Hags Emp or something. I don't know if okay. he's good. If anyone in chat knows if he's good, then let me know. But it's, but it's Fox. It's kind of nice. I was sitting there thinking, wait, did he know? Is there a way Puff can't recover? Anyway. No, he's just... He Why is Splinter Bowser cooking? Oh my god, he's so good. Oh my god. Yeah, you didn't realize. What? You didn't realize. Is that? He's winning. He's winning. He's going to get through round one without using a main. Who's that? Who's that? Who's Gure's main? Who's Gure? Who does Gure play? K. Rool. Who? K. Rool. Okay, all right, all right. Okay, but you got to be careful because you know what Puff is like. The thing is with Puff is that if you don't get a stock here, you can try to eat something from Bowser. Ah, uh, okay. doesn't really matter. Why? Oh, yeah. Just Splinter. F smash! Splinter! F smash! What are you doing? Crazy guy. That's Crazy the guy. first time Splinter's gone for a rest setup. Oh! Oh, I meant Gure. But so, Splinter, with the NS down air out of hit stun, so the, taking the, the, the set. The funny thing about that down air is that um, usually when you fly upwards, if you're a character with low gravity, then the game compensates with it uh, by reducing your knockback or reducing your gravity, uh, increasing your gravity, basically. So everyone has equal knockback. But if you bounce on the floor first, then it ignores that. Which means it kills Puff way earlier if he gets spiked into the background first. Oh my god, is that why it didn't kill screen? Yeah, it, yeah, it just didn't compensate. So there's a, yeah. What? Oasis melee, young link is ransom. My young link kills him melee! No, um, yeah, that's why, that's why he basically teleported. Even though that move isn't that strong. If, uh, for example, he hit Fox with that, then it wouldn't have gone as far. It's quite funny. Okay. It's just an oversight encoding. And it barely comes out, but it actually comes up uh, if you do like down air up smash with Joker or something like that. Uh, like some characters are just much harder to hit. That's your weird. That's a really yeah. If that's you get a really grounded spike, then it's ignored. I thought yeah. I knew this game inside and out. Um, okay, little Mac. That's Oasis. I am Oasis. What do you mean? That's not. That's, okay. Okay. That's anyway. That's okay, little right Mac. Here, right my here. My goat. My goat. Okay, little Mac. I, I've yeah. talked to them twice so far, but this is like the one time where I think OK has like a chance of beating Harry because Matt Minmin is not hey, winnable. One time. Nah, I'm tell sorry, you, Mac Minmin is not winnable. I'll tell you one thing, Jackie. Harry has got a bag of pockets. That's true. He has got pockets for days. He's got the me gunner. He's got the byleth. I've seen I've seen him on basically every character in the game at this point. I, yeah, I was going to say, if you got byleth, you got all the sorties. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he plays, he plays basically every sortie to like a decent level. Exactly. Um, and he should beat me. And of course, he obviously has, he obviously has the min, min I don't think we're going to see the min, min. Um, No, not right now, no. His me gunner Loki actually cooks. I'm not going to lie. All of it, he plays all the means, I'm pretty sure. We have got Robbie Knees for every uh, for every variant. I'm tired, man. Uh, I think we all are. It's, it's, it's been a while. We've just come back from Regen. <laughs> so... Wait, Life, did you know who Amp is? He played Mario into me. And then he played Fox. I did that like shine glitch you can do on the on the platform of Battlefield where you get invisible shine. Well, I put up a fight. I put up. A fight. I was last stock in most of our games. Okay. My young link is crazy in melee. You don't understand. Uh, I agree. Uh, I agree. I'm a I've PM never player. seen it, but I'm a, I can cut. My PM player trapped in an ultimate player's body. That's true. Anyway, who does you, does OK have any secondary? Skills? I've only ever seen one man, Lil Mac. I've, yeah, I've never seen him pick a like second. Anyone else. I've never even seen him play squad. I feel squad. like most Macs have like a mean Kirby, Roy kind of thing going on. Yeah, yeah. like I think any grounded character could like do well here. Like if if OK had a Ken, I wouldn't be surprised. Ken? Ken? But yeah, you, you want to know Ken to be fair. You want to know Ken. I mean, if he knows Ken, if he knows Ken, if he's familiar with Ken's game, I can see it. Uh, right key. I don't know if I want to read the rest of this. Okay. Oh, is, is this a hawk to a joke? 
Okay. Uh, I, I dropped that Twitter handle ages ago. Right. I think, I genuinely think that uh, since we're on stream, Aaron's probably going to put out the meat gunner. He's going to make me. No, okay, never mind. Dude, I played this meat gunner. It's actually so, it's actually quite mean. A mean gunner, so to speak. A meme gunner would be would be fun. They're doing double blind picks right now. Uh, they're just crossing off the. Yeah, I regret not doing double blind picks. Uh, round one, when my didn't my do... opponent picked his main game one, round one. Okay. I know. It, it was, it uh, by the way, like... do you want to guess his he main Isabel? Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's wild. I didn't tell me that he main Isabel either. Pilot from OK and a Wario from. So an Hi early. Here. Oh no, it's OK who's playing Byleth. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. my brain got. I was, I, was about, I was about to say, I would, I'd be surprised if he used up his Byleth. You know, Harry Reid originally was a Byleth main before he picked up the main man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, is this, it, is, is it a button stack? check? It's in his tag. Nah, I think OK, OK is just dumb and isn't hitting him. Uh, OK, think... you're meant to hit him, bro. Are you stupid? OK, let's see what he does. Button check. Wow. Oh no no, they're playing the game. Okay. Wow, Leo. You know wow. that. You know that. You know that time out there. That bit of ice out. That me? was that was technically an optimal like <laughs> ice out because like it's gonna charge off. Okay, it was a button check. Okay, no, it is a button check. I was gonna say, is this like some little map behavior where the, you're just trying to down be out of hit stun because you wait, think wait, it's wait, bad. why why the hell are we button checking out like a? Why are you button checking yeah, a smash down yeah, bracket? Smash down bracket. What are you doing? No, I'm just saying, if you bought a pro GCC from me, you wouldn't have to button check anything. I don't know why I keep saying this, I've stopped selling them. Maybe they did it because like Harry had to like find something and then and OK was like, I'm not letting you charge more for free. That that would actually be quite funny. I can I can actually see that being a thing here. I would do that. I, I would, would do that. that. I would do that for sure. I would do that for sure. We don't let people get away with free buff charge over Dude, here. Dude, I okay? was gonna leave, but now everyone's pulling up. Who's still here? Bro, I'm EP. I'm gonna stay. Right. I'll stay bowler. I'm still leaving early. Trust me, bro. I'm actually leaving early this time. Trust me, bro. Trust me, bro. Anyhow, <clears throat> this time, this time. Let's see what this warrior can do. Now, I'm gonna be honest again. Harry V, very solid in his fundamentals. I can see this being Harry V slip, uh, sweep. And that's okay. His pocket by left is like MKLO2. Yeah, I don't really. I don't see it. Uh, Byleth is a character that requires a lot Did of space. Did you see him F smash there? Yeah. That, that uh, was a little Mac F smash. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that was... Oh my god! It's not forward air! It's it's there! Please! It's a, I am... Um, okay, he might not be familiar with this character's game. I don't think so. I, I think he may have underestimated his opponent. What?! Okay. Okay, well, you know... The thing so about three, Max three is they are those. Jesus. Just, they just, are Jesus. Just three of those and the, three of those and you win. Three of those, three of those and you win. Yeah, just yeah. a bit like that. I DJ rapper. Uh, we are doing a smash down bracket where you can only choose each character once, and it appears OK has gone up by left and it's working. It's why are you narrowing, man? What is? I hate Warrior Bike so much. It's funny. It's annoying. It's funny to watch though. I right. like the I like the weight there from Mr. WhatsApp, aka Harry. You know the vibes. You know the vibes indeed. Wait. Okay. Again, just looking it's for any kind of up air or nair. I am seeing mashing. It's this clear, is mashing. It's clear Aaron doesn't want to interact and it's clear that OK doesn't know how to play this character. So, I mean, there's that. Okay, okay. Nice. Wait. Big damage here. Okay. Yeah. And, and um, you know, obviously he's got the WAF charging, so that's gonna probably delete a stop. What are you doing? What are doing? See these, these F smashes. He's trying to play little man. I'm not even gonna lie. If you replace him with down smashes, they might actually work. Do you see my vision? <laughs> do you see my vision? <laughs> yeah, no, that I do. better than F smashing. Oh, oh, oh okay, oh, no, oh, okay, he's easy. Oh, oh. He has the fundamentals to avoid that. With like legend in the gaming of right FYP, I don't know who either of you are, so like. Oh, yeah, I told oh you, I told God. you, replace him with the down smashes. Yeah, just go with the down smashes I, instead. I feel like we haven't acknowledged that Aaron actually, like, secondary is by left. So, like... <laughs> Did you see the hurtbox shift, by the way? Yeah. This game is, is terrible. 
I like it. Okay, yeah, it, it's fun, but like, please, just work. Why is this even? This shouldn't be even. Why is this any? I hope he like burns you off to something. That is so funny. No, oh, got Scuttles. It, okay, fine. That's fine. Scuttles, you can call me whatever. Ah, uh, you sure about that? Oh, I like the weight there. I like the weight there. It does uh, feel like Harry here. I mean, I wasn't like... a huge fan of the weight there, but that's because I don't like Aaron as a person. So. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, no, understandable. How does that make sense? Three. Just down smash there. I feel like OK is only in a remotely even position because of that early stop. And since then, it's just been all Harahi. And I, um, before then, it was also all yeah. Harahi. This feels very Harahi focused. The only, the only credit I can really give OK is that he knows how to DI Wario Nair so that it's harder to hit Waft. Which is why we haven't seen a Waft yet. Swim! Oh my god. Oh, this is almost nothing burger by left. Like... This but Oh my god. Never mind, he's broken. All he needs is a, is a down air. That's it. Okay. No, you're oh, dead. No, Wah! I mean, nice catch, right? He knew how to get the late hit up till hit the waft after. I'm going to be honest, half this room is like most hungover a lot of people I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Come regen. It's for real. It's actually fun. Come regen. I'm, I'm being serious. It will. It's the best event okay. in okay. the world, potentially. Okay, okay on his back foot. I'm going to see Lil Mac. Because Loki in a situation, I'll just let Lil Mac rip. Let it no, fuck he's let it rip, it. bro. Let it rip. He's saving it for losers. He's saving it. I saved my mains for losers, and now I'm about bracket. So how about that? Are you? Are, are you? As do you have the aura of OK Little Mac? Is that piranha plant on my screen? <laughs> Get okay. that off my you know screen. What? You know what? I'm happy with Get this. Get that off I'm my screen. I'm happy with this. Immediately. I support this. I do not support this. <laughs> Oh man, there, you do not have that character. You do not have that character. I don't know. I, no. Ike. I can believe Harry he has an Ike, because he plays every Saudi. Yeah, he plays an Ike. He's got an Ike. He's got an Ike. I, I'm going to be honest, like, I feel like Harry's Ike is probably going to kind of gut this poor part of life. Unless OK's, like, some secret, like, Dimitri 2. He's rocking the Dimitri skin. The tree is pink. Okay. So, maybe, maybe. I, I didn't know Dimitri had a skin. I've always, I always seen him play different ones. Dimitri's tag is pink tree every time he plays. Oh, nice. Yeah. He, he only plays Piranha Plant because his girlfriend wait. thought the plant was cute. Wait, wait, me and you just have so much stupid, useless Smash knowledge. Like, between me and you, like, we could probably solve, like, most Smash issues, whatever, whatever they could be. Like, we just know everything. No, we're, we're the perfect duo for this bracket because we can <laughs> fill time during this terrible gameplay. <laughs> so, um... You know what Piranha Plant's Japanese name is in the game files? What, what is it? It's Pacon, I'm pretty sure. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's meant to be in base game too. Okay, I like the little tomahawk um, from Harahi. I don't like the mid-air upbeat. Let's from continue OK. the trivia. Okay, how many of how many of Piranha Plant's aerials can he auto cancel? None. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can auto cancel up there. You can do auto cancel up there with no, no fast fall. Actually, I might be wrong there. Okay, let's look it up. I'm, I'm just amazed that it can auto cancel any of its aerials. I, I feel like the Nair is a real shove in the face because the only true combo Piranha Plant will ever get off Nair and landed is Jab. And I feel like they could have at least given him a grab or maybe just like Nair up tilt. Like, it really is a spit in the face. Like, it really wouldn't hurt to just like maybe patch in, like, removing three or four frames of act. Anyway, uh, they did it for every other character. Yeah, they, they gave characters combos in patches. Like, they gave characters a lot of combos in patches. It's they gave right. characters, like, they made every character's, like, useless button kill, which I respect. <laughs> they actually did that in the base game, too, if you didn't notice. <laughs> no, 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 because, like, moves like Kirby Nair was a useless button. Like, there was no value yeah, in okay. that move. And yeah. then they made it kill. But uh, Product Plant Up Air does short, does auto cancel job. Okay. You can actually show up fast or uh, Nair, and it auto cancels. It's actually, his up air is actually a really, really, really good move. Like, this you is could a show up fast for all to cancel with up air that juggles, that's insane. Um, but this is a wrap. Yeah, I do not, I cannot believe you thought that would work. Okay, Lil Mac, you, this is, this is, this was a terrible idea. You should be ashamed of yourself. Harry, thank you for providing us with good clips. Polo, I'm a big fan, can I have a photo with you?
I'm a big fan of him. I need a photo with him. Yeah, you get it, my V, lad. Oh, when are you leaving? Oh, I'm cool to stay around, so. Okay. Cool. Let's go. Oh, good. Yeah. By the way, if anybody wants to hop on, you can. Uh, yeah. Because I've been on here for ages. So get off, and maybe someone will fill you in. I mean, okay. I was. I don't know. I know. I, I'm saying if you want to stop. Yeah. Don't no, keep coming. I don't, I don't want to stop. I'm yeah, just no, saying. I'm, I'm st if somebody wants to come on, I've been on for a while. This is the different. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. I see. What yeah, mean. yeah. I don't think anyone heard you, but. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Mike is good, man. Are you, you into a bracket? Oh. I know why you didn't just like pull a Roy out or something. Yeah, oh well. Uh, yeah, yeah, so Aaron's saying that he wasted his Ike. And I, I can, you know, I can see that, to be honest. Because I, I mean, OK is going for front I suppose he didn't know who OK was going to go. And yeah. maybe he thought that Lil Mac was going to come up and he didn't want to like, burn a character. But he burned like anyway, so. Risk reward. Uh, Astra is Byleth Aegis. Oh, the internet dropped. So Astra's going for just like all sorties. Final pages. Okay. Astra's the go. I can uh, hear the Roy Taudi Frogs. behind me. I can hear the Swedish people. It's not Taudi, is it? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. I, I, I heard. That's Frisky says it. Oh, it's Frisky. I'm sorry. No, that's that's sorry. That's Lugi and Frisky. I saw. I heard. I heard somebody say, "Go Astra," and I was like, "That's a Swedish person." They're all yappers, a lot of them. So I didn't look behind me at all. I have no clue who that is. I barely heard it. It's my fault. All right, off we go. We have Astra versus Tarek. Tarek has a lot of characters that he can pull so in. So this is winner's quarters. So yeah, actually they've already burnt quite a few characters um, themselves. Tarek has not used his Greninja yet or his Kazuya, as yeah. I understand it. Um, I'm assuming the Kazuya is probably going to come out like mid bracket because like not a huge character for him, but no, the Ka the Kazuya for me sounds like something that you pull out in grand just because he did spend a lot. Of time I guess. With it. But you know, last time there was a Smash Down Grand Finals, it'd be interesting to note that neither players had their mains at that point. And it was all weird secondaries, but I think, you know, you kind of want to keep the characters that like the Marios have always sat one or two of them for Grand. Yeah, yeah. If anything. Well, it'd be interesting to see the Tarek oh, boy. I think Tarek has the, the Bro, you just played, that. didn't you just play on stream? Well, the, oh, he didn't? He didn't just play on stream, it's oh. just, uh, it, this is a regen style. Wait, no, I'm pretty sure Lala is like, a, no, no, this is a regen tile. Okay, you sure? I just there's saw a, the pink a, tree. There's, a, there's, a, that's it. there's another player in London who runs Lala as a player tag. It's uh, it's the Yoshi player. True. They literally run Lala as their tag. Yeah, <laughs> but actually, like Tarik Tech. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Controls. This is quite funny. That actually could have been a bit of I, 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 I cocked down for a second. That's actually a possibility. Was, I is think that, that, got, no, it's, it's I Lala. It's like Lala. Like his, his tag is gibberish. His tag is gibberish. But he goes kind of wrecked sometimes. So that actually could have been. By the way, speaking of UK Yoshis. Jester beat nobody. I'd like to put a little, little asterisk. Congratulations to Jester. Sansi couldn't do I it. I love, Je I love how Jester beat someone that became a notable win during the bracket. <laughs> Sorry, can we just talk about, like, I, 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 like, if you become a notable bra a win during a bracket, like, does that count? Yeah, so the way that like most panel, like the way that if it's you're talking for like rankings or whatever, it's all uh, okay. Who's playing who here? Uh, we have the Sonic from Tarek and the, the Joker from The Tarek Apple. Sonic? Right, does Tarek have it in him to know the vibes? Does Tarek have the, the can he dig deep? Can he? No, he's, oh, he's I, playing aggressive Sonic. Okay, good. Uh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, thank, thank God. I watched too much yeah. Emas Pelly in my time. I've watched uh, too. I've paid too much Versadile in my time. <laughs> by the way, credits to Versadile. He is by far and away the funniest loss on the EUPR this season. To who? Uh, Kendrick Olimar. A pretty. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to disagree with you. Zangrix is. Zangrix. Zangrix. Kendrick Olimar. Wait, I'm sorry. He that didn't is, beat Tekker in a real bracket though. That was. A, that was. A, that was a real bracket. That was a real bracket. That was best of five, wasn't it? Shit, was it a meltdown? Yeah, it was a meltdown, bro. No, no, no. I meant like ranked event, like counts for the uh, PR. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Versus that'll beat, versus that'll beat Tekka out front runners. Fair enough. We're wild. Um, Tarek, of course, cleaning up so far. This yeah, Astra God. Joker God. is no match right now. I feel like they, they kind of, Greninja and Sonic kind of got similar trajectories when they want to cover edge guards. 
because they kind of got similar hitboxes they want to put there. They're both like big multi hits that launch. They can both go really deep as well. Yeah. Right? See a bit of that from Tarek. Yeah, oh, he's very really nice like catch the up air. I like that. Oh. Okay, little, okay, little bit, little bit, little tether cancel. Hey, I'm, a, I'm a movement based joker. Have you ever heard of Gun Dash? <laughs> right, we got a Swedish, Swedish lot behind us cheering for the joker. Wait, who does Astra play? Did you actually check? Uh, Astra plays Spider Pages. Oh, oh, yeah, sorry, so my bad. Yeah. Uh, I did come back. Astra's I Swedish PR, I, like, I believe. I feel so. like Joker isn't out of place in this roster. Actually, if I'm being honest, Joker might be one of his better characters, because, you know. Yeah, I mean, well, oh. if I was Astra, I'd be oh. one of the better characters right really now. Really nice head dodge catch. Misses the wave land, so kind of makes it less cool. Like, if Astra loses game one, we're probably going to see the Bilef or the Aegis. I can see. I don't know about Aegis. Maybe I'm the Bilef. yet. And Tarek Sonic actually keeping up pretty well for uh, a character that's pretty bad when played aggressive, especially into a matchup like this, if you ask me. Nah. It's just it's just doing the, the good call-outs. Yeah. Good, good edge guarding. Well, it's just like, good, good fundies, isn't it? The thing is, like, people talk about Sonic being played aggressively, but you do have... It's annoying to outplay your opponent, but you do have all the tools to do it. It's true. It's like Mets not after he gets a ladder. Like, you could, you could do it. And that's, then he's still, he's still got the insane edge guarding, which might come on display here. Okay. Oh, nice ledge drop, reaction ledge drop with an up air. Dude, Tarek is so good. I keep forgetting, bro. This guy, yeah, no, this guy Tarek. was fourth out of major last night, so. Yeah, he did do that, didn't he? He did do that he last did night. Do that. So maybe him reacting to a ledge drop with an up air so isn't that crazy. Maybe he is top 50. Who knows? <laughs> nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Another 700 you, to eat NA. Oh, that's, that's it. That's it. Oh! oh! No! He that's forgot! Like His moves don't work! Oh! Really nice what a tech! tech. Astra. Seriously, wow. Staying alive here. We're down to... Oh! No! Down angle left tilt. Back air's not going to do it! Stop homing attacking! Please! Oh my god. He's going to kill himself. He's actually going to kill himself. No! No, okay. What a power! You know, <laughs> you know if Astra just ran away... This game! This game is so stupid! He should have won! He should have won, but he spaced it too well! You know if Astro just ran away from the homing attack, he would have just killed himself? Mm. When he was charging home attack, homing attack off stage, if Astro just ran away, then he would have just killed himself. Let, pe just, let just, people do the work for you. I just, I just, okay, yeah, yeah, right. Sometimes you just need to let people, you I'm know... I'm a homing attack denier, personally. What? I'm a homing attack denier, personally. I don't believe in homing attack. Uh, who does? Pelly. No, he doesn't. Yeah. No, he doesn't. Oh, Pelly, sorry, Pelly doesn't uh, believe in home. Pelly, Pelly is a homing attack hater. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen a homing attack Honestly, hater. Both like Versadal and Ablo. Sorry, Versadal and Lol Armit don't really use the move, to be honest. So. It, it, it's Sonic. Sonic's is the homing attack believer. Well, he's got a love-hate relationship. He's got an abusive relationship with homing yeah. attack. Every time it works, he's uh, like, oh, you come everyone. back to help me. Hey, yo, Snake. All right. That's All right. Okay. okay. So let's see. I actually pulled out my Green Ninja earlier on and took a game. So my Green Ninja does cook. Can't confirm. True, true. All right, off we go again. For a reminder, this is a Smashdown format. You use a character, that is it for the rest of your bracket run. Astra saving his mains, knowing he might go so into losers. Is Tarek Snake real? I no. Well, uh, I mean, it probably is just because he's I've been playing a bit of Snake recently myself, and okay, you know what? I'm gonna say it's real. I'm gonna yeah, say it's real. I was gonna say the way way he's, All right, this is a real Snake. This is a very real character. Really liking these grenades. I'm not pulling too many of them, but they all seem like very meaningful, intentional pulls, which like I really dig, to be honest. Maybe it's playing someone who's a very, play, as someone who plays like a very grenade-heavy snake constantly, whose name is Kodiak. <laughs> <laughs> Shout yeah. out to James Kodiak, by the way. Again, like very intentional grenades, like uh, doing set play correctly off of them. We're going to see side B edge guard, good coverage. Ooh, need to jump, that's going to work. Catch. Now, I actually think that Greninja is pretty good in this matchup, but I keep being told that Snake just rolls Greninja for some reason. Uh, it's mostly just because... That's it. Yeah, yeah. It's mostly just because grenades get in the way of a lot of Greninja's setups and, like, kill confirms. Um, All right. And also, like, having a character who can litter the floor with explosives against a character who's, like, very grounded. That was an amazing confirm that, yeah, was from that, somebody that, who does yeah. not play this character. Yeah. Uh, but he seems to know a thing or two. He seems to know a thing or two. That's I true. Think. 
Right. He's oh. using one of his better characters for sure. And like you would in this situation, right? But the thing is, if anyone knows Greninja, it is Tarek. And I'm seeing good DR and the dash attacks and stuff. Yeah, I was going to say, it takes some bravery to pop the Greninja against Tarek. That is true, man. Like, it's when I play against a Meta Knight, I've never actually been landed by a Meta Knight in my entire life. Because I just know how to STI. It's just, it's, just, it's just like stuff you know. But, again, this Snake really not putting that many projectiles. Playing a pretty honest, intentional set play based game. Seems to be working in his favor, but. Okay, that's not going to make Cypher just yet. Whoa! Oh, okay. oh no! Oh, for no reason! Yeah, okay. I think uh, uh, so Astra, the best Astra could have done there is SGI out of down air and maybe a neutral air dodge, but kind well, of cooked. He was still like alive, wasn't he? He just like I don't know. That down. down air is pretty strong. It what? Stage spikes. Forward air is the combo star. We see new things every day. Good DI. All right, James Kodiak, I want to see you use fair spike in neutral now. <laughs> you cartoonishly in his head. Cartoonishly, <laughs> comically, he's packing up the control already. That's the already. weirdest thing I have ever watched in my entire life. I saw one in the region that has like five snakes. What the hell was that snake? <laughs> I don't know. We've seen every kind of snake here. We've seen Wojo, really like Kodiak, that. we've seen... Uh, oh, they all play the same, apart from Toe Jam. Apart from Toe Jam. He's different, bro. That guy plays different. That, day, that guy actually does play different, I'm not going to lie. God, who is the sorry snake again? I'm trying to remember his name. Um, I actually know who you're talking about, uh, but I forgot. Oh, I forgot. He made top air front runners once. He wouldn't stop talking I about know, it. I know. I know. I know his real name. I don't know his, <laughs> not his tag. There's actually like two snakes here today. Uh, it's London. It. What do you mean? I'm, I don't know. That's average. Uh, Cody, I didn't pull up. It's too tired. I tried to drag him out, but. Uh, Tarek played snake. I, I don't think he played snake, but I it looks like he's pulled him out of friendlies because like he seemed quite like aware of a lot of snakes' good tools. So. Again, by the way. Being clear, this is a smash down format. That means you use a character, it's out, it's gone for good. Everybody's crossing them off. For anyone wondering, Calc stands for calculator. I'm just using slang. Yeah, so it's, it's a calc. calc. Calc stands for calculator. Tarot plays uh, Snake. No, 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 no tarot, he, won. Won. He, won. Won. he won. He won. Yeah. He won. Tarot was not playing Greninja, Tarot was playing Snake. As I said, oh, he was thought, saving yeah, his yeah, main yeah. for layer in the bracket. Yeah, no, no. Again, it's a smash down format. So you use a character, you cannot use it again. Yeah, Calc so Tarek is Calc going Snake. Just using Slam. No one's going to be using their mains this early in the bracket. I did. And now I'm out. That's why no one is going to be using their mains this early in the bracket. You didn't go 0-2, though. We have Harry he versus Kendrick Olivar. Some London PR infighting. We've seen a lot of travelers, but today London struts their stuff. And these are two of the London players with some of the most secondaries out of anybody in the scene. I, I'm going to be honest, I feel like Harry really has a deeper pocket than Tekka, so to speak. Like, I've seen the Tekka, Steve, Captain Falcon, Wolf. Wolf, yeah, Wolf and... Um, Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong, yeah, going to win. Going to win. You know, you know, going to win. I know going to win. I'm, I'm aware of the Did going not to know. win mindset. I didn't even know it was Tekka until like two weeks ago. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I, uh, it's because like in 20, 2021, I asked him, are you going to win? And he said, no. So I just, you just, I, you just I took his word for it. I took his word for it. That's your fault. That's your fault. No, I know what to say. You trust oh, yeah, Kendrick he's got Oliver. Mario. He's got Mario. Kendrick Oliver Mario. That's quite real. Uh, we're kind of seeing like two distinct pools of characters that you think about it. You got Aaron with like the, the swordies, keep away type of characters. And we got Tekka with a real rush down freestyle kind of creative characters, if you get what I mean. Yeah, yeah. He like loves Steve, Captain Falcon, Young Link. You know? Yeah, yeah. He loves his set play. Any character with like good set play or like frame traps that can just kill you, that's Tekka's bread and butter. I know, maybe yeah, Diddy Kong. I can, I can see a Diddy Kong pick. Maybe. Be interested to see what Harry he goes for. Uh, goodbye, Nevitz. Goodbye, Eddie. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Okay, don't have Harry. I need this. I need this. He needs this. What is this? It's Pola. Oh, it's Pola. Hey, everybody, you should do what Pola did. Go to Sorry Locals. Sorry Locals, starting again soon. Do you go to Sorry Locals? I'm gonna. Nice. I went to Sorry Locals before when I went to Sorry Uni. 
uh, took a bit of a break, personal reasons. I'm going to be going back, not to sorry uni, but to sorry locals. Do you even play the game, man? Barely. Did you play a region? Sorry? Did you play a region? I you mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah but I hadn't played the went. game in he four months play. before then. <laughs> Bloom hasn't played the game. Bloom doesn't even play the game. They don't play the game. They got top 16. Okay, but Bloom is this thing called talented. And I do not, I'm not blessed with the talent okay, that Bloom forever actually, has. Okay, you know what? Skull's called the Mario here. With Theo bringing out the Mario. Okay. Nice, nice work, Skuddles. I will do absolutely nothing in return for this. And we're going to see... This is a modern check. They're actually playing. Amla. Amla, bro. Amla. Amla, I'm watching oh, thank neutral. You, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Third eye opens, in it. Yeah, Amla, bro. Uh, sorry. Skulls, bro. Buy a lorry ticket. Oh, my word. Okay. I. Is this a better character for Skulls than it is for... Not for Skulls. Uh, for Harahi than I it feel is like for Taka? It's, it's pretty evenly matched here, to be fully yeah. honest. I mean, Palu is can be comboed and Mario can be pallied, so, you know. Uh, oh no, that forward air was rough. I'm not gonna lie. He forgot what character he was playing. I don't, don't want to be that guy, but I really feel like it's a wrap, because Theo is, Theo's not got those combos. You know what I mean? Theo's not gonna have like the Mario, Mario combos. He's gonna do damage, but I don't think he's gonna kill off of them. Oh, okay, let's see uh, Oh, wow, never mind. Okay, really oh, okay. Reset. Yeah, okay. you were lying. That was a very, that, that was a complete that was a lie. very intentional reset with the up tilt. Um, so I was, I'm gonna completely revert everything that I've said. Theo clearly knows a few Mario. Combos. I told you, this guy loves his set. Sorry, right, it's just when I see like a like a reset like that on a character, then I'm like, okay, you know, to play that character. No, he again, he loves his set play. Any character with set play, any character that lets him like reset onto a platform and then just kill you, he loves it. Uh, That's his bread and bar. Dude, I saw him jab one, jab two. Like, think about it. Like, mm, I'm a young Nick right now. Okay, that's oh good. my god. No. Okay. And hey, Cape Trump, Theo, oh. he does love his entertaining characters, you know. He's what the culture's feeling. I don't like him. I don't like him. Okay. Nice up smash. He got his head banging. Oh my god, the Let's trips. Let's go, Theo. Taunt on him. Oh, he means uh, Mario and Ali Damn. That, that is actually new info to me. Theo paid Mario. I knew he was a smash for me gonna, so. Oh my god. Oh. Wait. Oh. Wait. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Die! <laughs> See, the, first, the thing about Pally, I did say she can combo. Yeah. She's a semi fast faller and she's light at that. So, ladders are actually very effective on her. See, uh, we had Theo earlier on stream, and one of the things that he said is that it's really important to win game one because it allows you to counter pick in game three if you lose. Yeah, that, that, that's actually very true. Why is he figuring out the meta of this bracket? Because he wants to win. He I've wants the money. He wants the payout. He lost last time. Last time he saved his characters too early and he was mad. Now he's back. Uh, actually, who do you have winning this bracket? I honestly had Haruhi winning the bracket, but maybe I doubted Theo's game. I think it it might be. I mean, Darkstalk is already out, and he was first seed. I think like the, he won the last I one. I think my favorite part about this bracket is that everyone kind of has a win button that they can push. Especially if you lose a game and your opponent chooses a character. Yeah. You, just, you could literally just push a button and like you've won, right? Oh my you, god. You literally just go your main and you won. Um, that's it. That's it. Jesus Christ. Theo pulling it out. He is pulling out all of these stops. Bloody hell. Uh, he's got really deep pockets. How many pockets does he have in stock? I doubt it's Theo's game. One, two, three, four, five, plus five. <laughs> this is terrible. Oh my god. <laughs> Polar's gone. Polar's gone. Thank you. Thank you, Backpack. All right. Okay. Kendrick Olimar is taking stuff. I wonder what Theo's Olimar is actually like. Wait, are we going to see Kendrick I want to see the Olimar. Kendrick Olimar. Are we see the Kendrick Olimar? Okay, he's picked Warrior, Warrior first. Wow. Again, relatively strong pick from Theo. I, I actually think that Theo is going to use his strong picks in, against Haruhi. Because that, yeah. that's a dangerous player. Because he knows yeah, that's, how that's, good that's, that's a dangerous player. I, I, I get that. I get using strong picks here, to be yeah. honest. Right, what are we going to see from Harry Hui? Yeah. I, think he's, I bet he's probably going oh, to the Ike well, pick. Because I feel like Ike would be a pretty decent uh, Damn. pick here. But not the Joker. Joker? Not the Joker. Not the, surely not. I mean, he could send the main and kill his vibe. 
Me gonna. I bet it's me gonna. Okay? I have never seen this man's job in my life. Damn. Crepe Soleil if you lock the fuck in. Wait. Oh, wait, this is just Crepe Soleil. Is this Crepe Soleil? It is just Crepe Soleil. It's Trans White Wario. <laughs> Okay. I actually want to point out completely unrelated, but Tekka does actually have a Steve. And I'm actually really yeah. curious as to when he brings that one out. If he always, hasn't you know, used Steve in a while, though. It. Rusty Steve is not the same. Uh, look, man, I'm going to be honest. Like, I know the Steve gimmicks. If you're still in practice with Ultimate, you can, you can do the Steve gimmicks. Fair enough. He was very gimmicky, Steve. Did you see Rockman? He did uh, MLG in bracket. Four times, actually. Yeah, it wasn't PMLG, uh, though. You yeah. lied to me. It was, uh, it, it, was, it, was it was regular MLG. Yeah, yeah. PMLG is that's useful, isn't it? You know I'm on the wiki for PMLG. I'm on Zenyu's wiki, so Smash Wiki, for the reason that he was cancelled. Uh, My tweet is cited. One day we will figure out how to DI Rob up here. Well, it's, it's a mix-up. But you can SGI on either side of him to make it less of a mix-up, I'm pretty sure. So. Fortunately, I, I, I don't think Tekka bothered, to be fair. I think he was dead either way, anyway. Uh, if Theo wins, that's not, I'm leaving. Yeah. I don't want to see Theo win this bracket. I'll go home and play some Slippy. <laughs> He's looking for a waft combo. Oh. Is he it? <laughs> oh, he doesn't need it right now. He doesn't need it right what now. Hell, He's bro. waiting for that, final he stop. That's some crazy aggression in there. He's got the claps. Yeah, I think that gets a bit of an overshooter sometimes, but he just knows when to do it properly, you know. Oh my god, swim on him. No! No! <laughs> That's yeah, not gonna happen. Okay. That's not gonna happen. You're not Jezo. I'm sorry, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, he's cooked. He's cooked. He's gone, he's gone. Shit on him. One there. Yeah, Get here him. we go, here we go. Hit one more. It's time. Oh. It's time. You know what British people chant when this happens. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. The redemption. Remember. Wait, here's the question. Oh, he's fishing for it. I was going to say, does he know the jar is there to death? He was fishing for it. Uh, he no yeah, but it doesn't mean he's going to hit it. Oh, that's it. No, wait, no, I'm still going to kill that. But next up to Mike Kyo. I don't know the percent window for the confirmed. Oh, he's just, he's begging for it. The next up till will hit. Do not worry, child. There we go. See? I'm what off. did I just say? What? I'm off. What? 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 No, all right. No, I'll stop. I'll stop. Um. All right. I scared him off. I scared him off. That was that, that was too corny. That was too corny. That's my fault. That's my fault. Um. I'll keep going. I'll keep going. Thing is, I used to keep doing this, but beforehand. The references were like a little bit more obscure. Now that he's had like a couple of like massive bangers recently, I can just keep. And now they'll get it. Now they'll get. Now they'll understand. I can be even less subtle. All right. We've got crispy. Walking up to the stage. And is that Rat King I see? That is Rat King. The King of Rats himself. I'm gonna hop. Oh, I'll give it one more set. All right, I'll give it one more set. And then I need to go eat some food. Because <laughs> it is it's 9 p.m. already, Jesus Christ. Yeah, 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 go ahead, yeah, of course. All right. Yeah, oh, well, don't sit on the microphone. <laughs> hey, all right. You want to tell us your name? What's your name? Chucky. Yeah, yeah, just tell the stream. Are we on, yeah? Yeah, 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 just. Yo, it's T1000 here, how's everybody doing? All right. 
We're doing good. We've seen a very fun bracket so far. We've got Rat King and Crispy lined up. We're about to head into pro bracket soon, actually. I think we are. Oh, no, we're in the final bracket, right? Um, so it is Crispy and Rat King. This is, yeah, still winners. Rat King, uh, Rat King made a, a big upset to get here. Really? I think so. Um, who, did he, who did he defeat? I have to double check. <laughs> well, he definitely defeated me. Um, if that if that counts as an upset. <laughs> yeah. No, I commentated the set, but honestly, I'm so tired after regen, traveling home, going straight here. It was Pitwolf. Thank you, chat. Thank you, Lito. Um, I was just about to double check it. And yeah, because he, he detonated the main really early. Okay. Again, if you don't know, smash down bracket, use a character, that's it. So he popped his main against Pitwolf game three. Okay. Won against Pitwolf's Roy. Still in winners, now he's playing Crispy. But that means he's not got Pikachu for the rest of the bracket. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not familiar with Pit Wolf. Um, I'm, I've been out this team for quite a while, but I do know Crispy, and I know that Crispy's a really good player, so I'm looking forward to seeing how this game goes. Yeah, yeah. Pit Wolf is uh, PR'd in Sweden, just for chat. I said, yeah, Pit Wolf um, is a solid play. He's PR'd in Sweden. Okay. He's come here from Regen, of course. Who does he uh, main? Kazia. Kazia, yeah? Yeah. Uh, or he's probably using his main and loses, if I'm being honest. Uh, so, let's see what we've got here. We've got double blind picks, of course. Be interested to see how many characters these two have used up. Oh, what's left yes. to go forward with this bracket? Do you know if Crispy's used Meta Knight yet? I haven't seen him use it on stream. I'm not sure if he's used it out of bracket. We can uh, check his character data should be recorded. Oh, yeah. Crispy! Thank you. Show the sheets to the camera. Show the sheet. We want to see what characters you've played. Yeah, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Got OK. That's a, that's a Still got most of his mains open, you know. Very good. Mostly secondaries. Thank I rate you. that. He's got Dark Pit, but regular pit's still open. Okay, okay. Oh, Captain Falcon's coming out. This oh, is going to be exciting. From Rat King. All right, we'll have some fun. Crispy popping off with the Lucario. No, the Banjo taking a leaf out of Owl's book. Let's see. Now, there are a lot of Banjos in the UK. It's one of the many quirks of the British scene for any international viewers watching, especially in the south of England. There's tons. So there's a chance Crispy has learned some stuff here. Okay, we are seeing some button pressing right now. Okay, not getting anything too oh, crazy. Oh, oh my God! What an improvisation! Wow! Oh, he is the king of the rats. That's amazing. What a finish! And he very shows quick off with a taunt as well. I know right now, Crispy's going to be feeling a bit flustered by that. Captain Falcon definitely ha again. Captain Falcon definitely has that ability to overwhelm his opponents. <laughs> You cannot sleep on Captain Falcon at all. Oh my god. Off we go. Rat, Rat King. King. He's gonna keep going here. He's wow. bending it all. That's the advantage of playing Falcon in wow. a game like this. Oh. Whoa! I think it's clear to me Rat King's used one of his better picks right now. Absolutely. Very dangerous Falcon. I just love how he's using Banjo's items against him. And his conversions yeah. on the side B are quite impressive. I don't think he's missed one. Yeah, he's got those Raptor Boost combos on lock. And again, as I said, a lot of Banjos in the UK. That means he's got matchup experience. Could have got a grab in there. Down throw, up smash, classic, okay. Crispy trying to find a foothold back in this game. Right, the Banjo, what are we looking at here? First Wonder Wing's gone. It's the tech chase, nothing crazy. Bit of a risky down there, there. I think Captain Falcon has to really keep the momentum going. Yeah, and RK doing a good job of that so far. Very risky side B. It's the punish here, just looking for this kill. Making sure Crispy doesn't live for too long. Yeah. Wow. Just raw knee. Just raw knee. You don't know kill confirms? Just raw knee. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you 
impressed that that worked. Oh, okay. Expecting a DI down there, but Crispy smart enough to not do that again. Good ledge trap there. Oh, the raw knee not connecting it's this not time. Good for um, Crispy at the moment, I'm afraid to say. Yeah, oh, RK does seem to have his number right now. This banjo is not cooking. Wow. Beautiful punish from RK and another one. Those Wonder Wings are getting slaughtered. Yes. Crispy's going to have to switch to a better character, I think. And again, we had uh, Kendrick Olimar on earlier, somebody who's looking to go out and win this bracket. And one of the first things he said was that it's really, really important to win game one. Give yourself the license to counter pick in game three, yes. even if you lose. Yes, I agree. Absolutely. Really impressed with Rat King's <clears throat> Captain Falcon there. Definitely solid with the character. You can tell that he has a lot of experience with him. And we're just saving him for this moment. So I'm really interested to see what kind of character Crispy's going to pick now and what, or what character Rat King will pick as well. Do you know how it works when they're, when they're picking in, 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 this, in this situation? Uh, it's kind of like normal rules when you're counter picking. So if you win, you have to pick first. Okay. Uh, and okay. then if you lose, you pick second. What I've seen some people doing tonight is actually just... Picking. Double blind picking every time? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, technically, you don't have to do that, right? You can take advantage of setups a little bit more uh, and the rule set. Yeah, because it really does make a difference, isn't it? I mean, if you know, if I was going to pick Ness for the second game and then someone went Rosalino, it would really suck, wouldn't it? Yeah. So uh, I feel like blind picking might be the best way to do it, but... Well, it's the best way to do it in the sense of uh, as a neutral start, but the point is it's cow picking, right? So you get more options there. Crispy going for the Roy, a little bit of a stronger pick. Mm. Of course, Crispy mostly uh, Meta Knight, and Greninja also Greninja has a ZSS well. from a while back. I didn't know he plays Greninja. No, he does have he does have a, the Greninja on deck. Rat King just going for the Fundies option, the Palatina. See how well versed it is right now. But obviously, Palu combos do not require that much practice. Yes. You can tell that they're just getting used to the characters right now. Um, a few whiffs here and there. Okay, very simple stuff from RK right now. Nice up B to get away. Yeah. I love how he's just fishing for those back airs as well. Okay, hits the Tomahawk grab, but nothing off it. Crispy doing much better in this game so far. Looking for a jab. Yeah, it's Not quite interesting find it. because the character Crispy choosing this time is very aggressive, almost like Rat King's character in the previous, in the previous match. Yeah, it so just keeps... Like a, a role reversal here, I feel. Picking, picking an aggressive character with a bit of cheese gives you the opportunity to really stamp your authority on the game really early. That's something that Rat King did with that sort of wrap the boost to grenade toss to knee. Yes, that was incredible. Like, that immediately set the tone for that game, exactly. right? Exactly. So Crispy playing a character with a bit more explosiveness is going to have more of an opportunity to do that in this game. Yes. I love those empty hops there. Keeping pressure on Rat King. Lots of sour spots from Crispy so far. You can tell he's not quite used to Roy. Oh, we went for it and it worked. Yep, that time it went through completely. Rat King trying to get a kill of his own. Oh, I like the idea. Trying to anticipate an early up B, but Crispy waits it out. Yes. And now it's his turn to get his B and B's going. Exactly. Except it's a smash down bracket, so you don't know any. Ooh, Hang on. Jab to back air there. That could have sealed it. How many do you need to know, though? How many does he need to know? Already in 84. Rat King letting this game slip away from him. Yes. I feel like if Crispy's able to hold the lead a little bit, force Rat King to make a mistake. Beautiful spacing. Lovely. Those fundamentals coming in clutch for Mr. Crispy. Exactly. Side B coming out now, trying to set up a tech chase, but always hurts when you get hit with a side B as well. It just seems to last so long. Yep. We are dead even right now. If as soon as a single Nair connects, I like everything goes back to, to even. Out there as well. Oh my God! Come on, he's not rolling in like that. It's not his first rodeo. 
Crispy trying to find this kill, trying to find some kind of I cheese. Can't be out sure there. Yeah, very simple stuff. Good punishes from Crispy because he's trying to find this kill again, looking for a jab here. Got very good movement on deck. Rat King just can't seem to find an opening. Gets very nice. Quick fair pair, looking for a juggle here. Nice movement mix up from Crispy, finding his way down. Another fair from Rat King. Yeah, I think Rat King has to try his best to keep Crispy in the air. Up air juggles, preventing from landing, but it's over. Pivot F tilt. Very convincing win from Crispy this time. Yeah, two stock. Crispy pulling out one of his better characters to make sure he stays in the bracket. But now, remember, it is Rat King who gets the counter pick. Yes. I don't know if the Pichu's on deck. There's a chance it still is. I think it probably still is. That's something to keep in mind from Rat King. Here we go. We've got PS2 again. There's no yeah. real point in doing stage bands if you don't even know what characters you're playing. We've got Ooh. Mario from Rat King. Okay, and very Ridley. important pick. Ridley, oh. hang on a minute. Ridley's a very exciting. fun pick, very fun pick. I think we might have seen Crispy Ridley at Locals before. Oh yeah. But a very long time ago. Um, Ridley, you love him, he's got a lot of range. He's a cheeser, he's great. <laughs> I like the way you put it there, cheese out. Well, he's trying to cheese out this rat right now. Yeah. Oh, great start from Crispy so far. Yeah. You can tell he does know this character a little bit better than he knew Roy. Yeah, right now it must be quite disheartening for Rat King. Oh, Just, that's your yeah. jump gone, you're dead. Immediately, Crispy starts things off and gets a taunt as well. The funny. Ridley tall torn. Mm. It's 20% off that. Oh, Rat King, you're going to need to know your combos. It's Ridley. That's like 90% of the fun. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. not really looking good for Rat King right now, I'm afraid. Um, yeah, Crispy just doing a really great job of ledge trapping him. And Rat King can't get a hit. Oh, there's no double jump. This could be the kill. Crispy Edward is back. This is the back air. Good up smash from RK, but he's sent straight back oh, into the corner. Just, he's not allowed to play. Looking for the back air here. That's an F tilt. Great spacing from Crispy. Exactly. Oh. Okay, RK breaking out here with that up smash. Great use of flood, but Crispy recovers quickly. RK finding another back air. Great use of flood again. Hang on, Crispy Ooh. still makes it back. The F throw, almost taking it raw. I love the DI mix up. Yeah, Crispy's doing really well to, to cover the ledge. Crispy getting a little impatient here. Sawane gonna set up the tech chase. Yeah. The side B's gone, it's looking all Crispy right now. Yeah, definitely as soon is. as he, he started switching to his better characters. He's gonna go and for maybe a suicide kill if possible. Can afford to at this point. He seems to be stretching for these side Bs at ledge. Yeah, RK uh, very, very patient though. Gonna get the kill with an up smash, and it is Mario. So, one of those dumb Mario combos, I mean, you never know. You never know. You never know with Mario. Like this? Okay, no, great. Great shield from Crispy. Immediately taking RK to the corner. The ledge traps is where he's made his damage Ooh. so far. Another net, another jump yeah. side B, and Maybe another side B, and RK's catching on. Oh, great DI in Crispy away from the platform. Really Crispy still taking tons and tons of damage here, though. Mm. You know, if uh, Mario comes back in this game, he can easily take a stock. Great use of Flood, trying to cape Ooh. again. Unable to hit the edge guard, though. Ridley, notoriously difficult to edge guard. Very light, though. Oh, great wow. tech. Beautiful tech. Crispy still staying alive and hits the classic frame trap. He learned that straight from Elite. And with a big smile, he carries himself to, I think, top eight, if not top 16. Yeah, I think so. And I am going to be heading out. OK, I'm off, guys. I'm off Enjoy. as well. See you guys around. I need to eat some food and go home. But this has been great to watch. No worries. You guys are welcome. Take care. I'm up now against Waffinator, and um, it's not looking good for me.
Wish me luck. Tim will be right back. I'm going to kick his ass real quick. I need to get out of his chair. Oh yes, it's time. Oh man, I've been waiting all day to do puns, bro. How is everyone in the, in the chat doing, bro? Oh, oh my God, we got we got Schmick. Oh, what's up, Crispy? How are you doing? Hello, goats. What's How's up? it going, mate? How are we doing? You ready for some Schmicks? Hello, chat. How's everyone Fritty, doing tonight? Crispy sis in and Schmicks tape. Okay. okay I thought, oh wait, this is the. The Joker. I thought we, okay, uh, yeah. Frisky plays Joker mainly lately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. I think uh -huh. Inkling in the past. Maybe a bit of Aegis. All right, let's, let's But see. those are not the characters on the screen. We have yeah, Pokemon Trainer course. and Mario. What's up, Reptile? My guy. But yeah, bro. <laughs> we've, yeah, obviously we got Smash Down today. So PT Mario. Let's see. Let's see if they can cook here in Game One. This is a very, very 2019-esque matchup right here, if I do say yeah, so this myself. Yeah, is, this is definitely some, uh, <laughs> some some wholesome characters, I would say. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, let's see. So, yeah, yeah let's make tape again. Some damage right Whoa. off the bat. Look at that. Nice 70. Nice and easy on Squirtle. Going for the true damage. Yeah, always. And dude, up there it is again. Shield. Why not just throw it out, bro? Get that more damage. And that up smash, you know, he's gonna definitely going to force Squirtle to, like, switch, you know, switch here. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the tough thing about PT, you know, you want to stay Squirtle, get your combos, but then you get to high percent and it's like, damn, I might just blow Yeah, up. I might just die soon. <laughs> and, and then, yeah, you see Schmixtape going for those up smashes. Oh, the up now, oh, oh, my goodness. Okay, he was like, you know what, Ivysaur, I'm going to need you to cook right now. Because <laughs> this, this Italian man is uh, kind of abusing Squirtle right now. And just like that, look at that, he's in the lead. I'm not sure that was the best directional influence on that yeah, Vine I mean, Whip. That's the thing about Vine Whip, bro. It comes out so, you know, in those situations. It's a jump scare, right? Yeah. Speaking of jump scare, there's Mario's noggin taking, <laughs> taking the stock and even it up. And two stocks it is now. And nice. Back to even between these two. But I switched to Zard at yeah. such low percent. Nice, you know, good switch there to get out of the combo. But yeah. then look, combo food is in the house. Got to go back to Squirtle. And you know, Schmick's take, I think, like he's, he's feeding. Oh, oh no. no! And there way. it is. There it is. Just like that. A little bit of revenge for that early Vine Whip kill. <laughs> and just like that, Schmick's has a pretty. Uh, Summizable lead right now. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's kind of ironic the fact that you uh, flood away Squirtle, right? Because Squirtle can do similar things. Yeah, you know, he gave him a taste of his own medicine. Fight water with water. Like, <laughs> yeah, not very effective. I think not. Uh oh, and then look at this damage coming out. Oh, but a nice edge guard there with the forward air. Does he still have a jump? Oh, he makes it back still. Right. There we go. They're just riding up there. Oh, big up smash. He's got. Oh, I thought he was gonna fiend for an up B or something yeah. there. But, but you know, this is a you know. Schmick with the lead, and look, there it is, big back out from the lit big, back air. Big back air coming <laughs> out from Charizard, and you big know, backwards aerial. Yeah, and then now, you know, good bit of rage. You know, Ivysaur could definitely get something started here. Up the out of shield, doesn't manage to get the punish though, but. Yeah, you know, not gonna work got, out on this occasion. 
Got Mario in the corner here, trying to just keep him out with that back air. And up, uh, again, so I'll be out of shield. So good, you know, come out like, what, frame three, frame yeah, four, something, something like crazy that. Like you that. Know, it's just... But you can see Frisky now trying to make something happen here. Oh, here we go. Jumps away from the grab after the back air. There we go, there we back go. air. Tries Ooh. to get the grab once more. It Almost gets spot dodged. Out that spot dodge. But, oh, and the... Okay, he's going to get clipped, but back. another chance at life. Oh, and he That's punishes that ledge. re-grab. Here we go. Oh, and there perfectly it is. timed. You just run up. It's, it's just the mix-up, man. You know, you're just like, oh, I could wait here. I could maybe go for a grab. But you know what? How about this noggin? <laughs> what are you going to do about the noggin? That was and, perfectly uh, timed. Yeah, no, perfectly timed. Schmixtape taking that game one nice and swiftly. But, you know, Fr uh, Frisky putting up a fight there. You know, that Ivysaur was yeah. definitely putting in that work. The Ivysaur was cooking a little bit as well, if I do say so myself. And then now but a little bit uh, close, but no cigar, as they say. Yeah. But now, of course, those characters are eliminated from yeah, so these competitors' play pools. I'm not, not sure what characters they've been using so far, but we're going to see who's coming yeah. up next. So for me, I, for my round ones, I've been going a character I don't necessarily, I'm not the best with, mm. but I can at least move around with. Get a few weeks and if I lose, <laughs> if I win, it's great. <laughs> and Sephiroth, Schmick's Dr. Tape. Mario. Schmick's tape, he went, he went for Dr. Mario. He was like, you know what? He changed, he Mario, changed his degree. <laughs> Mario got that PhD now. And he's, ready, <laughs> he's ready to medicate you up. But he went from Sephiroth. a traitor a PhD. That's crazy. But man, you know, Sephiroth, if he pulled up to the doctors, I would be like, man, I'm a bit intimidated right now. I don't know if I can handle, uh, handle that, all that this one aura. wing doesn't that doesn't look right. Yeah, it doesn't look clean. You, you need correct. to check that out. But um yeah, back on PS2, of course. I feel like you know, in a smash down bracket like this, it's pretty much just gonna be PS2. Oh, for sure. You're not gonna be banning, yeah, you don't know who, yeah, who's yeah, yeah. they're playing, but um, I, I'm a fan of small battlefield myself, but I, I do like small battlefield. But as if well. we're going to PS2, then so be it. Same. Here we go, one wing on deck, but you know, Schmix, you know, piling Ooh. up that damage, and you know, Dr. Mario is not shy of kill options himself. Again, the yeah. up smash not as fast, but arguably yeah, exactly. a bit stronger, so. That dash attack put Frisky in a great spot. Oh, but there we go, go. neutralize into the back air. There yeah. is, this, this is a is, jumpless doctor. Yeah, Can he recover? It's that edge guarding that's really gonna pay off for Sephiroth in a matchup like this. You know, Dr. Mario, not the strongest of yeah. recoveries, but you know, Schmix State finding a way to work around there. Just barely narrowly that missing that. that. Down for comes. Oh, the DI, DI mix up of the DI Schmix. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, and then Schmix you know, for a stock loop now. And you know, you know, ideally you want to take this stock off Dr. Mario quickly because this rage is going to be scary. Oh. And, then, and just like that, kshush, with the big old sword, and there you go. You know, Frisky doing a good job keeping up, not letting uh, Schmix tape get too mm. too big of a lead. Ooh, but the but damage. A duo of Upez is going to rack up a bit of damage, though. Yeah, now the damage is piling oh, up. Oh, what a backer! Punishes there, and look at this. Now he's got him at the ledge. Those oh, pills. these pills are looking dangerously close. He's definitely trying to medicate the <laughs> Sephiroth right now. <laughs> and that can convert into something dangerous. Something to work out. The up B is not going to work out. Oh, a nice little tech, tech chase. chase. Okay. Oh, and goes it up by accident, oh, probably. Okay. Tries to hit him with the snap, but not quite. And yeah, he's just gonna be—he's gonna be looking for those back airs, looking for those. Whoa! Oh, and he said, he was like, "Man, get that out of here, bro!" <laughs> Knuckle to the face, and just like that, the second stock is gone. And now, yeah. now, now you've got to be thinking for Frisky. You know, this is basically your tournament stock right now, or at least, at least winner's for, for winner's side. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, um, got a clutch up. Yeah, it's clutch up sure time. You don't want the doctor to tell you. <laughs> You're gonna have to go. <laughs> You're gonna have to. We're gonna have to put you and down. Look at that guy and that back row, <laughs> getting him off stage right away, and you know, just trying to put him in that situation where you can apply the pills and trying to get that forward. You know, really feeling for that edge guard, but you know, Schmix is just so good at ready for those options. But nice counter coming out from Frisky. Oh, here. there we and go. There it is. Finally, the using the extra air. jump of the wing. Yeah, you know that definitely helps edge guard situations. But he's still under a lot of pressure here. You know, Schmix takes a lot of fresh stock on deck. But you know, Sephiroth can he can make things happen. He could get get some sort of gimp maybe. Whoa! Oh, and he tries to go tries to end it how he ended. Oh, game he one. goes for a shield break, but oh, perfect DI! Lives that up smash and you know the next one, you know, the up B, a, a down B, you know, there's a look variety of kill options that the doctor has, so he needs to be careful. That yeah. back end not quite across the stage, but the one wing is on deck. There's many people that would not have DI'd that correctly, oh, there but no DI is going to save you from the that chin one. Check, sure you can. <laughs> oh my God, the doctor is in. The doctor is in, and a nice swift 2 0 from Schmix tape. You know, Frisky putting up a fight, but Mario and his uh, and his brother, Dr. Yeah. Mario, you know, secret brother we don't know about yeah. who has a PhD, but yeah, Schmix tape just really, uh, really putting on a clinic, if you will. He was indeed. <laughs> with, with, with the doc there. You know, he's using up B a lot as regular Mario, using yeah. it a lot as Dr. Mario. It's just a good option. It paid dividends, you know, to it's, say it's, the it's least. It's a risky option, but if it hits, where's the risk? You know, mm -hmm. just go for that. 
That frame, and, um, frame, frame four, three option, very solid. But yeah, that's going to be 2-0 from Schmix Tape. And we're going to be getting our next competitors hopping on. Who have we got here? Okay, so I think I got the winner of this. Oh, have you? Oh, you yeah. still, still in? Okay, yeah, okay. I'm still in. I went 3-2, but you know, I'll nice. take it. Uh, nice, nice. I'll take it. Oh, yeah, okay, we got Lance and we got Elwin. Elwin and Lance I, play, I played against Elwin earlier. That actually put me in losers. Oh, really? I believe when I played them, they played Yoshi and Samus. Right, right. I wasn't enjoying those matchups, but they were pretty good. They, they, they were pretty good play. And I'm interested yeah. to see what characters they're going to bring out now. Yeah, of course. And um, of course. also very interested to see who Lance is going to play here as yeah, well. Yeah, very mean, true. You know. Obviously, he's kind of got. Um, He's kind of got two mains at least right now, right? He's got yeah. Roy in the you know, Chrome. You know, I, you know, everyone's got their main. They're keeping in the back for Smashdown. But he's like, I've got Roy and Chrome yeah. ready. And, you know, Which I'm, is very blessed. I'm, I'm assuming he's still got those chilling in the yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you know. Oh. Oh, OK. Oh, OK. OK, I guess we can uh, we could check out that later. Ooh. We could see who to call. Do you guys want to show your cards to the camera real quick? Do you want to show your cards to the camera real quick? Let's see what we've got. There we go. Okay, so Lance has still got Roy and Chrome. There's not many X's on there. He's probably two at everyone. <laughs> yeah, like, it seems he's been cooking. <laughs> he's like, get a and load of Elwin this. Elwin has. Elwin is also a cooking. Few, a few Samus. Samus. Still got Dark Samus. You know, I yeah, don't know I'm in a similar played. boat. So that like, obviously echoes do yeah. count. Yeah, that's all good. That's all good. Yep. Incineroar has gone. Incineroar is very popular. So okay. is Falco. Falco. There's the Yoshi you mentioned, so Ridley. So they've both not used too many characters. No, they, they, they must have like two would everyone. Like, Look at my paper. Yeah. <laughs> so that, oh, that that's another thing to consider in a funny bracket like this. Um, yeah, if you two your opponent, that's one less character you've used. So yeah, I mean, 100%. that's that's the yeah, ideal the more, situation. The right? more wins you get, the less characters you have to use. Oh well, yeah, that means yeah. You can you can keep you can keep your exactly. uh, your trump cards in the back. <clears throat> hello, chat, by the way. I didn't say hello. I hope we get Steve Grand's finals. You know, I don't know <laughs> if anyone's been playing Steve today. Which I, really I cannot think. play Steve for the life of me. It really makes you think, you know, in a, in a smash down setting, you know, no one's playing Steve. Maybe, <laughs> maybe that's saying something. Wait. But, ooh, the, the Lance Joker? I could, I, I could have sworn everyone crossed off Ridley on their sheet. Uh, I don't Unless know. I read it wrong. We must be tripping. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm, I, sure. I'm sure they're not. Yeah. But yeah, okay. So we've got. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so we got Elwin on Ridley, and we got Lance playing some Joker. Okay, I can, okay, very I can nice. mess with it. You know, when a top player plays Joker, I get happy. So <laughs> makes me makes me quite. Yeah, Joker is like good. a very solid pick. And like then, he's not exactly pick up pick up and play right, but yeah, but I'm if, sure if you've got some good like fundamentals Lance as yeah, a top yeah. player, you know, you can you could do something with this character. And we're seeing him do exactly that. You know, Ridley. You know, he's definitely combo food for a character like Joker, and you know, yeah. keep away with the guns and all that. And you know. Just taking minimal damage here, just piling on the pressure on Ridley. Yeah, so it's not every day you can say you've played against Ridley in bracket, but so far Lancelot looking very comfortable with this yeah, Joker. Definitely. And we're seeing this percent 122, you know. We're gonna see now, does Lance have those fair one drag downs? <laughs> you know? Oh, and he's got a drag down up as though. Screw, yeah, if he doesn't need the fair one. Drag down <laughs> just like that. What's the platform? There you go. Scoop them up. 16%. Scoop them up, sorry. He's uh he's absolutely chilling right now. But we're going to see, can Elwin make something happen here with Ridley? You know, Ridley does have a lot of options. I mean, we saw Mezcal at regen over the weekend. We can see that yeah, this, this character top eight. can do stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but can Elwin get some mileage here from Ridley? Oh, what a chase. Now, you know, and again. I've, and I've just noticed, you know, that whole first stock, Lancelot didn't have to use our center all, and now it's come out, and this is going to be stressful. Oh, they were looking for the up smash, but just coming down aggressively was Lancelot. Yes. Back throw. Finding good opportunities to get around because that Ooh. up smash and a nice Arsen bear. My favorite game in the move, by the way. Uh, my favorite move in the game, by the way. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, very just like that, you know, And they're still on his first stock. You know, so so El Elwin needs to find a way to, you know, just get this Joker out of here. Yeah, no, no but, for yeah. sure. This uh, Joker from Lancelot is looking quite impressive right now. Yeah, the up smash, up smash, barely again. whiffing, low profiling. Yeah, Joker is a, 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 a tiny he's lad. He's a slippery young man. <laughs> he really is. And here we go. We got a little drag down. Okay. Okay. Ooh, the oh, even cool. I, I wouldn't have got. Hey, that. yo, the up B. Oh. Not quite. 
He's cooking. He's cooking. He is definitely in the kitchen right now. But Elwin, oh, they're trying to look back. for something right here. And he makes it back again. And Arsen is going to be on deck fairly soon. But Big there, old back air. There's the back air coming out. So Elwin managing to get a stock there. So it's, it's, it's not over just yet. But Hugo, I mean, we saw we saw how, how much mileage he was able to get off of that first stock. And now he's got two more fresh mm -hmm. ones. It's, it's looking like a stressful day oh for Oh, my God. <laughs> tries to call out there with a big up smash. Tries to get an up smash of his own, yeah. Oh, here fair we go. one. Nice fair Into the one back, back here. here. Not going to get much more off from that. And just piling on the damage now. The you know, he has the guns, the up smash, nice and up that's smash. the game. Nice. Set. Solid stuff. Yeah, man. Clean, clean stuff from Lancelot, man. Showing that, you know, Joker in the hands of a top player. He could do. I mean, uh, we, we've been new this. I'm, but, um, I'm seeing that Joker. I'm like, Loki, you should save that for a future round, maybe. Yeah, maybe, you know, a little bad matchup here and there for... But maybe Lance just fought Elwin. It's very, uh, you know, they're a very, very solid player. I thought, I need I need to uh, start... We're, we're getting to the point in the bracket now where we need to bring out the big guns, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. As, we, as we're getting close to, you know, high on the winner's side, you know, we're going to see... Oh, it looks like we're going to the uh, uh, other side of the top, see some top, top tiers. Might have to be done. Let's see the competitors deciding who's coming out next. Elwin locking in with Dr. Mario. We just saw that in the oh. previous set. And Lancelot, he's like, you know what? You can play your low tier. I'm going to be playing my top 10 character. <laughs> I think... Uh, <laughs> Elwin decided to go even lower on the tier list. Yeah, yeah, you know, Ridley was already risky enough. But they're like, you know what? The doctor is I don't in. care. <laughs> I don't care about these two girls and their swords. I have got pills and medications. <laughs> so let's get right to it. Game two here on PS2 once again, of course. And, you know... Lancelot here, you know, just um, showcasing some frame data. Of mm -hmm. course, you know, this, you know, Nifra just able to rack up a lot of damage and fast. And there's the foresight. And, you know, this is going to be tough again. Dr. Mario's recovery isn't the best. So off stage is going to be tough. Lines are down there, though. Just, unfortunately, yeah, not get much off it. Yeah, not, not falling too far behind with damage like in the previous game. And, you know, Dr. Mario, you know, once that rage starts piling on, up smash, you know. Can be a bit of a rage before. monster. Yeah, especially gets a. Um, but then know, here's a rage monster herself, Pyra coming out. <laughs> yeah, true. And this is uh, this is where it starts to get a bit hectic because those kill options are on deck. That bear. Oh, and oh, man. going back you, here now. You think Mario struggles with swords? Dr. Mario even more so, just yeah, being that I slightly mean, bit smaller. Exactly. You just know, get getting, down to up B. It's tough. You're getting outranged this whole time, but then you also happen to be a really, really slow doctor, and that back air That's is going to put him. Bad put trade him, for win. Yeah. But there we go. You know, not not, not impossible though. 107. You know, th there's a plethora of kill options that Dr. Mario could use here. It's oh, just yeah. a matter of if placing Elwin, them. Okay, Elwin fighting back. Yeah, if they can actually get a confirm at this point, it's not looking too bad for them. But oh, yeah, trying to look for the something there, but too spaced. Manages to get past that pirate there. Got a Ooh. second win in that stock, and those soft nair almost getting the kill. The soft nair being the strong nair. Oh. Hey, All right. there it is. Taking advantage of nice Mifra's not. Amazing recovery yeah. that down tilt up B is going to seal it and not too much of a percent deficit right now. No, this is uh, nothing that uh, Dr. Mario combo can't make back, but Lancelot looking like not even yeah. going to give Elwent a, a chance yeah, to that. get a conversion or anything. Oh, and a nice spot dodge there. Down tilt to forward air, piling on the damage and just getting him back, Ooh, getting the doctor the back finish. off stage where he doesn't want to be because that is, that is a tough case. When you Whoa, have to that hit? Ooh, the noggin. Beaten out for what? <laughs> the, the back air or something. <laughs> yeah. But here we go. That was great for Elwin, but unfortunately they're back in the same left yeah. side spot. Lancelot just trying Flying to... back to center stage, though. Yeah. You know, hey, yo. Make, make, no oh, jump. Okay, no okay. jump. No hey. jump. And just like that, Elwin taking the stock. You know, it was looking it was looking dire there. Yeah, Lancelot, you know, trying to find that kill option at the ledge. But just like that, Elwin able to come in and take that stock. And now they're ahead. I'm surprised. And now they're ahead with Max Rage, Dr. Yeah. Mario. So, you know, Pirate... Pir oh, what Pir a clank. Oh, my goodness. That allowed Elwin to actually get a little something. And you can see Elwin playing a little bit more passively now, but a little bit cheeky yeah. with these they, pills. They, 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 they definitely want to keep oh. this stock, but, you know, there, there's the forward air. You know, I was going to say they want to keep that stock because yeah. that Rage, Dr. Mario, like we said, I could tell by the way they were playing. Monster. Mm. But rage Lance Monster indeed. Lancelot equaling up the stocks now and... No, they, they, whoa, oh, 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 whoa, 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 The jump, still got the jump. Oh, 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 ah! oh we're trying, no to way, get, trying to get the reflect and put them back, but not managing to get the gimp there. But still, Elwin with a percent lead here. That could have been an up B. That was a crazy oh, offstage situation. I'm so surprised both, <laughs> even one of these players the are alive. Offstage shenanigans have been shenanigans in this <laughs> game. But now both. Whoa, what a grab. 
Both players oh, here. Oh, game could, the set could end right here. Trying to keep them at bay here. Got Pyra on deck. Looking for a dare, but not quite. Elwin Woo! fighting back now. Oh, no pill! Oh, no and there way! it is. The down tilt up air and Lancelot Damn. taking that with a 2-0, but much, much, much less convincing in the, yeah. in the second game. You know, that Joker just steamrolling that Ridley, mm -hmm. but Elwin showing the Doctor can can cook a little bit. Turn too. a clinic. Good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Stewie joke from the previous set. But Lancelot, you know, Joker, Aegis, using those top tiers to full effect. And, uh, yeah, for real. Just a solid, and nearly, solid like, you know, that when uh, Elwin got that reverse on the right side, suddenly, yeah, I, mean, that, suddenly that I thought we were going to a situation. Game 3 situation, but alas, Lancelot well, holding That's the thing, you know, he just, you know, very good, strong yeah. character, but off stage, you know, without a jump, very susceptible to yeah. edge guards, and even the dock could put those up as well. So. Mm. Good yeah. showing, but Lancelot with a 2-0. Probably 2-0 still across the board for him. Yeah. No, and I think I'm playing Lancelot in a minute, so... Well, it's have fun, fun, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably get called momentarily. All right, all right. And I think we've I got... I don't know if I'll play on stream. I'll stay here for now. Oh! Ooh. Okay. I'm on... All right, sweet. Thank you, nice, Ambler, nice, in my nice. ear. Nice. Oh, <laughs> so I think we've got uh, Tarek's up next. So and, is that uh, Tarek and Schmix? Tarek and Schmix. Oh, love it. it. Seems love it a lot. It's going to be interesting. And I, I haven't really seen what characters Tarek's been playing so far. Obviously, uh, you know, he's surely got the Gran and the cars chilling yeah. in the back. Yeah, I saw Tarek um, briefly on stream earlier, I think. I can't remember who he played. Um, we saw Schmix, the previous set with the yeah, Mario. Course, the Mario and the Dr. Mario. So, Sonic is who I saw. Sonic I didn't see the snake. snake. For Tarek. Okay, interesting. I saw like a near, a near spin dashless snake. Uh, oh, uh, here we go. Okay, so we've seen Game and Watch, see Mario, Mario Peach, Doc, Peach, Doc, Little Mac, Game and Watch, Mac. And some Mac Ryu could be as a well. shell. Actually. Okay, okay, nice one. Yeah, it's not many. Nah, <laughs> that's fine. Right, we, we got it. So we're gonna see who. I, I'm interested to see who's coming out next. You know, Tarek playing Sonic and Snake before. You know, it's yeah. it's almost like these top players enjoy playing top tiers. <laughs> Basically, uh, maybe. But um, just, just pick a pick a top or high tier character and just put in work. Put in that work. And Although, see... like to Tarek's credit, like Sonic and Snake are such different characters. Not yeah, compared very... to themselves, but compared to the rest of the cast. Definitely. 100%. So you know that it's not like a pick up and play. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. You got you got to know your nades and you got to know your spin dashes. Yeah. But um, let's see what characters are coming out here from Tarek and Schmix. Yeah, we're, we're in the semis right now, so it's going to yeah, be... It's, it's progressing fast. I mean, we, we're we're going to see a bit more of the big guns coming out, I think. Yeah, 100%. Now, maybe not quite mains. We'll see. Yeah, probably not going to see that till you know, maybe... I know Tarek has a lot of po Tarek. Uh, pockets. I actually played yeah, Tarek I mean, at Strike at Regen. His Donkey Kong, it goes crazy. The Tarek So Donkey I'm wondering Kong. if he's used Donkey Kong yet. <laughs> Maybe the, maybe the Kong is going to come yeah. out. Well, we might have to see about that. Yeah, they're deciding what characters they're going to get. Going for PS2 here. Of course, of course. Now, let's see. What are they going to be cooking with here? I'm excited to see. So we got the Schmix Wolf. Schmix Wolf. Okay. okay. Oh, a little spacey, spacey matchup. I like it. Okay. I like it. I'm locked let's in. See it. Who is the strongest spacey? We're going to see right now. All right, Tarek on the Falco, Schmix tape on the Wolf. Let's get it. All right, here we go now. Now we're gonna see, we're gonna see some movement here. Both these characters, you know, I feel like they're they're, they're the type of characters where they want to get their hit and then do their damage. Yeah, you exactly. Know? I mean that's every character, but you know, Falco's yeah. gonna be looking for up tilt. Wolf's gonna be looking for those nares and yes. Yeah. So oh, there, there's a nice up throw. You know, you know the. Uh, I, feel, I feel like the combo game here we could see from Tarek. You know, we see him play Greninja. We see him do crazy mm -hmm. combos. We yeah, see him yeah. Play Kazuya. We see him do. Crazy, pretty crazy combos. combos, and Falco is also, of course, combo a combo machine. demon himself. Yeah, yeah. But you know, Schmix tape with Wolf. You know, we know Wolf is a really solid character. All the space, so many good options, and at the ledge, of course, with that nair and that forward tilt, just trying to Woo. keep Tarek in the corner there, trying to force him to recover. And I'm interested to see if they'll be able to edge guard, or if they're just going to stick. I feel like you know, mm. as pretty top players, they're going to play it safe, go for more of a ledge trapping. But you know, the ed the, the recoveries here are definitely susceptible. To yeah, edge a little guards. bit. Falco is actually great at edge guarding, but he's also really successful Ooh, to getting reversed. Charging up there, he down smash. Oh, he tries to go for a, a cheeky side B, but not quite. And I'm looking at this percent. I'm Whoa. thinking, oh, 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 the magnet hands from no heaven. way. And there we go, making it back. But the percent is piling up now. Both chilling at over 100. Whoa! And whoa! And I think that's Slipping a trade in that with, down smash. Yeah, trading with that down smash, and now the the, uh, the turntables. <laughs> and um. 
Yeah, but Tarek's still playing a lot of, a lot of oh, the game nice off stage right now. Trying no to conversion. Combo, doesn't quite get, almost dying to that dash attack. Yeah. Both characters. Oh, that was a... Well placed down tilt, will take it. And now Tarek is... <laughs> He's doing a little hey, bit. Of, hey! Maybe, maybe regretting his decision to yeah. stunt, stunt on Pokemon Stadium there because uh, Schmix was not having it. And, Cute uh, wall jump, but very susceptible <laughs> to the big back air. Cute wall jump, but tech this. Psych, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, oh! Schmix using, using that momentum, piling up the damage here, got Tarek in a bad spot Gosh. at the ledge. Schmix is on the proud to delete this second stock so soon. They go another back throw. Tarek has spent a lot of the game off stage. Oh, and that push, it out. that push back from the F smash. Yeah. Not able to get the grab and a nice down smash will just clear it up. And just like that, Schmix tape is basically a full stock ahead now and continuing to pile on the oh, damage. Oh, the side B off of the back air. But now Tarek's like, you know what? I'm trying to get some damage on myself. I'm not letting you get away with this. This tape has a lot of schmicks on it, that's for sure. There nice we go, but the back air. Yeah. Can Tarek make something of it? Stage. Ooh, and a nice... Ooh, he's trying, he's trying to stunt on him right now. Oh, oh and the, the empty hop. A nice tomahawk yeah. tilt, bro. And then, oh, he's looking... Oh, he's, no, oh, oh he just does it again! Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh barely, barely living. Okay, Tarek, Tarek trying to just hold on to this stock because he's still got one more of schmicks tapes to go through. But Schmick's take, you know, just the one good option. Any smash attack will really do it right now. We're just trying to keep him at ledge. Yeah, look at oh. the smash. But Tarek punishing that with a back air. And now we're going to see, could he make could he yeah. make this game one comeback? Definitely needs one or two Falco conversions to get Cooking back into this game. Oh, the back, the back air. air. Not the sweet spot. Living again, not, not quite going to take it across PS2. Tarek got another, another chance at his game one here. Yeah, I'm He's not sure Tarek can take another one of those. Still trolling to get something going on this this third stock of Smix tapes. Smix is on the brow for a oh, kill. Go. No oh. way. And oh. the R pair will do it. Not quite able to get too much going with Falco there. And Schmix, you know, just really, really abusing some of Wolf's moves there. Just like, you know yeah. what? F smash, you can't punish me. Yeah. Down smash, die. Like I really <laughs> liked how the first time he did F smash, it baited out the grab. So he did down smash. The second time he did F smash on shield, he knew that Tarek knew he couldn't grab punish it. So he moves back because he knew that Tarek could try to approach in a different yeah, honestly, manner. That's, that's did another F smash. Some, some Didn't kill, but I still there. love the play. Yeah, no, Schmick's Does tape. secure the game, though. Schmick's tape really showcasing why he's called Schmick's tape, bro. Schmixing mm -hmm. him up there with the wolf. But now, of course, for real. game two. And uh, players here deciding what characters they're going to go next. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite the decision you got to make in this sort of bracket. Yeah, you got to think about it. You play it. a character, you can't play him again. You know, as Win or lose. Thinking, Do I want to use a character? Oh, Samus and okay, Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Interesting. Playing Ramboss's mains, I, 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 I like it. I like it. <laughs> Shout out to Ramboss. Always, bro. Going back to PS2. So yeah, we've got Tarek on the Sephiroth here, and we've got Schmick tape on the Samus. So let's see. Not sure I've seen Tarek play Sephiroth. Maybe yeah, I have I seen him play Sephiroth before in the past. But, um, but I'm sure it cooks. Sephiroth is definitely capable of doing some stuff there. And you know, you think in a mm. matchup like this, Samus is really going to be trying to keep you out. And you know, once you get in Samus's face, what are they going to do? They're going to up B. Yeah. But Sephiroth, he doesn't need to get in your face. He just needs to point that sword exactly. relatively close to you, and that will do the job. So mm. we're going to see if Tarek can use that blade well in this matchup. But Schmix tape, you know, using Samus, piloting it pretty well, using those projectiles, oh. using that. Oh, and that down air, essentially giving him something, and catches that landing with an F smash, just blowing Damn. Sephiroth up just like that. And you know, he's a pretty light character, so that is definitely going to take it. And now Schmix tape going up. A stock here in game two. Yeah, this is quite the lead for Mixtape. Sephiroth does have a bit of explosive power if you get the right uh, the right hits, Ooh, tries, such as that pass, potentially. Tries to punish that with the no jump. Oh no, we got quite. jump. Mixtape managing to make it back. Tarek just trying to keep him in the corner with that oh. blade, and the back air will do it. Well placed. Hopping there. over the charge shot. Yeah, Lovely stuff. Maneuvering over that with grace, and you know, or you know, or just slashing it directly. Slice it you know? through it. Yeah, the old slice of dice. Oh, bit of a missed input coming in from Schmix Tape. It gives Tarek an opening. Okay. Looking like an even game at the moment. Oh, but the back Schmitz here. Tape starting to get some pressure on. We're putting those Samus aerials to use. Oh, I love and the And Tarek coming back with a nice up air to back air. Mm. Nice little conversion there. 
But Schmick State fighting right back, really going back and forth in this game too. It really is, only a matter of percent between them. Oh, oh one nice, F-Tilt covering over nice the ledge. F oh, Derek got a bit too low there. Gonna be looking for that Octa Slash, but not quite Ooh. able to land it. Managing to make it back and now, now Schmick State's got him in the corner a bit. Oh, and he oh, gets he that get the grab. The classic jab retreat with the grab and he's just piling on the pressure here, but still both characters just barely Oh, the slide through! The slide in if he's not jumping over the charge shots, he's sliding under them. That's really Ooh. slick. Tarek trying to land a deciding blow. Oh, the back air! There Scout it is, out. the deciding slash he needed, and now Tarek in the lead, and he's going to be taking this one wing for a ride, trying to just get rid of this last stop. But Schmix, he's going to have to find a way to equalize before, before we see a game free, potentially. Yeah, potentially, if Tarek has um, anything to say about it, and he yeah, looks like he's saying a lot air, right now. That forward air so well, like you said earlier, jumping over charge shot, mm. just placing it, keeping Samus at yeah. bay. And you know, Smix isn't really, as I say, he actually does charge up quite a lot. Yeah. I was gonna say, he's not really been charging up too yeah. much, but now he is. He's like, hold on, let me shoot he's you. He's like, I forgot, this is oh. also a kill move. Yeah. <laughs> But then there's Tarek Ooh, there, nice upbeat into dash attack. Just getting some pretty good conversions here. Oh! And, and the minuscule charge shot into yeah. dash attack will be enough to take I it. I don't know if that was still true at that point, and like, but nonetheless, it still worked out for Schmick. So we're one yeah. sucker piece between these two. Can Schmick clutch up, take it 2-0 with Tarek, this, this take it to game three? This would be a crazy way to take the set if he brings this <gasps> back. But Tarek not wanting that to happen right now, just trying to keep him away Whoa. and minimize the damage. Almost trying to get an up throw up air there, but not quite. And he's looking back for those back airs. And so oh, we're charging going, oh, up! We're going for the, oh, we're going for the medium. And then he's again just placing those back airs, trying to find the deciding oh. blow. The Schmix tape getting through, getting a dash attack. Now he's gone. Oh, what a scout out on and the down tilt! attack so good for the whiff punishing. It really, really is. And you know, Sephiroth is such a light, oh, light character. Could to... die at any moment's notice, honestly. And there's a forward air, got him off stage now. Re-grab? What's for breakfast? Trying to get a grab, but nothing. Ooh. And then old weak bear doesn't quite do it, but Schmick's tape at the ledge, 145. Aggressive, He's coming back rage. to stage. This, this could be dangerous. Sephiroth really light, so exactly. Schmick's tape finds a really good like back air on there. It's gonna yeah, that's what I'm trouble. saying. A back air would kill near ledge. Oh, trying to place those Ooh. attacks. Gets South the soft back air. Down smash, no oh way! Oh my god, catch that's the gonna soft take bear. It? Catching that tech chase and just down smashing right at the ledge with almost max rage. And that'll do it, Sephiroth as a feather. That down Damn. smash, you don't often see it killing, but nearly max rage. Sephiroth is so light. So right at the ledge at PSG. Yeah. It, 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 the, the stars aligned for Schmick's It really there. did. And I'm up. Get 2 0. All right, Crispy, you, you up next, man. I'm playing Lance a lot, I believe. Right, yeah, yeah. Man. Good luck, bro. See you in a bit. You got this. Goodbye, chat. Oh, man, oh, man. Schmick's tape with a, with a clutch 2 0, man. With a clutch 2 0, man. That's, uh, that, that last play there, you know, I was really thinking that whole game. You know, the, the, the rage is piling up. Oh, is that, is that my boy Ewan? Hello. Come on, mate. Hello. We've got Ewan on the mic with me today. And did you see that last game? I did, I did. That down smash. I know. Shot. We've, the degenerate characters coming out. Currently there is a Sonic Samus game going on, a Joker versus Sonic going on. It's, the degenerate characters have come out. Joker? No, 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 Sonic. <laughs> no, no, I'm saying. Yeah, no, I mean, you, you do what you got to do and smash down. You've got the whole roster at your disposal. you got to bring it all out and schmix tape. Definitely brought it all out there with the yeah. Samus against Tarek, and now Tarek and loses. Yeah. So Schmick State is chilling. But of course, next we've got our good friend Crispy going up against Mr. Lancelot himself, who of course got that 2-0 earlier. I, I do wonder when Crispy's going to bring out his mains. Yeah. Who, who does Crispy play these days? So he is main. I'd say is Meta Knight, Sec and then Greninja and uh, Zero Suit are his like. Well, you know what? He, he, I think he mains all three, but those, those two, like, Mick if there's any Sephiroth time is the main. to bring out the mains, it's against Lancelot. You're going to need every fighting chance uh, you can get. Thing is, if you go your main game one and you win game one, I just mean your opponent's going to pick their main game two, and then you lose. Well, yeah, I mean, it's that, a mind that, game. That is, that is true in theory, but it's, yeah, I'm thinking like, will Crispy get to the point where he can force Lancelot to go Royal? Kron? He's gone. He's gone to main. He's yeah, gone one of his go. mains. He's going straight with Greninja. That's what I'm saying. You know, you're playing against Lancelot. It's like I need to give him everything I've got and put a game on the board. Even if I don't take the set, I'm trying to. I'm going in hard to try and get this game. And of course, small battlefield right away. We're seeing Lancelot on the Falcon. 
So we've got two fast, explosive characters here going mm -hmm. back and forth, and this is going to be it's going to be interesting. Seeing what Crispy can cook up, of course, Greninja, one of his mains, he's going to be trying to do what he does best and get that damage going. For sure. I mean, like, I, I, I've, I've never seen Hugo play um, Falcon before. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, Falcon just one of those characters. You know, you can just bust him out and just try and swag on him. And Hugo trying to look, for, get something started here. But not I feel like quite. some some skills from oh, playing. Gets, oh, oh damn, Christy was oh, ready. Get, that was insane. Getting that that up B perfectly placed into the up smash, almost getting the kill, but not quite. And now we've got. Oh, that forward air not quite doing it, but Falcon with Rage could be dangerous, but Crispy still sitting at only 52 now after that Falcon kick. He gets a grab, 150 now. He's looking Tries, very comfortable yeah. this first stock, yeah. yeah. Looking for that up B, but he needs to find a way to, uh, to close out the stock. But it can, it can be hard for Greninja. He has, you know, those options, the down tilt conversions, but it's a matter of placing them against a speedy guy like Falcon. And ooh, using that wall jump up B to just maneuver around the ledge and a nice F tilt will do it. And oh, and that's there. Textbook gets him up high with that hydro pump and a nice down smash. Simply just getting rid of it. And now Crispy up one game. Yeah. He's looking very good so far. Ooh, and trades with the up smash. Which would have, would have definitely would have killed, and that Falcon dive not quite taking it. Yeah, Greninja's quite a light, light frog. Light froggo, but still hanging on 135 right now. Coming back with that shadow sneak, and Hugo just trying to look for some options here. But not. Oh, and there's an up beat up high, not quite. But you know the next one probably going to take it if he gets it right at the ledge. Looking for a down tilt, but doesn't quite get. And now Crispy's piling on the damage. Go. And there's another one, and there it is. It's Finally, kind of crazy. Of all brackets for Crispy to lock in on, it's the funny bracket. It's the time, but dude, the funny bracket, it might be funny to some, but it might it might be the time no, to no. lock in for others. Crispy is in serious mode. Crispy is in serious mode, and he is, you know, we're seeing even stocks right now, but he's really piling the pressure here on Lancelot. And Lancelot trying to fight back, get some combo oh. started now. Oh, he's looking for that double upper into nail one, and now he's going to be looking for something at the ledge. And that what, that, that, that jab still connecting. Looked like Greninja was behind there, but and look at this. Lancelot fighting back now, almost evening up the percent. But Crispy not trying to let that happen, wants to keep his lead going. But Hugo, he's, he's got... Oh, and the footstool almost taking it, but Greninja still able to make it back with that recovery. And now both, both players sitting at basically equal percents here. Nice grab, looking for something on the platform, tried to get a tech in, Ooh. but Lancelot, ready for that, comes down with a mean bear. And now Crispy on his last Greninja stock of the tournament. Can he get something going here? Oh, almost tries to get that confirmed, but not quite. And now Lancelot piling on the damage. Oh, and a nice dare Nair. Keeping the pressure going, using that rage, getting some damage. And now, oh, he's looking for more. Oh, and he's got him schmixed. This is looking dire for Crispy. Lancelot just using that Falcon at ledge, so threatening. It is not looking good for our hero, Crispy, here. But he's not done just yet. The frog is not done just yet. Got him off stage, potential edge guard situation. Lancelot makes it back, and now we're back to neutral. Can he get something started? Crispy needs to get rid of this stock now because Falcon, with all this rage, is going to be looking dangerous. I mean, he's already looking dangerous. Like Crispy will just die from nearly any stray hit here. Yeah, a, a good back air, an up B at the ledge. That's going to do it. Lancelot trying to get the grab and the up B, but manages to retreat away, and Crispy can't get the punish. Hugo just fishing oh, for this back air. Trying to get the fair, but not quite at this percent. And there's, is that the up B going to he, take he's it? Living, he's living, oh, he's living. still living, just barely. But now it's looking dangerous. Oh my trying, goodness, trying oh my goodness. Shadow and sneak at the back air. Lancelot well placing it at the ledge. And oh, that's that's tough. But you know what? That Falcon that Falcon was putting on some pressure. Yeah, Crispy took an early early lead, but then yeah. Lancelot's locked in. I reckon locked we're gonna in. see Crispy's Meta Knight come out now. Depends yeah, on depends on Lancelot's pick. If one main doesn't work, hit him with the other. But the thing is, if Crispy does manage to claw back the set and win and he uses his Meta Knight and his Zero Suit. In Winners Finals, what does he have left? Yeah, exactly. That's the thing for a Smashdown bracket like this. You know, when you've got a tough opponent like Lancelot stood in your path, you, you could go all in and maybe get the, you know, the win with your mains, but then next round you're like, damn, what, uh, who do I play now? 
Yeah, yeah. But um, we're going to see Lancelot getting that first game with Falcon on Crispy's Greninja. So who is up next? For these They're both players? having a think. Like, normally it's like quite easy, like, in between games, but everyone's like, they really want to win. They want to make it like game three. Yeah, I mean, with, you know, with this kind of smash down, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, people will call it like a little a joke side event. But, but there, there really is like a whole There's meta. a mental thing. It's a game of chicken. Yeah. Like, there's do, a I, do I go a worse character so I don't have to bring out my good character? Yeah. Like, do I, like, do I go my really bad characters or do I go my, my kind of decent characters? Yeah. You're, Can I win with my bad really characters? Need to, like, balance that out and be like, okay, who, who's going to use their main first? Or am I even going to use my main? Am I just going to try and keep it light? Or am I going to use a character that's, you know, maybe easier? Yeah. Or just someone, you know, we're going to see also, right also you could you could just go your main. Oh, he, all right, he's gone the wolf. Okay, wolf, wolf diddy. And then, okay, Lancelot with the diddy. Let's see how this matchup, I, I've, been, I've been told this is not the best matchup for diddy. So we'll see if, uh, if uh, Crispy's wolf can cook here. Going back to small battlefield. Let's see what's going to happen in game two. And Crispy trying to get getting that drawing first blood here but when he steals the banana there and he yeah he's he's more than happy to just sit back with that and yeah getting some damage we know wolf can definitely get some combos going i'm interested to see can lancelot cook with diddy as well as he got those combos on deck for sure i'm pretty sure lancelot did play diddy in smash 4. okay, um, this okay mem so a memory of him having the diddy in but smash 4. a little bit of experience with the the small kong but, yeah, look at this, getting some damage in that dash attack. Obviously, such a good combo starter. But Crispy, oh, go oh, for it. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I think I think that was planned, because that up B normally would have been punished. But then he slips on the banana, and yeah, it kind of, like, throws off Lancelot's timing there. So It's a little bit of movement here, you know? like A little bit of I respect Crispy. If it was intentional or not, I respect it. Yeah, and a good spot dodge there from Crispy, avoiding that monkey flip. You know, that, that option could be really daunting from Diddy because you know is he going to attack or is he going to come on grab me oh I know I'm just going to spot dodge he's going to get neither but he's going to get an up smash punishing that dash attack such a good move fastest up smash in the game such a good out shield option and Lancelot he's got that lead right now Crispy trying to pile on some damage with the, with the lasers but you know he really has to find a way to take this stock and, yeah you know, Feels like if he gets Diddy Kong at the ledge, you know, he can get something started. But Lancelot's like, nope, I'm going to get some combos. I'm going to get some juggling. And Crispy just trying to find a way. He gets a soft bear. Not quite enough to take it. Trying to cook with the banana here, but up tilt, just barely not taking it. Oh, and he's trying to get that up B again, but not quite. And now Lancelot has got on that ledge. Just trying to keep, I mean, you know Diddy's ledge game is so crazy with that banana and all his options. Forcing him back to the ledge again and just threatening that threatening that down tilt, getting an F tilt, and he's just applying all that pressure. Crispy trying to find a way to make it back. Tries to do something there to wall jump back, but not quite enough. And now Lancelot chilling with free stocks. But Crispy saying, hey, don't get too comfortable, because I've got Wolf Bear right now. So, you Exa know, exactly. La Lancelot off a whole stock, but still Cr Crispy, he's still got some fight left in him. Nice get up attack and now he's got the banana could he get something started a bit i, I, I want to see crispy get something started with his banana he's holding on to it he's my banana oh, he just gets the throw oh and there we go for landing with that back air nice and getting the banana again and he's just trying to he dropped know, it he got hit uh, the, the the random drop chance when you get hit happened he picked up again he wants his banana he's a hungry wolf right now he's a hungry wolf he's starving trying to just but then lancelot is just Piling on the pressure, not really letting him get anything too severe. Yeah. Present, and, and there it is, the monkey flip grab. The up, yes. Off stage and oh, is that going to be enough? Not quite. Trying to just apply pressure at the ledge. Crispy barely getting back, but then again, there's the down throw up air. Hoo ha! Not killing, but getting some good damage. And now Crispy's chilling at one. Well, not quite chilling at one thirty-six. And there it is, the banana the F smash. F smash. That'll get the job done. And Lancelot taking that 2-0 over Crispy. With, uh, with that Diddy Kong to close it out. Yeah. Now, for winners' finals, we're got into best of five. So this is going to be very, very interesting. Okay, okay. So I think in winners, we've got Lancelot and Schmix. Lancelot and Schmix tape. Yes, okay. you're correct. And I'm interested to see, you know, we saw before with Tarek and Schmix tape, obviously they weren't going to go their mains. And I doubt we're going to see Lancelot or Schmix tape go their mains. Here, you know, you know as, as a top player, you want to keep it for grand finals in a, yeah. in a setting like this. But... It makes you think, you know, in a, in a best of five, there's more characters that you're going to have to use. So let me just get Schmix tape. Schmix, yeah. 
So Lancelot mixtape winners finals. I'm just gonna take I'm taking a quick peek at what characters both these players have gone so far. Yeah, yeah, guys. Oh yeah, we'll let we'll let them settle down, get their sheets ready. Could you show your camera to sheet, guys? Hugo. Guys, could you show your character sheets to the camera? Uh, down a bit. Down. Yeah. Yes, okay, Lancelot. So there we go. So Lancelot is his Joker, Aegis, and yeah, he's seen a, yeah, seen a few different things. We saw him play Diddy Kong and stuff. And yeah. Mixed tape used it. There's a few more. So obviously we've seen the mains are still available for both of these players here. So it's making you think, who are who are they considering in this uh, in this winners final set? And like like you said earlier, best of five, where there's just more characters that's going to be needed to use. Mm-hmm. The thing is, both both of these players have been playing incredibly well, and they've not dropped games. So they've yeah. actually managed not dropping games to save them a few characters yeah, here and there. Exactly. So they you know by not by not losing any games, minimal characters they have to use. But now it's really, it's really come down to okay. We need to bust out some big guns. And Schmick's tape is starting to go with Marth there, while Lancelot fares for the Fox. So pretty interesting. I mean, Fox. You know, we know what this character can do. And Marth a little bit of a, a little bit of a sleeper pick. But you know, with the tippers, especially against a light character like Fox, we we could see if Schmick's tape is able to cook. Yeah, but we could a, definitely see a tipper F smash kill a 60. Yeah, like, exactly. Just oh, under dude, the platform. 100 percent. But. Lancelot doesn't really want any of that to happen right now. He's like, you know what? I'm Fox. I'm Mr. Combo Man himself. So I'm just going to be doing that. A little bit of lasers for good measure. There we go. And now Schmick's tape trying to get something started here with Mar. He could, you know, once he gets Fox off stage, you know, the edge guarding available to him can be lethal. And Hugo trying to get an, an up smash there, but not quite. And Schmick's tape looking for a dare and a nice net up smash. The classic taking it nice and swiftly. Lancelot only chilling at 28% right now. So, oh, and a nice spot dodge there on the side B. Just using Fox's frame data. That Nair coming out. Oh, so a couple tippers coming out from Schmix. But nothing too threatening for Lancelot just yet. And he's got Marth at ledge. And look, the dash attack, all these Nairs, look, it's just... He's lapped him. He's, he, he, yeah, I mean, you know, Fox has that pressure. And, you know, as a top player, you know how to abuse good moves like that. For sure, for sure. Oh, and that up be out of shield. He's got Fox at 94 here now. At the ledge, he could definitely get a kill if he manages to land a, a good tipper here. But Lancelot playing it pretty safe, not trying to get hit by any kill options, and al almost getting it early there with another net up smash. And he says, you know what? If I can't get that, then I'll just hit you with a bear. And Lancelot still on his first stock here, just chilling. It's so actually so cool to see Lancelot and just play, play characters you never really see him play. Yeah, Not even like Squad exactly. Strike. These aren't mains. These aren't secondaries. These are these are barely pockets at this point. Yeah. These are characters I play sometimes. I don't really play them. But yeah. I, I, I bring it, I bring this out at like 3 a.m. I like I got a nasty fox, you know. This is this is my 3 a.m. I want to cook on Elite Smash. Yeah, no, not even you know Elite Smash. I mean? This is 3 a.m. I'm drunk with my mates. Ooh, and We're at a sesh. Oh, oh my, my goodness! God. Three stock from Lancelot's fox. That is that that, that is quite. I'm just letting know it's best of five. Yeah, best of best. Yeah, of it's five, best of five by the way. Cheers. So game one going to Lancelot there with fox Schmix tape, not really filing too much mileage from the moth now. So, you know, if you're Schmix tape right now, you're thinking, okay, it's best of five. I still have, if I lose one more, then I can still bring it back. But now, do, do I want to bring out a main now? Or do I want to save that for later? Or do I not even want to use it in this set? No, like, there's a bit of honor and pride, I think, to not going one of your mains. Yeah, I feel like with players as strong as these two guys, you're, you're probably going to want to save them for when you get to losers finals or grand finals. Yeah. But so. you gotta remember, like, it's a game of chicken. Yeah. Kind of like exactly. you just you just see see how deep into the pocket you can go yeah. before you how lose. How deep do these okay. pockets run? Oh, are we seeing are we seeing a me gun? Oh, let's go, Robbie! Oh my goodness! <laughs> mixtape going with the me gunner and uh, the Robbie me gunner. The Robbie me gunner. Is this Robbie AK47? Is that is, is that is that what this is? Yes, it is. We love Robbie. Is this the Robert? Oh my goodness. But yeah, Lancelot going with Palutena, you know, just sticking to some nice, clean, 
honest top tiers. But Schmix going with the gunner, pulling up with that peach hairdo. And he's just, well, he's going to be he's gonna be doing what Gunner does, you know, throwing out those projectiles, trying to keep him away. But Lancelot, he says, I'm not letting you get any of that. I'm going to be doing what Palutena does best. And just use, using that Nair, using those aerials, keeping him away and piling on that pressure. Schmick's tape managing to make it back, but still dash attack there, using those options so well, just placing them at the right time. This, this is one of Schmick's mains, now. by the way. Oh, then, really? Yeah. His, uh, I think his main characters are Yoshi, Yoshi yeah. Gunner, and Wolf, if I'm, okay. if I'm, I'm trying correct. Yoshi, I don't know if that's the last I've heard of, but it could have changed. Okay, so he's just, just starting to cook here, you know, starting to even the percent a little bit, looking for down smash, but not quite. Lancelot getting another bear. And like he's trying to the pressure on, you know, both, both players still on their first stock. I feel like whoever takes this first. Oh, and barely that explosive flame must have been the last hit there that hit Schmick's tape. Just barely taking it. But a kill is a kill. And oh, Lancelot trying to retreat to the ledge there. But Schmick's tape just packing in a dash attack and keeping this pressure on with the ledge using that. I think it's is that the down B from, mm. from Gunner. Yeah, so yeah, he's got the neutral B and the down B, those two explosives. And. You know, that, that at ledge could really spell trouble, but Lancelot still hanging on to his first stock, placing some good aerials, just keeping him away, but Schmixape equalizing there with a, ba with a back air. We actually, I actually played this exact matchup earlier. Really? On stream. My my, my Robbie against, uh, it was uh, Voffy's, ASAP Voffy's Palu. The oh, exact wow. same okay. matchup. My Robbie, me gonna. This same okay, moveset. Okay. This all the exact same moveset. Okay, exactly. so we're seeing some deja vu here on the stream right now. Yeah, but and in, in that set, the Palutena did win. Palutena did win. Will history repeat itself? I mean, it's looking like Lancelot is uh, doing a good job at just applying pressure here with Palutena. You know, we see him keeping Schmickstape at the ledge for the majority of this game, but, you know, Schmickstape trying to just find a way to get back to center stage, and he's the one that wants to keep the ledge trapping going, and a well-placed forward smash that'll do it bro i mean yeah. that move lasts a long time if you if you force that neutral get up or just read it then it's it's gonna take the stop it and is very much a call out move though like yeah it's, it's it's you know it's easily punishable once it's thrown out but it's reactable it's laggy but if you go for it just once that one chance yeah. could be all you need it's, it's that trump card of a move and it did pay off there but now lancelot of course we saw him equalize with another explosive flame and now these two players are on their last stock here. And Schmickstape starting to get a bit of a bit of percent lead here now. Nice reverse Nair. And he goes for the F smash again, but not quite killing there. Just barely not getting the full KO screen. And tries to go mix it up with a down smash this time. And he's looking for those kill options. But Lancelot still fighting on using that Palutena. But that 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 explosive still. Oh, and the well-placed back air, but it's not, still, it's not enough. the game lies continuously, and Lancelot still has another chance to make it back, but Schmixtape, he's, you know, he's just playing it real safe, trying to get a dash attack, but that, that is the unsafe option, and Lancelot was ready to punish that, and now he's got him off stage. This could be dire for Schmixtape. Gets another grab, Lancelot, trying to call out something with the bear, and the, is that up tilt? Up tilt, it's a very fast, tilt? strong move, Okay. It's like it's like bootleg bootleg snake up tilt. Okay. Like it's it's fast and strong. I mess with it. I mess it with kills. it. It kills. And you know what? It did the job. It did the job there for Schmick It did tape, do the job. Putting a game on the board for him. Yeah. And that's one one. Schmick tape, Lancelot one one. But we have now seen Schmick tape play one of his main characters. Yeah. Exactly. Like you said earlier, Yoshi, Wolf, Gunner. Gunner. He needed the Gunner to come out and get something going. But get Lancelot, something on the board. You know. Palutena didn't work out. It's all right. I don't even play this character. But true, um, true. now it's making you think. What, is, uh, what are we going to see from Lancelot? That's what I'm thinking. You know, Schmick's tape showing one of his uh, stronger characters. Is Lancelot going to reply to that with a stronger character of his own? You know, I, I don't think we're going to see a, maybe the Roy or Crom per se, but... I Warrior. Think oh, the... And the Swordy. The Warrior. Okay, Schmick's tape bringing out some me's right now. He's, like, he's got to go create a me. Okay, okay. We we've got to get we've got to get that uh, desired move set, of course, going. Kind of a bit awkward intermission between between games, but um, hopefully this doesn't ice out Lancelot a little too much. Sometimes that's how it goes. If you want to play me's, you know, sometimes you, you might feel bad. You know, you want to play me's and you're just like, oh, they don't have my 
my custom moves. Yeah. You don't want to be that guy, but you, hey, man, I'm trying to use the character that I want to Let's play. Let's go, Robbie. So. Oh, my God. He's so angry. He's got... What do you think What do you think has got Robbie so angry? Um, he actually um, said on Twitter, because he's got laser eye surgery now. Oh, he's, really? he's not got glasses anymore, but he's wearing glasses. That's why he's angry. I see. He spent thousands of pounds on laser eye surgery, and it hasn't worked. Apparently. Like, the me's not happy. Oh, wow. Well, it has see. worked in real life, but not in Smash Brothers. Well, yeah, I mean, we, 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 we saw in-game the gunner. May, maybe that anger will help Schmixtape take another game, mm -hmm. you know, with, 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 with the Robbie me. Um, but, yeah, he's got... I didn't, didn't quite see the custom moves he used there, but we will see them, of course, in the battle here going on game. I, three, I do yeah. reckon, after they see this sortie, no matter win or lose, we might see the brawler. That, that would be insane. That would be in, using all three me's in one set. That's literally what I, I did. I, That's literally what I did. I, I, I'd, I'd like to see it. But yeah, we've got me Swordfire on Schmix, and we've got Wario on Lancelot. Game three, let's get it. Now, I'm interested to see what, what, what if Lancelot can cook with, uh, with Wario here. Obviously, you know, he's played against Gluto, I'm sure, a couple hundred times maybe. But, you know, he, he, we, we see what Wario can do. The combos, yeah. and of course, the longer the, de the game goes on, the stinkier he gets. But mm -hmm. of course, Schmixtape, you know, he's got Angry Robbie ready to go. And he's, we see the Chak Ram come out, of course, good option. Works as a projectile, and then of course at ledge, you know, that can give you some options. And of course, we see the tornado as well. You know, this is probably what you're going to see when you see me sword fire. And that, that, you know, that tornado can be really good as well. And that up air, of course, very threatening of a move and a nice up smash. Not quite taking it, you know. War Wario, quite the heavy guy, able to, to live that one out. And oh, oh, he's getting that tech chase up tilt, double up air, looking like, looking, looking a little bit like Luto right now, but yeah. And then look at that, just trying to fish for that kill option at the ledge. But, you know, Schmixtape trying to back. And there, there we see the slow track ram coming out into the F smash. That'll do it. Mm -hmm. And here we go. He's not slowing down at all. Triple fair, keeping it going, trying to find, just keep the pressure going. And now Lancelot's behind once again, trying to fight back with Wario. But, of course, we know, and that down tilt, for, uh, down tilt dash attack almost taking it. Oh, and as we see the down beat is the power for us. So we've seen we've seen all the options now. And that Chakram, such a good uh, versatile move. You could use it for combos and also just a good projectile to throw out. And there, see, looking for it again, trying to call a jump with it. And that Tornado as well. And then a good raw dash attack coming out from Lancelot. Not letting the lead get too crazy, but 93, he is. Oh, and he's looking for the damage now. Trying to get something going with Wario, but not quite schmixtape well placed up air will keep the pressure on deck and yeah he's just going to be looking for that tornado and that chak ram you know the sort he's a sorty but he can really zone as well there we go and yep yeah, once you know once you get him in the air you don't want to be up in the air against me sword fight because that up air is so threatening as a kill option it is a strong move i mean sorty very weird kind of bad character but has some interesting gimmicks and like there's a big combo that uh, people sort of mains go for. It's the down throw up here, but we're far out of that kill range. But that's like the main combo yeah. where because the down throws a very fast throw, and it, mean, uh, it's, you basically you have to already be holding away if you want to live. Yeah, you like, can see that. It's, it's one of those uh, those those setups where it's like the di schmix could get you, and schmix tape coming through with that forward air. You know what? Lancelot managing to survive pretty far with that stock, but still. Mixtape is maintaining that lead with the sword fire right now. But of course, we know three minutes into the game, and there we go, F, F tilt taking it and even stocks. But is it really even? Because of course, we know three minutes into the game, Lancelot, he has that waft on deck. So all it will take right now is a well placed up tilt, a well placed up air, and, and he shot himself. Ooh. It's not enough. It wasn't quite enough. Didn't get the, the, the stronger hitbox of waft there. But, you know, managed to get a percent lead, but still. He wasn't Gluto last night at Regen. He was not, but he's, but he's still got a leader. And then Schmixtape using that bike as if he already didn't have enough projectiles. And now he's taking the lead again. This game going back and forth and an up smash out of shield, punishing that Wario Aerial. And Schmixtape really looking like Mr. Me right now. Yeah. I, I, I think the brawler might come out. Maybe, maybe, maybe he might save it for grounds if he's if he's confident. But 
I reckon we're going to see the me, the me trio. The me trio, and he's going up in the. T I mean, I don't know how how good each me is, but I would say maybe it Brawl goes brawler, yeah, yeah. sword fighter. I say um, sword fighter is the worst, then gunner, then brawler. Yeah, brawler, the, brawler the, definitely the strongest, like, especially when you have that thropper. Up thro yeah, on PS2, it's insane. Yeah, you get that on a platform. If you, you, like, if you grab someone like 60, they're dead. Say goodbye. Oh, we're seeing Sonic be. Samus. Okay. Degenerate matchup time. Sonic and Samus, yeah. Might have to tuck yourselves in for this one. <laughs> but you know, game four, you know, Schmick's tape only needs one more, and he's a. Uh, it's interesting. Be Winnerside Grands, yeah. Yeah, one more game to go into Winnerside Grands, and he's like, and if you he's, know what? If he's, I think if he's saving the Wolf, the Yoshi, and the Brawler for Winnerside yeah, Grands. That's, that's a pretty good thing to go into to Grands with. Mm -hmm. But Lancelot, obviously doesn't want to bring out Royal Chrome just yet. So he's like, you know what? I'm going to bring out a Samus. I'm going to zone you out. But it's going to be tough to uh, it's going to be tough to zone out Sonic the speedy boy. But that, you know, that that, that charge shot and and the down B pretty good at shutting down Sonic's options from Spin Dash. Hugo just trying to play it safe here. But Schmick's tape coming in hard. Trying to just get get an edge guard situation going here, but not quite. And Lancelot looking for a dash attack. And that charge shot on Shield F tilting him right to the face, and the, that dash attack didn't have the best DR on that one. But you know, a move like Samus dash attack, it, sometimes you'll just get hit by it and not be ready to DI it right away. And look at this mixtape, getting an F smash, but not quite enough. Samus got a bit of weight with that suit on, able to make it back with those bombs. And an F tilt, not quite. And using that down B and going through the spring there with screw attack. Yeah. I mean, like, screw projectiles are generally quite low priority. So the screw attack take it, uh, being the spring. Yeah, screw attack just going to eat through that hitbox. And Lancelot using Samus pretty well right now. Threatening yeah. that charge shot, keeping Sonic at bay right now. Here we go. Yeah, just throwing, throwing one out every now and then. I feel, I feel like that's such a good... Uh, move to use, you know, you want to charge up and get, you know, some stronger hits, but sometimes, you know, a small uh, charge shot is good against Sonic because you're just like, oh, you can't come in and spin dash right away because I've got my projectile out here. For sure, for sure. And look at that. Lancelot so good at stalling there with the down B, able to make it past all of Schmick's tape edge guarding attempts. But look at this, 163, and he manages to live that back air across PS2, and he's still coming back. And 176, Lancelot surviving big time with this Samus right now. And look, the damage just keeps on piling on. 95, 103, and now he's got Sonic off stage. And a big Nair coming out from the Lancelot. Samus is kind of cooking right now. Yeah. And it's kind of tough. Sonic, you know, he has the F smash, he has the back air, but it's kind of, Lancelot is just doing such a good job of avoiding those lethal blows right now. And an up B, the damage keeps coming. He's, he's really trying to run away with this game four. Mm. Lancelot did go Dark Samus earlier in bracket. Okay, so, so so we know he can he can mess with this character. I mean, as yeah. we know, echoes are allowed in this Smashdown bracket. So yeah, you know, for characters like Peach, Daisy, D Samus, Dark Samus, you know, if those are characters hit, dark, you play, hit. those ones are basically the same. Exactly. So just go right ahead, and Lancelot on, it, on two stocks left and Schmick's tape. Sitting at 1-1-1 one, one, one on his last one now, and you know Lancelot can pretty much just you know when Sonic when Sonic is behind, he can't really take his time trying to because you know you, you know you see Sonic's timeout all the time. But here, Lancelot more than happy to just chill and sit back with charge shot. So it's really up to Schmick's tape to put on some pressure and get the damage going. For sure. Here we go and up around the platform, trying to get some juggling attempts, but not quite. Playing a bit of back and forth neutral here. Lancelot gets a good grab. I think the next able. grab will kill from an up throw. Sonic is a fairly light character. Yeah, at, one, at 139. Lancelot's getting a little bit of rage. It. it might need a little more damage. No, up oh, is going to do it. Yep. Yeah, that's it. going to do it. The up throw takes it for Lancelot, showcasing some nice Samus there. And now we've got ourselves a game five. Game and five. I find this really interesting for Smashdown because that means both of these players, I mean, we already saw the. The the me gunner yep. come out from Schmick's tape. Well, the sword fire, sorry. Um, so sword now it's, it's like sword fire and the gunner. They, yeah, you yeah. use both, right? So now, I think, yeah. The, thing is, as the set goes on, both players having to use more and more characters. So the options are starting to run lower and lower. If you oh, is it going? Is it brawler time? 
I think it might be Brawler time. He was like, no, I don't want to fight Brawler on that stage. Oh, okay, okay, he's going. However, like, I reckon it's Brawler. They might go actual mains. They're going mains. Oh, Do you know why? Because they worked okay. so hard to make this game five. Oh, if they lose okay. here, I love it. I love it. If they lose here, it's it, it's like this oh damn, it. I've wasted all these game, characters. Game five winners finals. You know what? Screw it. Let's go mains and let's show let's let, let's show how how strong we are in this game. Lancelot yeah. with the Chrom, Schmix with the Yoshi. Let, let let's show them why we were cooking at Regen this weekend. And Hugo going up with that upbeat out of shield. Such a good option from Chrom because you really, you know, if you're able to get that punish, you get a good meaty 26%. But Schmix take, you know, we know Yoshi it really is a combo fiend of himself. Here we go. And everyone at MB really enjoying these two players showcasing their mains right now. And a good DI on that ether again. Oh, and he's getting this. Oh, and, and, oh, and uh, armors, manages double to jump armor, armor through the jair. The Barely surviving there, but these down tilts from Lancelot really setting up. He's really placing them so well and manages to get an F tilt from that. Those down tilts just setting up the tech chases. And for, you know, for a character like you. Oh, oh and, damn! And Schmix tape said, you know what? Let's even it back up right now with that forward air spiking him down to the ground. But Lancelot is like, you know what? I'm going to answer that myself. Both of these characters really playing their mains right now, going back and forth. It's interesting. After not playing your main the whole evening, they yeah, come so out that, and that, they're, they're both going full throttle. Yeah, they haven't played their mains pretty much all of today, and they're just turning it up to 11 right now, just trying to trying to get this game five. And they're going back and forth here. Lancelot finding those swings, trying to look for a jair, but not quite. Manages to catch that landing. You know, Yoshi's going to be using those aggressive options, but Lancelot is just ready with that sword to punish any option that Yoshi has. Tries to get an F smash there, but wasn't quite about it. And Oh, almost, almost getting that jab there. Schmix tape has to be careful here because one jab will spell the end. But uh, Di is well enough to survive. I reckon. I reckon um, Schmix tape can't armor through much anymore with that double jump. Yeah, exactly. that that safety, that red card, is not there. That jet button is not there anymore. Yeah, and that F tilt almost taking it. The Di wasn't the best, but he managed to survive. And a big bear is going to take it across the stage. Not the best Di. And now Lancelot has a whole stock to work with. And I'm interested to see, are we going to... Oh, oh, and a well-placed Nair is, you know, that Chrome recovery, yeah. very susceptible. And just like that, I'm loving it that we're seeing really just a completely even game from these two right now. As soon as, as, soon as two takes the first stock, Schmix takes, yeah. takes the one back. The it's last crazy. stock for both of these players' mains in this bash down bracket. Let's see Lancelot hitting with those up airs. Schmix take coming down with a downbeat and the dancing blade. Fires right back. A nice up air, back air. Oh, tries to get that F smash, but it's mixtape just managing to tech at the right time. And he's, oh. Tries to get the roll read. He wanted to Not look good. Not quite. Bro. And Lancelot trying to just find that decisive blow. And then Schmixtape landing a big up smash. But look at this, basically even percents right now. Down tilt into back air. Schmixtape needs oh to, no! to make it oh back. Oh no! Oh no! And this is going to be huge. Can he can he make it back? Oh, and he, Lancelot just oh no! manages to make it back. This is getting really tense right now. Oh, and no, nothing off of the jab. And Schmixtape just managing to make it back. And the good, good air dodge to the ledge. Doesn't want to risk the up B. And that F smash, not quite doing it. Goes safe for a grab there. Almost gets the back air and drop down back air. Is that enough? It's not enough. enough. Schmix tape is still able to make it back with Max Rage right now. Who is going to land this deciding blow and go to grand finals? A back throw will do it. Air dodging to the ledge, the wise Oh move. my, oh my. And an F tilt. F tilt takes the That's game five. do it. Oh my goodness. What a game five from Lancelot and Schmix tape. There was Lancelot using that crumb. And you know what? I don't, I don't blame Lancelot for going crumb because he's got Roy in the back still. He does. But Schmix tape, no more, no more Yoshi for Schmix tape. So next up, we're going to get Frisky Sisson and Tarek. Oh, but I'm going to let someone else have this come slot. Okay, mate. Catch Good you later, stuff, bro. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. yeah, guys, this was my card at the end. Yes, got ninth. Sir. Yes, sir. Oh, you got ninth? Yeah. Nice one, bro. Anyway, here comes the Ultra Zone himself. Is that is that the is that the ultra zone? Was good, man. Was good. Well, How's it going, my man? That was a crazy last 
lost that the, game lost five. Game you know five. what? I love seeing it. Game five, we're bringing out the mains, just going for it there. And and like, now, like obviously, it's uh, what's the name of the what's the name of the the game mode? Smashdown. That's it. Yeah. Even though it's Smashdown, they both were. That means you know what I mean, like, it's that it's that gamble at the end. Like, whose main is yeah, gonna take it? I mean, exactly. I guarantee, a guarantee top two. The, the last thing you want to do is bring out your main and lose. And then lose, yeah, then yeah like, exactly. Damn. Yeah. That is tough. So you but don't now, really have that, that security to fall back on. Exactly. But, um, you know, Lancelot, no, using the Chrome, he still has that Roy <laughs> left in the back. So he could definitely still use that. And then now we're seeing we're seeing the me screen once again. Oh, I've been no seeing this way, screen bro. a few times tonight. <laughs> I guess, yeah. I'm seeing, look at what, what, what? those me's, bro. <laughs> whoever, whoever set up this is, they must really enjoy me's. But, um, they could have all been made today, low key. Could have all been made today, who knows? I mean, yeah, a smash down like this, Mies are definitely going to be used more. <laughs> Seven or eight Mies. <laughs> good heavens, good heavens. But yeah, now, of course. One, three, yeah. three, two. That's. Uh, Go have all the Robbie Mies. Go have all the, the Robbie, Robbie Mies. Mies are, the, Ro the Robbie Me Ghana one is elite. Absolutely elite. Non canon Robbie. Love that one. The filler, the filler the Robbie episode one with the Robbie. Case, and he goes, do, 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 do. Oh, bro. Do we have smashes? But yeah. Shoot that man down. Frisky and Tarek pulling up. I think it was Frisky that wanted the, the me, and I'm interested to see who's yeah, Tarek yeah, gonna yeah. use, because he hasn't used Kazuya or Greninja yet. We've oh, seen him shit, use. That's true. We've seen him use a few. He, used to, he used to play PT a little bit, like a few years ago, so okay. maybe you might see it. If he hasn't used it already as well, but we'll see, man. We'll see, honestly. All right, let's see. And we see Tarek going with oh, the, the Aegis. Aegis. Okay. <laughs> and we see Frisky going with the Brawler too. One, three, three, two. I want to say that's um, shot put, uh, suplex. Uh, is it shot put? Shot put's I, one, I think. I is think so. One? I, I can't tell, honestly. All I know is he's got a uh, thrust upper. Yeah. <laughs> Go, go so he's, he's to I feel like the top. that's like half the reason to use me yeah, brawler no, exactly. pretty much. So, but of course, you know, we were seeing an Aegis earlier. I think um, I think it was like, was it Lancelot that played it? Or so, someone was using Aegis earlier. And I feel like in the hands of a top player, Aegis is just one of those characters yeah, where yeah, it's like, yeah. you can just cook with them. Just fundamental your way to victory. Exactly. You know Especially with character like Mithra, has those quick options, but the me is here and he's ready to cook. And I, and I love that I it's know. like the stock me, no <laughs> customization at all. It's just guess, like, uh, I don't have guess time. Is it? Guess C. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is all the, I, I remember this guy from 2008 Wii Bowling and he's here in Smash Brothers right now against Mithra from Xenoblade. This is a great game. But of course, yeah. I, we're like you. I personally fought with Guest F, bro. That's <laughs> Guest bro. F, that's guest my guy. F. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, we see the shot put yeah, come there out. Yeah, okay, so it was shot put. It was either that or like the rapid uh, punch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because that, that one kills. That one yeah. kills. That and good. you know, I think the shot put could be definitely interesting because you know, Aegis definitely susceptible to edge guards here. And that shot put is a meaty thing to just throw off stage and tell them to just get out. But look at this, both of these players just firing back. And you know, Meat Brawler has quick options as well with those aerials, so. I was gonna say, this is definitely looking like a Meat Brawler stage, you know what I mean? Like like we said yeah, earlier, I mean, with the one 3 3 2 definitely looking to kill him off the top, especially with those platforms helping. Yeah, but then extensions. Tarek drawing first blood with that Pyra up air. You know, th those platforms definitely gonna be useful for him as well. And look at that, getting some, trying to get as much extra credit here with Aegis, you know, doesn't really wanna, you know, let Frisky <laughs> equalize too quick. Tries to get down smash. But Tarek is just, you know, coming in speedy with Mipha right now. I don't know, like, you, you truly see some players, some people's fundamentals truly shine when they play a character that's not their main bro. Yeah, they, exactly. They down smash, that's spot the dodge, down smash. That's the goat, man. I mean, Loser that is, semis for we are playing spot dodge the game. So <laughs> it is something that's going to happen. But Tarek, you know, just really <laughs> hanging just on to holding the stock. Lead, yeah, not, not really up. letting Brissy get anything, but a nice up smash coming out. And, uh, you know, only, only 82 on the board. You know, we see that, you know, on this stage, like you said earlier, with that thropper, yeah, the yeah. brawler can really get some, some stock stolen. Just needs to get something started without, like, the, the obnoxious frame data and uh, space that Mithra control is getting in his way. Yeah, definitely. And a nice... Okay, here we go. Smash, and he's trying to get that. But that's the thing about this matchup. You know, you use Mithra, and it's kind of hard to hit that. And oh, that dash attack. <laughs> and that's the thing. You know, getting that kill with Pyra, when you need it, is so important because, you know, as Pyra, your options aren't as fast. Yeah, yeah. But then, and Pyra, definitely a little bit easier to combo than Mithra as well. Someone who's so fast. Yeah, exactly. You know, you don't have those quick aerials. You don't have the foresight either. Yeah, yeah. So, 
The aerial drift definitely working in Mithra's favor as well. Yeah, exactly. Has Harry just here. doing Oh, ten. oh, okay. Oh, tried to cook him something there. Oh, that's it. Oh, oh, and a nice catching that tech. He said, jab and hold this. <laughs> and, but now Tarot, you know, not letting it get to him, just going through. And now he's got Pyro on deck, trying to, you know, probably looking for that down air really soon. Yeah, just shocking from above. But Frisky is just trying to hold on, try and get this game one. Can he get something start with dead? Brawler? And nah. not quite, lands at an awkward angle. But he's like he's taking his time as like he knows what the Brawler is capable of. Oh, and a forward air at the ledge, not quite going to take it. He's going to be looking for an edge. Oh, <laughs> and he proffers the wrong way. Wasn't able to make it back. That was, uh, that was unfortunate. That was kind of unfortunate, yeah. Guess A wasn't able to pull through. I suppose yeah, so. Guess yeah. I was gonna say like he's trying to find uh, as soon as Pyro comes out. Obviously, it's, it's good and bad because he uh, Frisky knows he's at death percent. Yeah, exactly. But so at the same the, time, the he can maybe find that time to because of the slow frame data that she's got. Can maybe find that time yeah. to, to. It's really just a matter of like trying to pierce yeah. in at the right exactly, time. Exactly. But Tarek, you know, playing some pretty pretty good textbook he just there. You know, just using the character how it's meant to be used. And now we're gonna be seeing. He game. locked it down, bro. He had lead and he just held it. Yeah, the whole game. Exactly. You know, the whole game, the like he's, yeah, he's just not really letting him equalize, getting as much damage with Mifra. And every time he brings out Pyra, he gets the kill and then just goes right back to Mifra and not anything. Oh, and oh, I, I heard something earlier about Tarek's DK. <laughs> Apparently, he was using him at, in friendlies at regen or in a squad strike, I think. Okay. And uh, yeah, no, apparently the Tarek DK is so kind of okay, brazen. But um, but we see uh, Frisky. This is so the X main of Frisky's brother okay. definitely knows how to use uh, his inkling. So inkling. And you former know, inkling. main definitely coming out. Definitely got more than enough experience. We'll Ooh, see if it's enough for the Tarek yeah, DK. He's got DK inked up right now. And you know, D DK is going to be big time combo food for inkling. But obviously, he can that is a survive. green gorilla, bro. That is a Look green gorilla, man. And he, he is inked up, but still hanging on. Is going to be looking, you know, and it really comes down to finding the kill option because the damage that damage is the easy part of it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just, just finding that kill, especially on a heavyweight as well. Yeah, big DK, he's going to be hanging on. Rage Demon just trying to look and look back air. You know, sometimes he's, you could just use that Ooh. one move and a big that actually forward air. His roll as well. Yeah, that was insane. The, the final bit out okay, and that's there. Dead, that's dead, that's yeah, dead. <laughs> punishes that up B accordingly with the roller into smash attack, but um. Tarek, you know, oh, 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 no. Oh Good my time. god, bro. Frisky, one downer. Crazy no, I was, downer. We were just saying how he would be struggling to kill a big big guy like DK, but. <laughs> and it's a tech again. Those, but okay, not and that up Tarek taking the first stock there, but he's got, he's got, he's got that dong online. We might see is a that really doable, coming. man? This is a combat character if we see that, man. Just, uh, most, just, most he just most heavyweights in the game, right? This one is top, oh, top five heaviest. Oh, and here comes the roller again, but doesn't doesn't get anything this time. But here comes okay, damage. Up here. And 107 already. Let's see, Alfred up here could potentially Ooh, do it with all that ink. Oh, okay, he's a bit too greedy with that roller, I think. Oh, and Tarek just looking to get out. Oh. Oh, tries to get that side B, but not quite. And a forward air coming out, not quite killing. And remember, this is losers as well, and it's a best of three. So if Tarek, oh, and, and yeah, a D. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say so tight, but no, DK <laughs> not pulling, not pulling through, and you know we, we definitely see that Frisky. You know he, he knows a bit of inkling. Yeah, he yeah. knows a bit of inkling. Definitely a former main of his. Uh, just wanted to whip out. Just, do you know what I mean? Like he's one game away from just being a limp from the bracket, so he's got to pull something out of his. Uh, we, we need to be something good, and now both like players fits. one game away from being knocked out. So now, now you're gonna so think who will be the one to pull out their main first? Do you know what I mean? Or will they both That's do the it? Thing. Is, is it do? We, like, like me and me and Ewan were saying earlier, you know, the smash down it has like its own meta. Almost. Yeah, it does. It does. It, like, does. it does. It does. Do I? Do I? When do I bring out the main? Yeah. Do I? Do yeah, I save yeah. it? Or in a, in a situation like this, where it's like, if I lose this game, I'm out. Do I use it now, or do I bet that I can win with something else and bring it out later? But so, I think in this case, also Tarek has a bit more comfortability because he lost that game, so Frisky got to pick his character first. You know yeah. What I'm saying? So he's exactly. got to pick his first, and so Tarek could just counter pick accordingly. But we'll see what happens. Okay, and now we're seeing. And we are seeing. Yep, we're the seeing just some coming out. That right is now. 100% is main against the Falco. For not Falco, sorry. Okay, he went over Falco, but no. Then <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, we got two fundamental tables, bro. Two swift sword women here right now. <laughs> we're gonna see who is the strongest.
But yeah, like you said, Frisky, uh, the Aegis main, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah so we're going to see, you know, very comfortable on this character. Is Tarek going to regret not going one of his mains here? We will see, but you know. Gambling it all on this game, bro. Gambling on Lucina. not getting any of that bag. But, you know, Lucina, I always like Woo! to say fundamentals, the character. And as a top player, you got to have those fundamentals. Yeah, so we're going to see if it's enough for Tarek here. And Tarek, you know, we're, we're a percent lead right now. So we're going to see if he can deal with this Aegis. Yeah, I think it's more than just, like, fundamentals, like he said. Like, he understands that like, Lucina's a character that loves to control that space, especially around the edge, just yeah, like that. Exactly. And a textbook, ledge nice ledge from getting it done. And in the lead now with this Lucina. Crazy, bro. You would not expect it from this, bro. Yeah, He's someone this. else's main with a you pocket. Know, Tarek playing for the long run. He, he know he has Greninja. He know he has Kazuya. So he's like, you know what? I know my Lucina kind of nice too. Let me get it going. And then Frisky trying to find something there on the platform yeah, to cook. Yeah. Tries to go for a footstool set. He's building up that damage and just keeping yeah. Tarek on that ledge for as long as possible. That side be definitely ill-advised, though. Yeah, you know, you want to throw it out. It's a good option because it lasts so long and does a lot of damage. But you are literally a sitting Ooh. duck. While that, oh, and then not quite. Oh, and that. Oh, I almost. Oh, oh no, the side D S D in there. Like he definitely would have made it back bit, as well. A little bit of a mistake there from Tarek, but he's still got a decent lead, bit of percent. But you know, Mithra, he, he definitely want to just build up, like, yeah. quite literally in a flash. Like you don't want to, you don't want to make a mistake like that against a top tier like this. Uh, you can see, like I was saying, bro. Tarek, he just wants to hold that space. He knows what a character like. Uh, Oh, uh, oh, 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 and it just oh, do not want to get games good. Up he's yeah, at the right yeah, time. Yeah. He knows that his jump was gone, so he's like, yeah, I need to just make sure I get back ASAP. And, you know, he's going to be looking for this kill now. 113, a good back air or something could, could spell the end for this second stock. But Frisky hanging on right now, just trying to hold on to this second stock as long as he can. Oh, that roll maybe a bit too soon. Oh, and there yeah, we go. The good jump. drop very zone nice there. That'll do it. And, you know, just like that's the thing, you know, very edge guardable he just is. And, you know, Lucina can really just get down there, you Absolutely. know, go deep with an aerial and then just keep the damage going here and now one more last it's almost lock, last stock here for frisky it, I, maybe it could, keep it. you might maybe we might be seeing a few like panic options for frisky because i don't know yeah and there like we go a okay much, but the down air to up air yeah very nice that will get it done stuff. and now both characters on well but both players potentially on their last stock here and here we go he's got he's got he just off stage here now <laughs> a little bit of a panic up b Oh, this is Good looking up. tense. This is looking tense for Frisky. He doesn't want Tarek to get him off stage because we saw those edge guard situations. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. really where this matchup is going to come through. But look at here, he's getting some damage here. And he's looking looking for something. Maybe it's an well, early kill with Pyro okay. he needs. Not coming to up smash. That damage is not going to do out 15, not just yet. And there's an aerial coming out here now. We're going to see another. Frisky manages to make it back. Actually, He's missing the ledge the trap is Tarek. This is where Hold it gets on. scary for Tarek because Mithra, and Pyro with all this rage, Ooh. gets an up tilt. Oh, oh, he tries. I don't know if he's going to back air or do like a tomahawk grab there, but this is looking scary. And Tarek, Tarek under a bit of pressure here because look at this Pyro at 140. Who would not be shaking themselves? Like. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, here we go. Taken and at 154 well. on, max range, yeah. he needs to find a way to just not close do this it just out. Yet. And he's going off stage. And he gets oh, an up beat. Is that going to do it? Yeah, oh, yeah, that yeah. clutch. That Dolphin crazy. slash sending him the it's other crazy. way. That, I was going to say, it sent him towards oh the blast. So if it so... didn't, he would have come back to ledge and would have been like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I have to deal with this again. But... <laughs> Wow, good stuff crazy. from the Tarek Lucina, Actually man. Actually his main as well. That's yeah, crazy. just being like, you know what? I don't need my Gren. I don't need my cars. <laughs> I got the loose. And now we still got, like you said, the Gren and the Cassie in the back yeah, pocket for exactly. these future sets. That we're going to be seeing. Hopefully yeah, he can so push us up I, further than just top three. Maybe even yeah, run exactly. himself that so first place finish. That's, oh, this is going to be interesting, man. Because we've got Lancelot chilling in Grands, waiting. Still has used Chrome, but he's still got Roy. And whoever else, maybe. But um, and then we've got Schmixtape, and we've got Tarek, and then obviously we saw Schmixtape as he used as Yoshi. Yoshi. Did he Tarek. go? Did he go me Gunner earlier today as well? Yeah, he he used um he's used Gunner and Swordfire. Yeah, so he's already he's already running out of characters. But I don't very think fast. he's um uh, he plays Wolf as well, right? Did he? I think he used Wolf earlier. I I'm, I'm not sure if that he can win his semis. But, um, I think I'm pretty sure he did. 
But we'll find out anyways. I'm going to ask them to show their cards just before this. <laughs> That's a good point, actually. That's a good point. So, so, okay, so he's got. So has he used Wolf? Yeah, yeah he's, he's used, used Wolf. Yeah, yeah. So he's a bit dude. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay. All oh, right. Okay. Cool. He's a bit dude. I'm not and gonna lie. Let's see Tarek's card now. All right, Tarek. All right. So all right. what do we have from him? We've still got Greninja. So we've we're... still got Kazuya. We've. St I mean, we've got. We've got other top tiers as well. Oh, who knows what Tarek has Honestly, in the back? That Lucina. Bro, yeah, but I mean, it? I saw him cooking his bile. Of, I saw him. His bile. His bile was cooking someone else in friendly. That thing was ridiculous. But now, Tarek. Tarek, bro. He's got all the cards in his hand right now, bro. Yes, exactly. But and like, you got you got to think as Tarek. So we know Schmick's tape, He's used as Yoshi. He's used as Wolf. He's used as Mies. Tarek still has his Gren, and he still has his Kazuya. So is it a case of do I use them now or do I wait and use it against Lance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that true. is because where Lance got two sets to play with, even if he loses exactly, that first one. Exactly, dude. And that's where the Smashdown meta really comes into it. And oh, we see both of them, both of them not showing their hands just yet. Both of them going. Okay. The character that neither of the main, obviously. Mewtwo and Chrom. We are about to see Mewtwo die at 10%. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> Dude, if I, knows, I see I like mean, if I see like a Chrom F smash two frame is teleport or something, oh, yeah, it's over. It's but over you know already. what? Mewtwo, I mean <laughs> He's already doing back through. <laughs> yeah, Mewtwo's like, I don't I don't want damage. I want you off stage and I want you dead. But hey man, Tarek, I mean we we, we saw what Chrom oh, can do with Lancelot. And you know, Tarek's being like, you know what, I'm gonna see if I can echo that a little bit with my own Chrom. Mm. And then Schmixtape. You'd be a little bit of a flashback, see if I could uh, Made this doom a reality. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's quite that's, that's quite real, you know. It's <laughs> just just got sent to losers by a crowd. Because crumb, of the crowd, and I just like, how, about, how about we do that shit again? <laughs> and there it is, and that Jer killing at 98% off the hit, and that. What about saying he died? That at 80? Oh my days. Yeah, that is that is tough. And look at this. And I, you know what? I, I you know I want to see. Don't do that again. Bro. Don't you do that again. I, 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 I want to see Tarek do a crumb side. <laughs> that's why I want to see. I'd love to see it. He Death, doesn't eh? Eh? Oh, oh yeah, dude, he could have, <laughs> should have done it. He should have done it. <laughs> oh, 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 that was that smash. Surely. Oh. Okay, but you know, Schmickstake still fighting back. He does. He doesn't want to let this get too out of hand. But you know, Chrom, such a dangerous character with that sword, bro. And Mewtwo, you know, he's a big, he's a big target, and he's a light. He's target. like one of the worst archetypes of characters. Oh, and that so air, big, catching that so air dodge. Like, yeah, catching that air dodge. I love doing that with Chrom. Uh, <laughs> it's so, it's so cold. It's just cold, man. Because you can cold. hit them with the jab, but you know what, like, but like he puts he puts so much gusto yeah. into that F smash. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and the teleport. Okay, he's dead. Ah! <laughs> Tarek was like, "I'm gonna get one up B." <laughs> and you know what? He died second, so it was a three star. <laughs> so he actually didn't die. Yeah, it he was actually crazy. didn't even die. Very okay. nice himself coming out from Tarek. And yeah, like we said, like we said, bro, he, he hasn't even used any of his mains. But like, yeah, I mean, Tarek looking he doesn't I mean, just have all the, the cards in his hand. The dealer is whispering to him right now. He's saying, Yeah, that's the thing. Tarek, you know, to pretty comfortable right now to so save that Gren and cars for, for Grands. So, Schmix, you know, if, you, if you're Schmix tape right now, you've got to be thinking, like, what, what do I bring out? What do I bring out yeah, in this situation? Yeah, I've we'll used see. all my. Because, like, like my all it takes games. is one game, and Tarek's immediately going to, like. Yeah, uh, and, and, this, and it continuously. It continuously gets something. worse yeah, for Schmick's yeah, tape yeah. as well, because you've just used another character you thought could work, and then you lose. You're like, ah, oh, back to the drawing board. What do I hit him with now? <laughs> it gets serious, I hope it doesn't dude. go that far. I mean, Schmick's tape doesn't have any of his mains left. So, like, realistically, it's really just a matter that of shit, like, that's not gonna happen. Like, what yeah. do I go for? Do I go for I that? Go ahead. It is Smash Ultimate. We have it got is. a lot of um, a lot of characters in this game, and you know, even if it's not a character you're super comfortable with, maybe it's a case of okay, I've seen a top player use this character. Maybe I can emulate with it. You know, may, may, do, do I pull out a Meister game and okay, never mind. He plays Kirby. <laughs> Go! Oh, That's the what PT. I was talking about, bro. The PT. He used to play that character, okay. bro. That and Grant, like, together. Oh, you know what's going to be interesting here? Kirby's copy. He has three oh, special moves. Oh, he has three potential copies. Get. Holy he shit, that's so, so I true. Guess we're gonna You're see. so right, bro. But Which um, one do you think? You're, uh, uh, I mean, he won't do much of a bullet seed. I think the flamethrower from Charles Flame Flamethrower could, could be, be good. Useful. If he gets a Hydro Pump Gimp, I'm leaving. <laughs> um, but here we go. Game two. Tarek on PT. Schmick's tape on Kirby. Let's see what he can do, man. Two pink characters back to back, Mewtwo and Kirby. But Tarek's like, you know what? 
I got all the badges in my hand. Now. Oh, the IDJ down there. Okay. There we go. I mean, Kirby, he has he has those combos, and he does. And uh, it's something that, uh, not just the combo, something like a lot of people forget about Kirby, the, the ridiculous skill power. That F smash is too the strong. The F smash, the, the back, back air. air. It is it's so and, and good. They're not, and they're not <laughs> slow either. Yeah, they're not <laughs> slow either. This little pink demon really gets away with some stuff, but the back out of sure. You know, now it's time to go Ivysaur once you see you hit in those red percent. Trying to live on a bit longer, trying yeah, to get something. Tarek is struggling to like keep yeah, this little, I mean, this little Oh, and a nice out. sneaky vine whip going through. I mean, obviously you play a lot of PT, so you have a yeah, lot of insight yeah, yeah. to it's what definitely, you want to do here. I mean, like Kirby's a character that excels at CQC. Yeah, like, it, exactly. uh, arguably better than like the Shoto, it's like we're talking... Yeah, because Kirby just like, has low, low slow options, options and, and it's, like, low profiling he's to, like the aerials and stuff. Yeah, exactly. He's hard to hit and he has a lot of hits that he down can just was throw so out. As and well. that, yeah, that down tilt. And he's lo First looking for that bear too. and oh, just there, gonna do it? waiting. And that up, that up throw is going to do it, man. That Enough, extension, especially on that platform. Even on the sick heaviest in the game. Yeah, Very nicely done. Schmixtape showing up with the Kirby here right now. And Tarek's trying to trying to find, you know, Ivysaur obviously Got the moat. Trying to get oh, and a nice forward air. Okay, not, not the, the jump, best DI, but done. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know he managed Definitely to held it for that. And then now, back to an even game here. Let's see what's going on. And Schmixtape is doing doing a good job at keeping Tarek at the ledge here with Kirby's option. You know that forward air, really good at stuffing out, you know, ledge options. But um, Tarek it's so good that forward here. air as well. Multi hit. Yeah. You can just like, you can like is. low key space that shit. Oh, oh he's going low. Oh, you got the hypercar spike. That could have been something. Yeah, trying to look for a little gimp there on Ivysaur's tether, but okay. Tarek managing to make it oh. back. And here we go. Damage coming out. Ooh, good, oh, good air okay. on that down beat because that could have been some big damage. But got basically an even game here now. Ooh. And that Nair out of shield. Good option to get Kirby off you. And then the forward air just coming through. And oh, a soft F smash. The sour spot. The sour spot spending, it. sending that far already speaks volumes. That's how ridiculous yeah, this, yeah. this that, guy That would have killed is. at like 65. It's crazy. But that back air putting him in a bad spot. And now Schmick's oh, taking that ledger. Oh, the tether cancel. This is a problem. To get, okay, no, yeah, okay, he manages up. to get back with Zard. Trying to just survive a bit longer here with the big dragon. But a well placed forward air is going to get the Kirby off stage. And what's the option? Flame thrower. Yeah, he's going to try and force him to go low. Stall him out. And then now what's going to look? F tilt maybe. Goes Ooh, for I a thought you had that for a grab. Surely he would have up thrown again. Yeah, but grab is definitely an option right now for both characters, even. Especially, you know, both characters having those, those you know, seismic up throws, which can. Oh, Woo! big flare blitz coming out from Tarek. He's like, you know what? I'm at this high percent, anyways. What's a couple more? <laughs> What's a couple more? He's got a lot of for anyways on that platform. And now, this is where it gets scary. Oh, very because nice we've got tech. Max Rage Charizard against a light boy like Kirby. What's it going to be? Gets a down tilt into a flamethrower, putting some pressure on that down shield. As well. That's so funny. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a forgotten move. But, um,. F tilt coming out and almost 200% going for flare blitz. You know we are at 200%. Speaking of, the up tilt is still not oh, going to do it. This. Please press any other move. A kill. If Please he lands a make. flare blitz, Kirby will just die. Oh, oh. my day. <laughs> Who needs flare blitz when you've got that bear? Oh my. Like, what percent did he die at? Was that like 50? 51. He died at 51. I mean, you know what? I'm not even He surprised. did call out his double jump. I don't know why. I'm actually he not surprised. He was like. He would have died at 30. <laughs> <laughs> he would have died at 30, bro. Like, I just, like, like <laughs> he like hit him with every move that wasn't a kill move. And every move that, that, that wasn't that, a kill move. That Charizard bear is just like the way that move like arcs. Just when you think you could just get over it, does, it, it, it does this, his, it does it it's suspiciously like, high. Like it really shouldn't. And Tarek, really you know, showing showing that he's got some PT in the back pocket too. Well, he's still got it, man. And now After so many this years, is continuously getting tougher and tougher it's for Schmitz yeah, yeah, I've tried my Mewtwo, didn't work. I tried my Kirby. It was all right, but it still didn't work. And Tarek, you know, he's still got some fellas in the back. And are we seeing, seeing maybe? We're going to see the Cloud and the Zelda. Zelda. Cloud? Okay. It's looking like Cloud Zelda for game three. And Schmixtape, he's like, you know what? I'm just going to play this solid top tier. I'm just going to try and go <laughs> fundamental. And Tarek, he's like, you know what? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I believe he doesn't get gimped by uh, the Nairus. Yeah, I mean, dude, What's the, the name of the neutral mean? Nairus uh, Love. No, yeah, here we got Oh, is that the up B? That's the neutral B. No, okay, so it's the neutral B. Okay, so I was, yeah. right, I was right, I was right. But yeah, I mean, Zelda can, you know, obviously has a, has a good recovery, can go off stage against Cloud. Oh. And look at that, lightning kicks already, forcing him to burn limit. Oh, you should have air dodged. Save your limit. Okay, he's already looking a bit peak. He's not really conserving limit yeah. as much yeah. as he should Oh, and be. not the best place back there. But 
And then look, some parries coming out from Tarek, you know, but an even game so far in terms of percent. And then Schmickstay waiting for that air dodge, good in there. And Tarek, you know, just getting back just to Just overshooting a bit too much with that pivot grab. Yeah. Would have got something as well, but maybe, maybe, uh, Loki just use more cross slash, man. That move is so good. Yeah, bro. It's in the right hand. <laughs> he's going for grab. <laughs> he's going for grab. Cloud does not get anything. And like, just, grab, he, he, like, he's, he's just regularly, like, his up. grab is like, uh, that a frame there on it, like, regular and, um, yeah, that dude, grab is just slower than normal. I feel like, you know, Cloud, if he went to a supermarket and he saw something on the shelf, he just couldn't <laughs> grab that shit, bro. <laughs> He'd just be like, damn. Uh, not not close enough, but still, both players still on their first stock over a minute in, and you know Tarek oh, nice trying to apply recovery, some edge but guarding here, the upbeat. and you know Schmix tape, you know going low enough for that climb hazard to still make yeah, it back yeah. to ledge safely, but the you know both characters have a bit oh, of rage he's here. The grab is cloud. The grab is yeah no, it's not looking good. It hasn't oh, worked at all, almost. Man. And that down tilt so good at just getting cloud. Yeah, he's been timing those really ledge. well. Oh, and almost gets it with the soft up air, but not quite. And oh. oh my God, he really just said, oh my one more. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, just going that, but- I was like Schmitz crazy tape, with punish. Schmitz tape coming through and equalizing it right up. And you know what, what I really love about some of these games that we're seeing, especially between the top players mm. in the smash down bracket, it's really going like back and forth. Like yeah, no one's really yeah, getting like yeah, a yeah, huge, yeah, yeah, huge yeah, lead. Yeah. Um, but Schmixtape, you know, trying to get something on the board right now because this really is tournament game for him. And can he make it happen with Cloud? Ooh, okay. 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 I like he's that he's, using, I like that he's using. Yeah, I like that he's using the, the increased yeah. speed of the limiter. Don't, don't, don't worry about the grabs. Just, just move around. Grab, use the sword. Oh and, my oh, no. he doesn't have no, a jump. No jump. No jump. And goes for the nair. Yeah, oh, but he's yeah, got limit. It. Oh, just very nice to save. Make very nice to save. Goes for the high climb hazard. Oh my. Oh, and it comes the Phantom again. All right, waits for the Phantom to go, makes it over again. But Tarek is still applying pressure here. But Schmixtape, you know, placing those back airs, that's what you want to do as Cloud. And oh, okay. Tarek trying to just, you know, get out of there with a cheeky up B, but Schmixtape is ready to answer accordingly. And just using that sword, obviously. Oh, and a nice sliding F tilt catches Tarek <laughs> off guard there. He's sliding. <laughs> sliding. That's what he did, he slid. And then slid nice right as, uh, uh, limit cross slash gets the, <laughs> gets the stock and now, you know, Tarek now behind for I think the first time in the set. I was gonna say, she was actually having the lead for the first time in the set. Very nicely done. Both of them playing. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, very unorthodox for the characters that they've definitely picked. Oh, oh, oh! oh, oh and he tried. He tried to go. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But that Phantom coming in clutch, saying, you know, I ain't letting you get off. away with that. He said, back off. He said, get, get, get out of there. Um, but no. Oh, and Ooh. there we go. Down throw, lightning kick is going to even up the damage here, but Schmixtape answering right back with a dash attack, and here we go. This is it for Schmixtape. Can he get something going? He needs a game on oh, the board okay. if he wants to stay, and he's got limit on deck, so the kill options are definitely arising right now. You say as the games progress, Schmixtape is actually spacing a lot more of the uh, Yeah, I mean, the at the start, cloud moves. it was it was kind of like like he was warming up and going for like grabs that wouldn't hit, but now, <laughs> now, so now, he's, now he's getting those grabs. Why? Because he's mixing. Oh, he's, okay. He's been using those aerials so much better now, so now T Tarek's a bit more, you know, threatened. Ooh. But here, oh, this is huge. Could this be the edge guard? And answering back with a Very quick good bear. That was so good. But air dodging yeah, into the back, the back throw. throw. And this is not good. But times that get up right and retreating back to the ledge. Ooh. And now he needs to be careful of those lightning kicks because that will just kill. Ooh, and the back air. Just oh, yet. Those but the limit it. on ledge, this is going to be a very dangerous this character to get off the ledge against. What's it going to be? Cross slash, the climb beam, the cross slash. What could it be? Trying to find something, but Tarek just trying to hold on as much yeah, as he can. Gonna, yeah, I think it was going to be. It shield. was too much. <laughs> the shield, that's pretty much, that, that's, that's a GG's moment. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Schmixtape managing to get a game on the board. Goodness, with the cloud. And um, now it's The making, grab heavy cloud as well. You don't see it every day. Yeah, the grab heavy cloud. The grappler with no grapples, but Tarek, <laughs> but that that was good. I mean, honestly, the pressure that Schmixtape was applying as the set went on, he was like, okay, the cloud's warming up. I gotta get this game. Um, and the, oh, Ooh, the plan. Interesting choice. Very interesting indeed. I mean, so he's locking in with plan. A min min, min from Tarek. Min? Okay, we're seeing some uh, some DLC characters here. You don't play plan? Nah, bro. Plan can cook. Plan can cook. <laughs> And here we go. We've got Piranha Plant from Schmix and Min Min from Tarek. I, I don't. I don't know if uh, Tarek has. Maybe he's labbed a bit of Min Min. Or uh, I mean, or I'm more like focused that. on the Schmix tape plant. You see the way he did Patui into 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 yeah, I mean, raw up here. That brother knows oh, what oh. he's doing. Oh, okay, the ram ram. Okay, oh, and not he flies high. back. Made it back nice and easy. Call that shit easy jet. Um, <laughs> 
Poison Cloud doing a little bit of work. Of course, both of them returning to He's neutral. In... Those arms are going to be yeah, so I mean, detrimental. We, we know how, how Min Min works. He's really just going to... And you know what? It's so it's so important because Piranha Plant, you know, really relies on that Patui yeah, to get yeah, most yeah. of his damage and kills. But oh. Min Min going to be using those arms, not giving him a chance oh, to get I... anything. And just hitting him with that up smash, up smash at the right time. So now okay, he's not too far behind though, honestly. Yeah, honestly, he can get something going. We see like Veronapon can actually rack up some serious crazy damage kill power. And honestly, if you know how to ledge trap with the with the Petui properly, you can do some oh, deadly and damage at the and back end. Yeah, a back end. Oh, and he's doing a little little bit of teabagging with the plant. Okay, okay, <laughs> and he's got he's got the poison. And there you go. Oh, oh, oh my goodness! Him. A calm little seventy-eight. That was ridiculous. Oh, if he got the kill there with the down B, that would have been, been nasty. That would have been a clip of the day, bro. But here we go, Tarek, you know, keeping his composure, just using that Ram Ram. He's going to time that's that Ram Ram really well. Does. Not that time, unfortunately. Oh, here we go, here we go. A nice dash attack. Yeah, punishing the there. dash attack. And look, going zone. in there with the, the drop zone Ram. Oh, oh. up smash. Oh, yep, he was looking for it. But not quite. Looking like a fairly oh. even game here right now. Makes the the down there just barely. And he actually pushes this. off after the ledge. Look at this. Have a ledge shot pressure coming from the grab Tarek right now. The dash attack. Oh, here we go. Trying to get around. And, and I feel I feel like th this matchup is so interesting because, like, you know, when Mimmin's off stage, it's getting around for Tui. When Plant's off stage, it's, it's getting, getting around, around the arms. Around. So it's like, it's really just a matter of who, who gets, a, who who gets the edge guard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who sends the other person off stage first and then gets that crucial ledge exactly. that they need. But now both of them at really hyper sense right now. So oh. he's going to land that blow, gets the dragon there, but wasn't enough. And he gets that deep ram ram. Is that going to make it? Enough? He gets, oh, maybe if he had the, the Megaton, but not quite. Gets another deep, but he's going to be making it back, piloting like a madman right now. Oh. And that down smash, taking it. And look at this, 167 from Schmick. I want to see another good combo, bro. I, I want to see I, another I, Petui into up Oh, and he lives there. But he's both, yeah. Power plant, 10th heaviest in the game, I think. So yeah, definitely yeah, going to no, live that. That's one stage. heavy plant. You're going to need a couple man to move that. Okay. Oh, and here we go, some up tilts. Okay, the F tilt. Chomping on him now. Getting all that, that extra credit is going to go a long way. It's going to go such a long way. Okay, it's here we go. The yeah. Mega Watt Mega, actually coming out Mega now. You Watt can see he's smashing that thing one, away. One hit from that, that and he'll definitely be taking the stock at 182. But Schmickstave just maneuvering around. And, oh, <laughs> he reflected refle it. Reflecting <laughs> the poison gas. Still I, I, not I like dead. What he's got. That was the Dragon one yeah, as well. Was it wasn't even Ram Ram. He needs to find that Mega Watt. But here we go. Schmickstave is holding on still at 191. This is looking deadly for... Uh, but Tarek really kind of has, bro, still hasn't sealed a it out. more percent, and that up smash from Plant is going to be doing it because there we go, 68. I want to think like it might even kill now. <laughs> that oh, up smash low key would have killed. That would have killed. He was feeling, feeling, may have pulled the trigger a bit too early, but look at him still at 211. Still bro. alive. Oh my god. Looking for a bear, gosh. and now a dash attack. What's he going to go for? Oh, doing a little Patui cancel at the ledge there, but it's not enough. And 232. Tarek, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't. Oh, the tether just barely. Oh my god, he's, he's actually playing around the shield. Okay, okay, okay finally Dragon there, there finally, finally takes it, it at 232. <laughs> 232, bro, I can't even count that high. Oh! <laughs> and that up smash, <laughs> that up smash, just barely not taking Obviously, without any rage, that's not going to be taking it, but I feel like the next one is going to be enough. It is. Especially now with Patui at ledge. Yeah, that Patui at ledge. Pressure. Definitely going to force and an option, and if you don't, oh, and you might just still die. makes it back. This could be it. if Tarek manages to get going like here, then you know that's that's oh and the backer? The mini Zard bear and gonna do it backer. cross stage. And now that was crazy. we're seeing Game five. Game five. Now, you know, the look, I feel was, like the now we were saying this right. Um, like Tarek, obviously he's got he's got all the cards in his hand, do you know what I mean? Like he still yeah. has both of his mains available to play. And so far he hasn't gotten either of them. However, game five scenario right now. You need to do something. Bro. You got to do like, something before he gets reversed to Yod. When, I, when, when I got to this case earlier, when I was like, okay, if I lose this game, I'm out. I was like, okay, I have to go my main. Like, I feel like I just have to, you know. And, and in this case, one of them. you know, he if it was to. earlier, maybe not. But you're in losers finals, losers game finals five one, right Both now. one game away. So He's got like, all the stops. And, you know, like we said earlier, Tarek does have that advantage. He has his grand and his cars. Schmick's tape. He just has whatever he can pull out the back pocket. So we're going to see right now what he's able to do. Oh, man. But that, that plant, that plant was kind of cooking, cooking, man. It was cooking. Cooking, using the, the fire of the back air as a stove, honestly, was ridiculous. 
so many crazy callouts, and the Patui ledge trapping definitely putting in a bit more work than the double arms from the, uh, from the mid mid of Tarek. But uh, yeah, the, dude, you can see like they're both pondering the character choices, especially so. Yeah, they're really like, thinking Tarek. about this. Like, what yeah, am I going to be able to do? the last two games, bro. Like, it's looking, it's looking doable for Tarek. Uh, for Schmick's tape, sorry. It's looking so doable. Yes, sir, indeed. Now, I like in Tarek's case. I hope he doesn't lose without using both of his mains. Do you know what I mean? Like, what's coming out now? What's coming out now? Me. We're seeing Brawler come out from Schmitz. We're seeing Mega, Going Mega, Mega Man. Man? Yeah. Mega Man from Tarry? Okay. No main. No this main. No main. He's gambling it all on he, the Mega Man. He really just wants to keep both of his mains for, for the grand set. He, okay. does, he does have to win two sets to sell a one, but he's pulling it yeah, all on so the Mega Man here against characters. the Brawler. All right. Let's see if his Tarry can cook here with the What's super fighting robot. Huh? Tell what? Okay. Here we go. On Smashville here. <laughs> Goodness, bro. Tarek trying to see if. And I want to know what format Mega is as well. Is it one? Yeah, one it's, looking like, it's looking like it's looking like Thropper. Guess probably got C shot put as well. Touch, Guess C back at it again. <laughs> and now Tarek here trying to. You know, what I, is he? He's got good. He's got a good sizable lead so far. Nice. Yeah, no, he's, you know, Mega Man can definitely rack up Ooh, that damage. Okay, nice the metal, metal blade. Getting that conversion Oy. with the fair. And yeah, he's going to be looking for that. And that upbeat, oh, going for too, upbeat's out of shield. Yeah, I feel like too, he's a bit too trigger happy too with that right now. With those. You know, he needs to build up that damage and hopefully right can get a thrust up off the top. Okay, here we go. And you know, Schmixtape trying to get something started here with the You know, he's, he's yet, yet to get any really like hefty combos yet. But here, now he's got Metal Blade in hand. What can he get cooking here? And he's just trying to apply the pressure, and it really just you know on this stage, if he gets one like good grab or good up air, Ooh, actually, you know, going for that side, that and that side be so good for just racking on the damage. You get a nice like you get a, nice, like, it. You get like, a good twenty. Oh, well, sorry. And okay. then there we go, just like oh, and that just getting around that shot. That shot, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I look, he's evened up to be honest. If he gets his ledge yeah, trap, it's exactly. Tarek just managing to make it back the to the stage, possibly. but you know he's, you know he seems like he's pretty comfortable with the Mega Man somewhat. You know, using those pellets, using those aerials, and just trying to. But it really comes down, who's going to get this first stock in game five? Oh, and those shot putts really just so many close calls against those. And look, he's going to be placing those again. And you've got to give credit almost. to Tarek as well, the way he's weaving around all of yeah, it. That metal know, blade barely. as well, you see that earlier? It saved him. Yeah, they're honestly making it around just barely. And both of these characters living. And then that oh. back air, that back air is going to do it, not wow, stale at all. Wow, he adjusted so quickly after being like 50 or so behind. Yeah. And Tarek trying to so answer fast. with his own back air, but doesn't quite do it. And tries to go for the up tilt, but doesn't quite That's land its mark. Of his own. All right, and here's the up. Oh, he's looking for something. Tarek oh, wanted that early kill for sure. He's trying to place yet yeah, a back air or something. He needs to get rid of this stock quick because if me brawler with rage on that thropper, it could spell disaster. Oh. And look at that side B coming out. This character is not to be played with. And forward air still, still not managing. It. Honestly, Schmixtay has been surviving to some ridiculous oh, percent. Surely down throw up B. Down throw up B at this percent might work. Mega Man as a fast baller, that, that might do the job and max rage. But Tarek does not want to let that happen right now. He's going to be looking for these aerials. And what was it? Was it back throw? Do it. And back no, throw not, not quite doing stage. it. 193 on Schmixtay right now. This is looking dire for Tarek. He it's looking peak, man. Stop. Maybe he should have went one of his mains, but that forward air, forward definitely going to do and it you know, eventually. The, the big contrast. You know, at the start, we saw Garrick, uh, so, so, we saw Tarek take the first two <laughs> games. Yeah, yeah, and two then games. Look at this. Potentially, the, potentially getting reversed. Yeah, yeah, Schmixtape is just coming out with some clutch pocket characters right now, and the brawler is not to be schmessed with. <laughs> Here we go. And yet, yeah, Tarek just trying to not get hit too much, but he needs to land at some yeah, hits and he's rack getting up his hits percent. here and there. Maybe he's capitalizing off of Schmidt's tapes because he's getting a bit, a little bit antsy, especially yeah. with stuff like Schmitt's that. Schmidt's you know, he's, he's growing, growing a bit impatient. He wants to get this kill, throwing out dash attack and stuff. But, you know, Tarek, you know, just trying to weave around, use some of Mega Man's agility a bit here. Oh, and tries to up the out of shield, but doesn't quite yeah, get And now, done it as well. ooh, Tarek trying to go the deep with that hit. back air. That could have been dangerous but not quite. And you know, Schmixtape still just coming up, holding shield, just wanted to throw out those up Bs, but Tarek, oh, and trying to go for a little ledge trump set Probably there with the, like a ledge back with, the or yeah, with, with the ledge trump back there with the blade. Oh, and oh! deep forward air killing at 88 oh off the hit. Oh my gosh, that the DI deep was forward air with all that rage. Well. That was, and now, now look at this. The table this, that, might be, that might be the pivotal moment of this set. 
That might be it. And oh, just yeah, managing okay, to live to at 153, yet. but he saved Mega his double jump. Just heavy enough manages to come back. And now at 57, oh! and catching that roll in with the down smash. And now it's tournament Here stock go, Kuro, for both players. Both this is it. Loser oh side. Tournament stock, Leo. You're so right. Tournament but stock. Schmick tape Tarek. Me, Brawler, Mega Man. Let's see who's going to be able to get this. Let's see if the gamble pays now, off. Here we go. Tarek, okay. Bro. We're seeing some up tilts. We're seeing some up airs. Schmick's tape trying to pile on the percent. Oh. Tarek trying to, trying to avoid oh, that. Oh, if he got that grab, he'll some hits of his own. Throwing out some pellets for good measure. Yeah, he's, Tarek just trying to even up the percent. He does It's crazy because usually you'd see mo much more of a zoning game from Mega Man. You know, all the pellets coming out and stuff. Yeah, 100%. And, uh, a lot more Tarek, metal blades. You know, really more leaf shields as well. We haven't seen a single leaf shield this entire no. game. He's, oh, and he's, oh, he's oh. on a nice bear, but not quite enough to do it. And the shot play he manages to make it past again. Like we said, Tarek's agility when recovering is just so good to avoid, avoid that shot put, but. It is looking dangerous for both players right now on their last stocks. Who is going to take it? They're looking to see who can make that first move. Yeah, and, that and it looks pop, like it might be Tarek, the one in trouble off this ledge. Can he get off? Yes, oh, he and can. Manages. The back air. Oh, and here, here it is. Oh! Using that down B to come back, but Tarek answers accordingly, getting that back air. And now it really is just so tense between these two players right now. Who is going to take this? Oh, honestly, it's anyone's game here, Kuro. They're yeah. both looking for that one move to either seal it out or put them in an advantageous oh position. The know, back air. They're both fiending Again. for a kill move right now, Zone. This is this is some oh. situation. Forward air not quite hitting its mark. And here we oh, go. Okay, forward, forward throw not, gonna not quite do doing it. it. Is it going to be shot put? Not quite. Oh, yeah, and now Tarek for coming one. back again for ledge. And he's trying to get around, but both oh. trading back airs on the shield here, but it's not quite going to oh, do it. And the shield poke. Back? The shield poke, oh. Oh, shot part in the face, getting him away. And he's, oh, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? Oh, oh the shield, Schmick's tape just standing there. Oh, my God. Is that going to do it? Oh, yeah. my God. The movement into the net, the and Schmick's tape gets oh the reverse 3-0. That was oh crazy. my god! Can't put it all on the Mega Man as well. It just wasn't enough. Uh, it makes you think out. if Tarek just brought out the yeah, Ninja or the, or Grand, the Kazuya, or the Kazuya then but it would have been a different but you story. Know because, but because like he, he wanted like, to save yeah, it. Yeah, he's thinking about it in the long run. He was right? trying to play the long game. He's got two more sets to play with. If I use yeah. for one of them, I could probably get it Kazuya for the next one. Do you know what I mean? And that just means Schmick's sure. tape is gonna get his run back in Grands That's against crazy. Lancelot. Guaranteed but toss, it's yeah. really. Play a game. Oh man. Say bye to this guy properly, man. Oh man. What a loser's final set and what a grand final set we've got coming up next. But remember guys, this is Smashdown. Lancelot still has his Roy, but Schmick's tape has used pretty much all his mains so far, so it is gonna be tough. It is gonna be tough now. Oh what a set, what a set. Oh man. What is the time anyways? Cause I got a train to catch. Okay, I might need to. I'm, I might have to find someone else because I've got a final train to catch. But I hope you guys enjoy this grand finals. It, it has been insane. You want to? Yeah, you can hop on, bro. I need to go stay. I need to catch a train, bro. Oh, bro, that's so lame. Yo, bro. bro, you got this going for the couch. Yo, we got a fucking American on the cards. Yo, lock in, bro. Lock in, lock in, lock in. Hell yeah, we got the American on comms. VG Brute Camp, of course. I there's an American America. on comms. I love America. America. We got four countries right now. We got Sweden, yeah. we got Finland, we got UK, and we got US. Yeah. That's a dub. It's crazy. That's a dub. That is a dub, that is a dub. And uh, I can't lie. Yo, I, like, the I first thing. Might be cooked. Yeah, that's that the, might I was going to say, the, the first thing to address, this guy's finished. Yo, he's going wrong. Oh, no, bro. He has nobody. Doggy. Wait, oh, this is actually low key winnable though. Yeah, yeah. If like, he, like if he hits three give downers, me some Z drops. if he hits three downers on his upbeat, this is low key winnable. Low key winnable. G give me, give me some side bees. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, he That's an instant parry on the net. That set the tone. <laughs> He's already oh, lost. No. I can't lie. Yeah, oh, calls no. out. With, yeah. Oh, downer. Yo. I'll he should. He should have done. No, he should. I can't lie. Sure, Send the message. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, laser. Hugo is, look at this anti-rob game plan. He, he knows is, what he wants. He is playing. He had the ding dong. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, of course. Oh my god, he no. had the ding dong. He was fishing for down tilt ding dong. He knew he it. He hit like, it. He's locked in. He's so locked in. Nah, the trade. Yo, I, don't, I don't know. 
the Schmick's tape Robin's parry. cooking, bro. He's parrying e even everything. If, bro, even if it was cooking, this is this is prime Hikaru, bro. Like this DK is honestly ridiculous. We get look at this game plan. Yes. Hey. Okay. Gyro okay. clutch. Oh. Getting some damage on the field. Oh wow, that he side B. He needs the kill though, can't lie. That's not what you want to see. Oh, that is what you want to see, though. He's in Ding Dong range, or or maybe down wait, to wait, Ding Dong. No, no, no. He definitely Hugo is. Knows. Ding Dong. Hugo knows. Hugo knows. <laughs> Hugo knows. He knows. <laughs> oh my God. Oh no, my. No, bro. Why does he know the percent? Why that? does he know DK Rob Ding Dong range? I bet he checked his phone. He's a neat, bro. Why does he know that? <laughs> He, he joined the DK Discord. Hi guys, what the, what's the Yo, what do I do? Oh, oh, wait, that was a menacing. Fundies. That was a wait menacing. A minute. Oh, oh, can I get a third? Three time? Oh, oh my God, the Zomba man. No, Yo, these getup attacks have been hitting though. He's been playing yeah. that ledge game really well. This, this defense, he's the ledge master. He knows how to escape the ledge. Oh my God, that backer was like. Three. Oh my God, he's like. He's one down to off Ding Dong no, with I, this rage. No, 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 I think he is. With this rage. Because he has rage. Oh. I think he knows it too. Oh, the shield, the shield poke? No way. Yo, he still has this rage. Not, oh, There's no way. That's Goodbye. a lot. Yeah. That okay. was crazy. Bro. That was a statement. He plays DK. Yeah. You're like, oh, bet, bro. This is a heavy. I'm Rob. And then he Ding Dongs you twice. I think that's I, crazy. I think Hugo's gonna sweep. I can't lie. This is Bro, dire he's for up a game. Taudi. Has Roy yeah. in the back pocket? Yeah. Taudi's got that's that's a game written off. Crazy. Roy in the back pocket. Like, this is basically match point. Two, this yeah, I mean, this is 2-0. This is 2-0. This is 2-0. Taudi's like praying right now. Hugo doesn't give a fuck. He's hugging Crispy. Okay, Samus. Actually. Samus is pretty good into into floaties. Yeah, yeah. Lucina's kind of she has the walk speed, but you know she's not the fastest apart yeah. from that. She can kind of I feel like she can play a game plan here. And everyone has a Samus, so <laughs> everyone got a Samus, bro. That character takes it. zero skill. Yeah, it's coming from a Yoshi. <laughs> too, I, I, I was gonna say I wonder why you feel so strongly about <laughs> that. Yeah, it's like, very curious, very curious. Yeah, Hugo's still putting up the pace. Yeah. Though. Yeah, he's, ooh. he's got the anti Samus game plan. Look at that. Some good advice there right now. This lead trapping is nice. Oh, up B. What a surprise. Yo, wait, that parry pose is fire. It is actually, I can't lie. Might have to stop playing Dark Samus. That's you at least. I don't know. <laughs> this is crazy. This man. is his counter pick as well. He, he counterpicked the Lucina with Dark Samus. And uh, it's not paying off. Ooh. Oh, the bomb almost hit there. I mean, Lucina to Chrome is really not that far. Like, nah, nah. Movement wise, all, all it is. Four but of them, like, yeah. Marth. Hitbox wise, it's very, very adjacent. Oh, you're dead. Goodbye. What a spot dodge. He needs some Samus cheese. Yeah. He needs like a down air back air right now. Honestly, if, if Hugo wins this game, I think he's gonna try Celia and just go Roy. Just just get it get it over with, you I know what I mean? I would do that. Bro, Taudi needs to call up Siski ASAP. Yeah. Oh, back air? Ooh. Wait. Okay. Does it I think Siski would have done that to be fair. <laughs> Yo, get up attack. He has that Samus counterplay ready, bro. Yeah. I love like he's just the pressure is on. He's pivot F tilts. He's pressuring the landings every single time, trying to frame trap it. Like he's playing that advantage yeah. really, really well. Taudi is so uncomfortable right now. You can just feel it. He's he almost fishing. Miss. He he wants his grab way too yes. much. He wants it way too much. The fast for Ned dodge, but he he finds sense. He just rolls immediately. He's too short. Oh my gosh, ba that barely killed. Hey. <laughs> oh, grab. Back throw. Oh, I would have taken the down throw net, that. but I mean. Definitely a miss input. The nerves low key cooking him. Oh, bear. Little cheeky damage. Yeah, I mean, he's kind of finding his footing here. 
He needs a you know a big kind of Siski sequence there. That's what we need right now. We need a we need a ledge trap sequence. Yeah. We need a big ledge trap. Or if it's on stage, we need like a down air. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is it's a hard deficit. Yeah. No, you do not want to see that whiff. Yo, these grabs are not he's, working. He's conceding so much space, tunnel visioning on these like on these grab. grab with punish and stuff. Just you're playing Samus, man. Don't forget. When was the last time he pressed B? Real, bro. Like, come on, come on. He's playing no B button, Samus. Oh no. Okay. Little B button. Yeah. I need some missiles, bro. I need some walling. Just give me some bombs, even. It disadvantage. Like, come on, man. Like, I've never seen a Samus do so much empty dashing. You're not like you're not Falcon, man. Please. Yo, he's get up attacking every time and it's working every time. Oh, he finished it. Oh god, it doesn't matter. Wait, okay. this is Samus or Rage. This is Samus or Rage. I've seen this character do unspeakable things at 50%. If he can land. I think he just needs like one more south, like one good neutral. Oh. Yeah, and uh, oh. one game separates Hugo from winning the whole tournament, and he has Roy. So I think we know what's I coming. It, I think it's cooked. I think, yeah. Unless Taudi pulls out like a banger Kazuya right now. Yeah, like the secret Fundy's God Diddy Kong or something. Yeah. Like we, need, we need something magical here, Taudi. I need, I need to see, like, his Luigi cook if he pulls out the Roy. Give me some Zez. I think I heard him say Gamer Watch, but I'm not sure. Uh, he said Krom, no way. Reverse, reverse mate. Oh <laughs> but reverse mate. Yoshi is one of Hugo's best characters because he went Yoshi to win Squad Strike at Regen. What? He played Yoshi. He played... He has a Yoshi? He played, he played Wolf, Yoshi, and Croy. So this is... Wait. Hey, it's just fair up till, man. Slow down, slow down. Hold up. Does this Yoshi cook? Oh, I don't uh, uh, think that's with that uh, forward smash. I mean, does this Chrome cook? That's another question. Because uh, this matchup is pretty good for Chrome, right? I, it's, I take it's, it. it's even, is which, is, which is pretty good for Chrome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think by tier list standards. What else does he got, bro? Yeah. He'll take an even matchup versus a character like Yoshi. Oh, you're dead? Oh, we do not hit the no Jairs. No Jair! We do not hit the Jairs. We are not the Jairmeister. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh wait, okay. no armor? Bro, where's just, the grab? Just like run off air or something. Just grab ledge and back air him. Oh, you're dead. I love Krom. Oh, okay. Denying, denying okay. the extra credit. He denied the yeah, extra credit. Yeah. I want, I want something big from Lancelot right now with this, this combo. This is a lot of damage. Pharaoh can do that. This is a lot of damage. Yoshi Ooh. does too much damage. We need to nerf this character. Mm. Oh, 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 he hit the jab block. First your own main. Come on, Taori. Oh, no. Oh, no. Guys, trade an F smash. Oh no! Oh, no tech. Oh, no. That's gonna be frustrating when you miss a tech like that. Oh boy. Oh, that's a big. The antsiness. This is gonna up be fifty. Uh, wait. Hold up. He's just building rage. He's just building rage. He's just building rage. I mean, this rage's gotta amount to something because he can't find his footing. Oh my god. Oh. No. That Yoshi was kind of cold. And oh, he kind of cooked, I'm not gonna lie. Lancelot wins the smashdown bracket with Woo! Roy in his pocket as well. He didn't even go his other main. A dominant performance. That's messed up. A dominant performance. You're messed up. You didn't even go Roy. He beat Bloom yesterday and he didn't even use that character today. That's messed up. Didn't need to. Uh, can we see your sheet? Can we see your sheet on the camera? You can have a look at who, put it, who put it this at the guy camera. used. Okay. Okay. Yes, yes. DK. Mm. Yeah, no Roy. Wait. You, you got a, a PT. He, uh, that's Diddy Kong. So we Diddy? Diddy Kong, Pyramid Joker. Bro, there's like Rob. so many heavy hitters are not, like yeah. no, no Steve. Like no Wolf. No Wolf. Everyone can play Wolf. No Sonic. 
Nah, no, no Roy, no Snake, no Roy, no Roy, is Roy? actually insane. Right, this guy no needs Roy to be stopped. No really Mario. Insane. I know this guy's a Mario. No Mario. That's messed up. Nah, yeah, GG's nice. to Lancelot, bro. Yeah, he got it. Lot, a lot. And uh, he has the most fundies in all of Europe. Yeah. This, this proves it's it, official. Man. He's the it's king official. of fundies until the next installation of this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I believe that's it from uh, from us at Meltdown. You guys uh, should watch next week's Meltdown too. Because this is a good bracket, but next week is going to be banger, too. Mm -hmm. Special guest. Can't say who it is yet, but... Oh, actually? Yeah. No. <laughs> it's fine. I'll find somebody off the street. Go to your... Oh, oh, we, there is an invitational on this Sunday. Basically, it's like the 12 best performing people from the locals from the last two months have qualified. And then there's an LCQ with four spots. Wait, so, that's banger. Yeah. So if you're from the UK and you're watching, you're from London, it's a celebration of London Smash this weekend. So you guys should be there on VG Bootcamp on Sunday. Go support your locals. Yes. We are Come the, to the LCQ. The locals are the lifeblood of Smash. Yes. If you don't support them, Smash dies. Very true. Very and true. the UK Smash scene is lit. Yes. I love my time here. Yes. Yes. All right. Is that it? I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to Yeah, I don't, I don't know when it comes. I've never done a commentary block. It's yeah. like... I mean, Thank I mean, you for I've, watching. I've, I've done cars before. It's just that I've never done cars in an action. Yeah, nah. Thank you for watching. Thank um, you for watching. Go support your locals. Go follow VG Bootcamp. Yeah. Um, drop a prime if you want. Yeah, C congratulations to congratulations Congrats to Lancelot. He's the GOAT. Hello, Frisky Sisson. And follow him on socials. Uh, Kendrick Olimar, he has a really cool tag. Follow Pharaoh. I'm going to say underscore SSB. Nah. No underscore? It's straight, fair SSB. Um, I'm getting yeah, sorted. Yeah. Okay. okay bye, Goodbye, guys. guys.